Hello and welcome! You're here for the first live stream of all time on the TD Sniper channel. How's it going? We're going to get started in just a minute here. I'll be telling you what faction we're playing as. I'm going to give it another minute or so. Let people come in. How's everyone doing? All right, I'm gonna make the announcement and I'm gonna talk about my reasoning a little bit here because, okay, on this channel, we've played first as Spain, then as Dacia. And both of them are barbarian factions with pretty different compositions, different armies, etc. We've been fighting a lot in the Greek part of the world, in Italy, in Dacia. Both campaigns are around there right now. And uh, I'm always trying to find a different, very different type of faction to play as. So I've got a list of factions that I want to play. And I want to save those for full series. So examples of those are Numidia, probably Parthia, probably Seleucids. Those are top campaigns I want to do as their own full campaign on YouTube. But I wanted to do this as a marathon live stream because I just want to see if I can do it. Because... If there's any criticism of the way I make content, 40 minutes a day or 40 minutes a week is not enough to get through an entire very hard, very hard campaign. So I personally want to see the end of a campaign a little bit sooner than like 50 something weeks. So I figured if it's possible to do a full very hard, very hard campaign in one sitting, I want to try it out. So let's talk about the factions. They're the three Roman factions, which... A part of me wants to play as sometime soon, but not today, because there's just such a defined way of playing as a Roman faction. I feel like it gets kind of boring, so I don't want to make this too easy. The theme of my channel is still very much chasing the, har the hardest campaigns. I don't feel like this fits the theme of the channel, so we're not doing a Roman faction. I want to play a very different type of army than the other factions I've done. So I wanted to do something with some phalanx component, but I didn't want to pick like the easiest campaign. But then also if we're going to complete this in one sitting, it has to be a good campaign. Like we can't pick, you know, the worst faction. I don't want to like lose the campaign four hours in. So, all right, I'm going to talk about what I picked. Let's get the settings correct. Very hard difficulty, no battle time limit long campaign, and we're playing as Germania. And my reason for this is, first off, it's been a long time since I played a whole campaign as Germania. Like a very long time. And they just have such a diverse and interesting roster. Let me pull up their roster. We're gonna go to custom battle. And it's kind of mind blowing compared to all of the other barbarian factions. So first off, having Axemen as their main infantry, so excited for that. Love the high attack, low defense, effective against armor thing. I love the long range chosen archer warband. That'll be really helpful for just getting through some of the harder factions quickly because we need to finish this in one setting. And then I want to play around with things like berserkers, screeching women, stuff like that. And so there's a lot of fun religious buildings, a lot of ways you can play with Germany. And also they get phalanxes. So I feel like it's best of both worlds. I think this is a good faction for us. All right, we're gonna get started. So, very hard difficulty. No battle time limit. Let's get this started. Oh my gosh. I'm nervous. I don't know if this is possible for me because I don't want to use any of the diplomacy exploits that we use in the speedrunning community. I want to do this fairly honestly, but Germans, they have a, it's a good faction. I, I think we can do this. We're going to get past the slow start that they always have with the economy. And I feel like we can do it, but we'll see. All right, let's get started. I'm going to play the full faction video because 
we're gonna be here a long time we may as well get every piece of content out of it as possible all right we're gonna get started before my grandfather's grandfather was born this was our land these are good places our gods live here in the trees and rivers they watch over us we are happy we hunt we love we have families homes a good life but sometimes we must fight the romans disturb the gods they burn the forests they take what is ours wives children land and the romans talk of how they will help us and protect us they put us to sleep with golden promises when we wake all we had is gone stolen they take our sons and turn them into little romans ha! so we fight to keep what is ours what must stay ours there can be no peace no peace with romans men of stone and iron and lies there can be only war I do love a dramatic faction opening cutscene. Love the Germans. All right, let's take a look at our starting empire here. Well, we've got a, a good sized empire here. And before I get into this, I'm gonna start the speedrunning clock in the top left corner. This isn't an official speedrun. I just wanna kind of have a reference for how long we've taken on this. So planning counts as playing. So I'm gonna get that started. All right, hopefully that worked. It should be playing in the top left corner. So yeah, I know this is very early for a lot of my viewers. I'm sorry to start early. I will be playing probably all day, at least one full day. So I'll be here when it's a reasonable time for you as well. But for some reason, uh, the majority of my views come between 3 a.m. and 9 a.m. in my local time, which is in Arizona. So... It's, I think it's because about a quarter of my viewers are in the UK, a quarter are in the US, and the rest are from around the world. So this is the most viewed time on my YouTube channel. So this is when I'm starting, um, but I will be playing all day. So hopefully you can jump back in at a time that's more reasonable for you if you have to head off. All right, let's take a look at the Empire. So we have Trier. We know Trier, we just took it in our Spanish campaign. Uh, let's take a look at all of the settlements. So yeah, Trier, 1,200 population, 2,800 at Magantiacum, 1,000 at Batavadorum. Dom has 3,000. Vicus Marcomani has 1,000. So pretty underdeveloped. And this is kind of the problem with the German campaign. You start with a bad economy. You are only going to profit 422 in your first turn if you don't buy anything and you have underdeveloped cities. So we need to come up with a game plan here. Let's take a look at the army that we have in each of these cities. So the, I love the early game of the Germans because we have the phalanxes. I, I think it's really interesting playing against rebel cities, against Gauls, against Britons, uh, using the spear warband. Um, compared to using the warband of the other factions or just having the overpowered Hestadi units of the Romans, I like having something more interesting. So we're going to be very aggressive as always. Let's grab our biggest army. So Batavadorum, that's a big army. I'm guessing it's going to head north, but I'm not quite sure what we're going to do with that. So we could send this army, Rick Burgess's army, up to this city up here. We could send the army and dam over up here. But we also have these guys over in Vicus Marcomani. And if we can use them intelligently and take this settlement with just Haryulfus and his spear warband, then we can reassign these bigger armies for more important things. So I'm going to try that. Let's have this guy step out of the city and he's going to be responsible for heading north to the settlement up here. The army in Dam is going to head north up here. 
this army, where do we want to send you? So I guess how aggressive do we want to be is the question. I'm thinking, I'm thinking we want to go straight for the British and just start warmongering because we need to be somewhat aggressive to get through this campaign quickly. All right, what have we got in Trier? And Magantiakum. Honestly, do we want to do anything with the troops in Magantiakum? Is isn't this where Yuvavum is? Is Yuvavum in Rome? I have not gone to this part of the map in either of my campaigns in like years. So I could send these guys down south, but I don't think it's worth it. I might just keep these spear warband in Magantiakum. Maybe I'll send one over to Trier in case that gets attacked. Let's put some upgrades down. So we have 5,000 denarii. First off, we might need to buy a few peasants. Let's see. Honestly, there's no enemies near any of my cities, so I don't need it. But I think we're going to go for land clearance in most of our cities turn one. So we want to get our income up a little bit. We want to get our population up. My plan is just make these cities as huge as possible in the early game. And then we won't have to deal with the bad economy of the, the Germans long term. So... All right, this takes us from 272 to 340. That's an increase of about 70 costs, I think 600. So that'll pay for itself really quickly. Trier, how good is the land clearance here? 408 to 476, yeah, worth it. We'll go ahead and build some peasants here so we don't lose Trier. I feel like it's a pretty contested region. Batavadorum, let's see what the land clearance does for us here. 4 to 476, yep. And since we have nothing in the city, we have the no governance penalty to public order, which is actually not good for us making money because we want to be able to charge the highest tax rate possible. So let's build a unit of peasants. Same thing at dam. I actually, I need to do this for all of my cities. We want to have a high tax rate and not have to deal with this no governance penalty. So peasants there. All right, Trier, we have peasants coming in. Uh, let's see, do we want to build... I think we'll spend all of our money. We don't need to buy any mercenaries or anything this turn. Land clearance in Magontiacum. That's worth... About 68. That's good. And what else? We'll buy a land clearance in Dem. Okay, I think that's a good way to spend our money the first turn. We can also afford a... Unit of Illyrian mercenaries. Will we need it? I think we might need it. And I don't think we have Illyrian mercenaries all the way up here. Let me take a look. Let's see. Do we see what's in here? Three units. I'm going to go back over the border, pick up some Illyrians. And I just don't want to lose this battle and have a setback. So Vicus Gothi, Vicus Gothi, we want to be prepared to take that city with just this army. And then we'll send... What's this guy's name? Arminius, my faction leader, will head north to pick up Bordesholm. Let's see how good he is. Pretty good. Five command stars. Five influence. But he's pretty old, so he's not going to be around for long. All right, so Arminius will pick up Bordesholm. And Rick Burgess can head down. Do we want to reunite immediately with Ariogeisus? Probably, because I think the British have a pretty strong starting army over here. So I don't want to take them on with just this small army. Let's head south. We'll meet up with Ariogeisus, and we'll just have this mega army crash through a couple settlements over here. We're going to send our spy into British territory first. And where's our diplomat? Here we go. Let's send our diplomat over to speak to the British. We want to get map information, trade rights off them. And hopefully we can sell them some map information to get a jump start for our economy here. I'm getting caught up on comments. Weakus. Okay, Weakus. I will say Weakus if I remember it. I, I, I'm horrible at pronunciation. I know I'm always getting that wrong in all of my videos. <laughs> I think for a while I was saying Seleucids. I think I still sometimes say that because I said it for like 15 years. So it's kind of hard to break. 
I will play as the Julia in a future stream. I've been thinking... Like I, because the approach of my channel is very much trying to find the hardest campaigns. So I'm playing the very hard, very hard campaigns that are the lowest rated. So everyone said Spain was horrible. Spain is actually one of the hardest. Um, Dacia, people say is hard. I don't think it's that hard. Now that I played it a little bit, but the Romans, you can't really argue they're difficult. But what I could see is doing a future live stream on the, the Romans because I don't think people would really be interested in seeing a long like 50 part series on a roman campaign because it's just not that challenging so just be kind of whooping all of these factions that we've been playing against and struggling against um but yeah i could see playing a roman faction for a future live stream probably all right let's we want to get this turn one over with let's bring up the tax rate in a few places we'll go into yakum we can afford a very high tax rate in Tavadorum, we can get that up to yeah, we can afford this because we're going to lose the 15% no governance and get some garrison bonus from our peasants. And let's see, that's going to be true in several places. So we can bring them up to 60% for the same reason. Vicus Mar Vicus <laughs> see, I already did it. Vicus Marcomani, we can knock up to a high tax rate. I think that'll be all right. And... We can do the same thing at Trier. High tax rate. Yep. Should be good. All right. I think we're good to end this turn. Oh, let's send this guy. Oh, no. We, we don't want to do anything with him just yet. Because we're waiting for Rick Burgess. I'm going to bring him inside Trier just for now because then I can get the tax rate higher. There we go. Okay. Let's go ahead and end the turn. And... Oh, I thought this was a river crossing. I just wasted. All right. That's actually a shame. We just lost a turn there. I thought this was a river crossing for some reason. I don't know this area very well, but okay. You know what? I'm curious whether this army in Trier could take on Alessia. I might just be aggressive. Let's just try it out. We're going to grab this unit of Spear Warband and just head over to Alessia, see what's guarding it. Do we want any mercenaries? Not yet. We might we might buy some mercenaries later. But oh yeah. I haven't tried um I haven't tried any of the like extra campaigns that people have made and stuff for Rome. I've only done the the main ones, but I should definitely do that. I haven't even tried the remaster. No, no, no. Don't go that way. I'm just I'm talking, I'm yapping. All right, let's besiege Bordas home. Yeah, no, I, I've i just been playing the, the vanilla campaigns. I know I'm supposed to get the remaster, but I just, I, I don't know. I like this game so much. I don't want to switch it up. All right, let's uh, go ahead and besiege this city, and let's see what's in here. If we can win the battle right away, we'll just play it. I'll starve them out for a turn, just because I don't want to lose any of these battles. Bordas home. We probably would win this. We might do that. And then Trier, yeah. Let's bring up, no, we don't need to bring up the tax rate anymore. It's already at very high. Epitavadorum, we have, hmm. I have an idea, hold on. All right, something I'm gonna be working on is population. So this is kind of an expensive way to get population, but if we get high population in the early game, then we will be set forever. So a place like Epitavadorum, 779 population. It's going to take forever for this to hit 2,000. But we can afford Barbarian Mercenaries. So I'm just going to go ahead and disband this unit. Batavadorum is now up to 1,019. That's a free 240 population. It's not the cheapest way to get it. But I think in the long run it's going to pay off because if you got compound interest. So every injection of 240 population you get in the early game is worth a lot in the late game. So I'm going to do that every few turns. Just build up these smaller cities that are like not Magantiacum, but Trier definitely would be worth doing, but Tavadorum, we just want to get these cities up to large town and then minor city. All right, taking a look at our end of turn report. Yeah, we spent all of our money. Let's, let's see for next turn. We spent even more money, but it's okay. This is how you start every early campaign. Let's speak to the Britons, see if we can get some money off of them. So first off, we're going to get trade rights with them. And then let's 
sell them our map information. I'm going to try it for 1500 and hopefully they either accept it or they have a counter offer. Okay, I guess I could have gotten more money out of them. <laughs> you usually can't get that much money out of them. Um, we'll try the same thing on the Gauls next turn, but that's helpful. We needed that cash infusion. So, I mean, we could do another another disband. Hmm. Let's do one at Trier, because Trier is going to be very strategically important. How good are these guys? I don't think they're worth having over Spear Warband or something. I'm going to get rid of these Barbarian Mercenaries. And Trier is now at 1219. It was under 1,000. That's just not enough to ever grow a city. So that helps. Glad we could afford that. All right, what else do we want to do this turn? So we besiege Vikaskathi. We could take Bordesholm. We might do that because I want to use that army as soon as possible. Vikas Markamani, we can bring up the tax rate to very high. Them, we can bring it up to very high. And I think there's nothing left to do except... Oh, yeah, we can do Batavadorum too. All right, let's see what our economy is looking like. Yep, looking good. We got a profit going into next turn. We want to do Bordas Home. So Bordas Home has a population of 816. So we will have the option to enslave it. And we probably will do that just to get the population growth rate up in Dam and Batavadorum. Um, do we have any cities with a general in them, though? I don't think so. So we're going to dump all the population that we enslave from Bordas Home into Trier because it's the only place that really could have a, a general in it. So, Ario Gaisus is going to go to Trier, and then we're going to take Bordas home and get the population from there and send it down to Trier. So, Captain Itelgis, how good are these guys? Attack of 9, defense of 12. Yeah, they're kind of scary, but we have phalanxes. So, if I play this correctly, I can just pin them off with phalanxes Hit them in the side and back with cavalry, and that should be an easy win. But yeah, I, I don't want to over-rely on cavalry in this campaign because it's kind of broken. They have really good cavalry, heavy cavalry. A lot of these factions have bad morale. I'm not going to overuse it. I, I'm playing them because I want to play with the infantry, so don't worry about that too much. All right. Let's get a little bit closer. Phalanxes are nice and slow. So we're going to get our phalanxes drawn up like this, just nice and wide. We'll have screeching women behind. They do the chant, the, the screeching women screeching that hurts the morale of the enemy. So that'll be useful. And then we'll have our cavalry just pop out at the last minute and break them on the sides. So let's start the battle, see where they draw up. Okay. I mean, if I can just fight one of the units, that'd be great. We're going to walk up a little bit. And I'm going to play a little bit fast in the early game because some of these are very simple battles. So we're going to play on triple speed. wonder if they're just going to sit on the city center. Honestly, that wouldn't be a horrible idea. It doesn't, it doesn't favor me to charge into their position. I would rather they attack us, but yeah, we don't we don't have room to stay in formation. So let's break up the group, and we're going to draw up two units of phalanxes here. One unit can just come up behind, and we'll keep our cavalry nearby, keep our screeching women nearby, and let's see what we can do here. So we'll walk a unit up here, walk a unit up here, and we want to drop like this. Okay. Slow us down. Let's get our cavalry up here. Drop my infantry like this. Can we get our phalanx down? That would be ideal. And we want to get our last phalanx over here. All right, Spear Warband took some damage before they were fully in position, but now they've dropped their phalanx. These guys, yeah, drop like this. Let's use Screeching Women. I think you can use it forever, so no reason not to hurt the morale of the enemy. How are you guys doing over here? So they're taking definitely more damage than we are. They're not really charging in. They're just standing in front of the Phalanx, so that's good for me. Yeah, Crazy Burb, I can answer your question. Uh, influence... 
So I believe in a city, in a management perspective, influence increases public order. Um, so I think like you'll, you'll see a, like a line item in the public order for influence. Um, and then also in combat, it increases, I think the range of the aura of confidence that they give to their soldiers. So command increases the amount of morale that they give to the nearby soldiers. And I think influence increases the range of that aura. So influence is useful for morale. All right, this unit is wavering. We've got our screeching women doing their thing. They look like they're having fun. And I don't really know what the other unit's doing. If they got involved, that would be intelligent because look at them go. They're at a queen concert, they're having fun. Yeah, the whole thing with Phalanx is if, is if you hit them inside, they're weak to that, but they don't want to participate, so Let's bring our phalanx over here. We can start pushing back the warband on the city center. We can speed this up a little bit. We'll just slowly box these guys in. They're wavering already. General's dead. He'll break now. There we go. All right. Let's draw up like this. So if the other unit tries to get involved, we will just repel them immediately. And we'll grab our cavalry and go around them, hit them from the other side. Gotta be careful with how you path cavalry in city centers, especially these little villages. They get very confused. So go that way. You guys can nope. See, you gotta you gotta stay on top of them. Go this way. You know what? I don't need them that much. You guys just hang out over here. <laughs> hang out back here. Don't get yourself killed. We don't need you. All right, let's get these spear war band and just walk onto the city center, see what they do. All right. Yeah, they're gonna just charge into the front of the hoplite, the uh, phalanxes. They're not hoplites, but they're basically hoplites. Wavering, but they can't break. All right, um, let's, I don't know. I don't know how to hit them in the rear because they just get confused. Go over this way. Over this way. <laughs> Come on, guys. There you go. All right. We're going to charge into the rear of this warband. You guys ready? There you go. That's a great charge, guys. Good job. <laughs> Just do some damage from the other side. They have experience, so they're going to do a lot of damage here. And then I'm going to pull them back because obviously they have the disadvantage of, I think these warband have bonus against cavalry. So just let the phalanxes deal with them. I'm going to have the phalanxes actively advance into them. Just start doing some damage. Let's get our general in here. General will do a lot of damage and he has a lot of health. So we can just chunk down the remaining warband. And this is our first victory of the game. Yeah, my troops are eager. Just pushing them off the city center. All right, nice and easy. That's a, that's a win. So we lost 105 soldiers. Who do we lose? Spear Warband mostly. Lost some Barbarian Cavalry. We healed some of our Spear Warband, so not too many casualties. I'm happy with that. I will probably play Barbarian Invasion, yeah. I've got a lot of games queued up that I want to play, but Barbarian Invasion is one of them. Um, trying to think which campaign I'd want to play in there. But yeah, eventually I will I will get to that. Uh, we're going to go ahead and enslave Bordesholm. Now we're only taking 408 population away, but we're going to boost the population growth rate of Dam, Batavadorm, and Bordesholm here. So definitely worth it. We have the 0.5% slavery bonus. And yes, I am planning to stream for a whole day. I just woke up like 30 minutes before the video started or the uh, stream started. So I will hopefully be able to stream all day. I bought a 12 pack of Red Bulls and I'm trying to complete this campaign, but we'll see how it goes. <laughs> all right. At Bordesholm, 
I guess we'll get the population growth rate going. Land clearance is a good option. Oh yeah, that's good for income. We can make 60 more from farming if we get land clearance. And I want to use this army right away. So can we pull them out of the city? How unhappy are you? Okay, you're pretty unhappy. We'll leave behind a unit of spear warband. And that's good enough. Perfect. And start marching over in this direction. We will combine Brick Burgess with this army. It's not what we were planning. We were planning to unite with this army. But I think we'll just get these two armies together and have them go over and take out the... Britain town of Samuro Briva. Let's see. What do they got here? They have a lot of troops here. Um, I think it's just that they have warband. That's why it looks like a lot. But All right. Anything else we can do this turn? Oh, let's check out what we did for the population growth rate here. Tavadorum. Oh, we don't have it yet. Oh, maybe because we don't have roads. Okay, we need to get roads. We'll do that ASAP. Next turn, we'll buy roads. And then we will have the population growth rate bonus to these two settlements. So, good to know. Arminius got an exotic slave for plus one influence. That's good retinue. And let's see how you're doing. Pretty good. Six Reese of Influence. Not bad. All right. Let's go ahead and end this turn. I don't think there's anything else we want to do this turn. Let's see. All right. Let's march this army over here. And no, I'm looking for any population we can get from just buying mercenaries. No, we don't want to be disbanding barbarian cavalry mercenaries. Let's combine these two armies. That's a pretty scary army. We'll bring that over to Britain. Let's grab this general out of Trier and bring him into this army. And then let's see what we did for the population here. Up to 1660 already. That's really good. I think we were at 900 like two turns ago. So Trier is growing really quickly. We want to talk to the Gauls because we want to see if we can get any money off of them, get their map information. I feel like they're kind of weird about giving up their map information sometimes because they're a pretty big faction, but we're going to try. At Vicus Marcomani, let's see. We're going to look at religion this turn. We're going to we're going to see which ones we're interested in. We'll probably take Vicus Gothi this turn. Vicus, oh my goodness. Uh, Give me time. Weakus Goth Gothi. Oh, this is hard. This is hard. I hate changing pronunciations. All right. We're going to take a look at our construction report. Everything is done. We got a land clearance everywhere. So them. We want to build roads at them, Batavadorum, and Bordesholm. That way we will get our population growth rate bonus from slavery. It's not showing up yet, but it should show up for these two cities, which will help with them growing a little bit. Vicus Marcomani. What do we want here? I'm going to go with a wooden palisade here just because we do border the Dacians on this southern border, I think. Um, or, yeah, over here. So I don't want to lose Vicus Marcomani. So we're going to go ahead and get a wooden palisade. Trier. We could go with Rhodes. I don't know. Trader for the population growth bonus. I think it's worth it. It won't be worth it from a trade perspective, but this would increase our population a little bit. But would it increase our population as much as disbanding a unit? No. So let me see if I have anywhere I want to buy and disband a unit. Here I could do it. I'm going to do that instead. So we're going to take Weakless Gothi and then I'll disband a unit here for the population in Weakless Gothi. All right, end of turn report. Profited 1362. Not going to profit anything this turn because we're just spending it all, but that's all right. Let's go ahead and attack them here. See, what do they have? Okay. Some more band, some cavalry. We can handle them. Let's go ahead and get this started. Well, let me check Hariofus. How good are you? Intelligent. That's a good trait. Actually, this guy's pretty good. Hopefully he gets some more command related traits soon. Oh, do we want to play in the fog? We're going to play in the fog. I love playing in weird weather. All right. So let's get our phalanx up as close as possible. 
and we will guard the flank with a barbarian mercenaries. I don't want to use them if I can avoid it because I want to disband them in this city. So I'd rather use my Illyrians as like melee troops than use my barbarian mercenaries. I want to hold on to them. But let's get our warlord over here. We will group everyone up and start the battle and let's just see how the enemy draws up. Yeah, they're just hanging out, being cautious. That's good. Let's just walk a little bit closer. That's a little too close. There we go. We'll walk to there and we'll speed this up. Still no response. Let's get a little closer. With only one unit of the Spear Warband, I'm okay with fighting on the city center because well, it's only hard when you have like two or three of them. They don't really have a way to path correctly, but with just one, it's kind of useful to just be able to block off a street. So let's have you go here. I'm going to slow this down. I don't want to get surprised. I'll have our Illyrians go up on this little hill to get a little extra range, and we're going to turn off skirmish mode. Let's get our Barbarian Mercenaries right behind our Spear Warband and our General as well for the morale. All right, are you gonna react? Doesn't really look like it. All right, we're gonna move up a little bit. Let's, are you gonna react? No, not gonna react. Go up to here. I didn't mean to give that command, don't worry. A Little closer. Once we're in range with our Illyrians, then we can start this battle and they'll just have to attack us because they always respond when you hit them with missiles, but. Got to be a little cautious until then. You wouldn't be in range, would you? No, not yet. All right. Speed this up a little bit. Get in phalanxy position. Got to walk in phalanx mode. Okay. Go to here. Lyrians can go to here. And we're actually going to keep this spear war band over by the Illyrians because I don't want them to get caught out by themselves. Okay. We got a reaction here. You guys stop and fire. You guys use war cry. Let's get my general a little closer to provide morale for the spear war band. And are you breaking the front line? No, you're not. You're just running into prepared spears. So that's good. Let's get our spear war band or barbarian mercenaries over here. Can you guys hit the cavalry? Actually, hold off on firing. I don't want you to waste any missiles. We want those for the infantry. We're gonna attack the cavalry in the side. They broke. Let's see how many we can kill here. They're down to like 10. They lost their general, that's good. All right. So we took about 60 casualties to our phalanx. That's an acceptable loss for killing a unit of cavalry. We're gonna go ahead and walk up here. Let's get our Illyrians up here. They still have all their missiles, so we can use those on the infantry. Get our barbarian mercenaries up here. All right, guys, get in position. I doubt they're going to want to fight, so let's get a little closer. Get the Barbarian Mercenaries to here. Get the Illyrians to about here. And let's get the General up here as well. All right, speed that up. All right, the, the last horse is, is interested. <laughs> He's taunting. Good job, dude. Good job. All right. What is the range on these Illyrians? It's not great. Let's get a little closer with the Phalanx. Get a little closer with the Mercenaries. And then get a little closer with the Illyrians. Pull my General up. Okay, we're in range now. Guard mode. Start firing. And we're going to use War Cry with the Barbarian Mercenaries. And they're just going to walk right into Prepared Phalanx. They're going to eat a lot of missiles. And then let's get the Barbarian Mercenaries involved since they just use War Cry. They've got that plus 10 attack. We'll walk our Spear Warband forward to just start pressing in on the Warband. And they lost their Phalanx. Come on, guys, get it back. Whenever you tell them to attack, they lose their Phalanx, unfortunately, but... 
All right, they've got the help of the barbarian mercenaries. Can you guys get your spears down? There we go, that's better. Almost use all of our missiles, the Illyrians. I'm tempted to get my general involved, but I don't want to lose him. General's going to be very important in this campaign. Not really as cavalry, but as just the morale bonus. All right. Get in on the side and attack them. Let's let's loop my general around. I'm going to use rally troops now to get everyone happy, and then we'll loop the general around to hit in the rear. Come on. I hate, I hate pathing in cities. Can we please do this, guys? How's morale? Shaken. Wait, oh no, don't waver. If we get a break, I'm going to be so sad. Please don't break. Okay, down to Shaken, steady. We'll use uh, Warcry again, and then we'll get them involved again. All right, I'm going to try to get an actual charge this time with my general. How, how is this going? What is happening? I think this is just, I don't, I don't really know what's happening. <laughs> We're just not doing that much damage with the warband. All right, charge into the rear here. We're gonna use rally troops so the general stays safe. There he is. Get some damage in on these warband. That'll turn their attention. Hopefully they get hit more in the rear by the phalanx. And then I'm going to get out of there. We used our charge. So let's get the general to safety. He's over here. We'll just keep doing this over and over. Just charge in. Are you guys... Are you guys pushing in actively? Or are you just kind of hanging out? Alright. Use war cry over here. And attack this warband over here. And then let's attack this warband unit 73. Should be pretty easy to win that fight with my general. He's right there, so I'll keep an eye on him. Nah, no, he's right at the front. There you go, use rally troops. This is just taking forever. Can we can we wear them down? Alright, I'm gonna pull the general out again. I don't want to lose him. Alright. Nearly there, guys. Just keep Grinding through them. Come on. As far as Total War games I've played, I played a lot of Rome Total War, played a lot of Medieval 2. Um, I tried Napoleon, but I just haven't given it an honest shot yet. And that's it. So I am by no means an expert on all Total War games. I just have played a couple of games religiously. So I, I would love to try more Total War games, but I just I haven't wanted to buy them. So <laughs> that's my main reason. Okay, General's right at the front. I should have rallied troops earlier. I'm going to get him out of there. Yeah, get out of there. I have learned lessons from the Spanish campaign. No more generals lost. I'm going to speed this up because this is just the grind part of the battle. There's no more strategy here. Just grind through the last unit here. 21. Oh, what, what broke? My, my phalanx broke. Okay, guys, get back here. I'm going to slow this down. So this was a bit sloppy, I'm going to be honest. Get a charge in and rally troops so the general stays safe. All right. And you guys can just fight it out until the end. There we go. Is that it? That should be it. No, one more. All right, we took 300 casualties, mostly Spear Warband. Yeah, we lost almost that whole unit, but that's okay. We got a city out of it. All right, we're going to enslave this one as well. Same reason as last time. There's not enough population here to not enslave. And we get the population growth bonus. We didn't get any retinue for Slave Trader, which I was hoping for from either of these generals, but we didn't get it. We got Confident Commander for Hariofus. Weak with Scothi is ours and we are out of money but we want to save up for mines that's definitely a priority let's go ahead and disband this unit of barbarian mercenaries 
that helps out a little bit with the population gets that up to 600 and oh are we gonna have the uh trade the the slave population growth bonus no not yet so we need to get roads we'll go ahead and is there any way we can afford roads i don't think so we're just gonna have to hold off for next turn but we'll get roads next turn but let's move this army a little closer to alessia just hang out in the forest over here and we can go ahead and spy on Sam Robriva. We lost our spy. I, I wanted to know whether we would get in the city or not. It's a 75% chance. And I'd rather not pay for the upkeep if he's going to die anyways. But the first time you pull off like a 75% chance spy mission, you either get a trade out of it or you die. So <laughs> we need to train a new spy, but that helps out with the economy a little bit, I guess. Kind of stinks. What's our economy looking like? Oh, wow. A lot of profits next turn, so that's good. Let's go ahead and end the turn. Did did more population go over to Trier? Do we have a general anywhere? I might have. I might have. I think I enslaved a city when there was no general in, in Indy City, which is not the right thing to do. So we might have lost a couple hundred population there, but ah, oh well, it's okay. I think that's what happens. I think it still takes the population up. I don't know where the population goes. It might just disappear. I don't know. <laughs> Let's go ahead and end the turn. All right, we got some money. We're going to spend it. Profited 1678 last turn. We're the largest faction, which is no surprise. We are quite big. Faction leader dies, Arminius. Oh, no. Glad we used him. And this huge army now is under the command of Rick Burgess, who's okay. Lively. It's all right. Armor is great. So happy about that. But that stinks that we lost our faction leader. Who's our new faction leader? Faction leader is Ariogysis. Sharp. Very lively. Yeah, he looks good. Not great, but good. We're going to march down and take on the Britons with this army. Do we want to attack Captain Atrelius? Probably. Let's see what he's got. I don't like having rebels in my territory. I see Naked Fanatics, which isn't a good start. Um, any more information? No. We might attack them a little bit later. <laughs> if we could get a win against the Britons, that would be good. But I don't want this army to go over and take Batavadorum. All right, let's take a look at religions because um, I said I would do that earlier and I didn't. So I just want to have an idea of where these go. So we've got three shrine trees, temple trees. Sacred Circle of Freya. Freya? Tell me if I'm saying that wrong. Freya, we get screeching women out of. Population growth bonus, basic public order bonus from happiness. Donar, we have experience bonus to troops and berserkers. I really want to do berserkers. I love them. Attack of 19, charge bonus of 7, and then I forget how much attack they get when you go Berserk. I think it's like 50 or something. It's crazy. And then we have the third religious building, which gives us cavalry. So we have Naked Fanatics and then Gothic Cavalry. Gothic Cavalry, I think, is significantly better than the Noble Cavalry. Let's take a look. Attack of 12, defense of 19, and excellent morale. Attack of 9, defense of 15, good morale. So significantly better. So if we want a lot of cavalry, we would go for Woden. Um, I'm probably going to go for Donar in a couple of my cities because I want to do Berserkers. All right, new faction leader, Ariogysis. Who's our new faction heir? I don't want to disinherit someone, but we want to make sure he's going to be good. Hariophus. And, oh, this guy's really good. Yeah, uh, intelligent is such a great trait. All right, good. Heriophis, wait, where are you? Was this Heriophis? No, that was the faction leader. Up here? Yeah, Heriophis is up here. So he's not going to get a lot of action just hanging out in Wikuskothi. But can we leave this city? How, how close are we to getting peasants here? No, it'll be a bit. But we can afford mines. So we're going to go ahead and do that in Wikuskothi. Um... Or do we want to go for roads to get the population going from the slave trading? Uh, 
let's see. Is this even going to work? I don't know why we're not... I think it's because we just don't have the road here yet. Trading the, the slaves to get the population growth bonus. But I'm going to go ahead and buy roads here and at Wikus Markamani. And then I'll get mines next turn. Because I think it's more important to have population growth than a little bit of money right now. So we'll do that. And could we take this guy out? Yeah, we can do that. So we'll, we'll get some peasants in Wikus Goti soon. Actually, is, is Spear Warband even that useful in a battle? If there's only 81 of them, maybe not. So we'll just leave them behind. Let's march out in this direction. I want to continue expanding. Honestly, I don't remember exactly where this city is, though. Is this city up here? I don't know. We're going to just march out in this direction, start exploring, and try and find the rebel settlement over here. Construction report, we got two of our roads are still waiting for the one in Bordesholm. And we can bring up the tax rate here. We want to get as much income as possible. Tavadorum, already at very high tax rate. And do we want to buy a religious building here now? I think trader. We want population growth bonus as much as possible. So the first level, the trader gives a population growth bonus of 0.5%. The second level doesn't give any. I'm pretty sure. I'm going to double check that. Yeah, it stays at 0.5%, stays at 0.5% for the third level. So the, the first level is the cheapest one, 600, and it gives you a good population growth bonus, so it's worth getting in every city. So we'll get a trader. Do we want Mugot and Tiakum to have a trader yet? We'll do communal farming, and then we'll do a trader, I think. Because this is worth a little more. Yeah, worth 70 denarii per turn. Gets another half a percent population growth bonus, and then we will get a trader there as well. All right, let's speak to the Gauls, see what we can get out of them. So, Kardawak of Carcasso, that's a fun name. Alessia, let's get trade rights from you first. I feel like once they've accepted a deal, they're more likely to accept more things. So we're gonna sell the map information. I'm gonna try it for 1500. I hope they don't just deny it. Oh, they accepted it. I feel like they're usually very hesitant. But I'm going to try and buy their map information for like 200. Let's see what they do. Yeah, 1340. They never sell their map information. So I don't need it that badly. Screw you. I'm going to take your city anyways. So I don't need that. I'm going to march this diplomat down to speak to the Romans. And eventually I want to speak to the Dacians. But I'm hoping that they send a diplomat over to Wikus Markamani. We'll see, um, but I want to get trade with all my neighbors. Same with the Scythians. Eventually, hopefully, they just come talk to us. All right, over here, everyone's used their move points. We have some more money. Any cities need an upgrade? Trier, Trader. Yep, we want it. Get that population growth bonus up. Davidorum has something building. Bordesholm, Dom. Dom, we could do a... Maybe a communal farming yeah we'll do communal farming we'll do trader after that and i think that's all we can do this turn let's go ahead and end this turn all right end of turn report we profited 1100 so already the economy is turning around which i feel like that's one of the main challenges of playing is germany so happy about that we got a new general vanius who came of age in trier Apparently loyal, really? I hate that trait. So this guy's kind of a bum. I I could send him over to Gontiaku. I'm going to use him as just heavy cavalry because he's bad. So we're going to send him over to join up with Ariogaisus. We could disband some mercenaries here and send them over to Gontiaku for some population. But no, actually the population is pretty good here already. Where do we, do we want to buy any mercenaries and just, okay, we could do it here, Tavadorum, what's the population at? Yes, that's worth doing. Going to buy and disband a unit of barbarian peasants. And then we can march into British territory up here. Over here, join up with Ariogaisis and we'll go besiege Alessia in a turn or two. Let's see, Gontiakum, how unhappy are you? 70% we can handle. I'm tempted to switch this out for peasants. 200 upkeep. That adds up. We're going to 
do that because I want to maximize our economy's performance. So we don't want to be leaving Spearman in any city unless it's for actual defense. Trader, we're going to get in Weakless Markomani to get that population growth bonus. And let's see if we got the slave bonus stacking. Yep. So we got 1% up in Wikus Gotti, half a percent in a one percent in Dom because it's trading with both Wikus Gotti and Bordasom. Wikus Markomani has one percent. Oh yeah, all these cities have one percent. This is great. Free one percent population growth bonus in all of these cities. <laughs> Do we have it in like these cities down here? No. So if they're not directly trading, then they don't have it. But that's helpful. Five of my cities have one percent population growth bonus right now. For like, I think 15 turns. How long does this last? And I think it increases income from trade, right? Let's see. We're going to go to the trade summary. Yeah, slaves, they contribute to the amount of money we're earning too. So that's wonderful. We just got the, let's go ahead and buy our mines here. It's worth 200. It's not one of the 300 denarii mines in the world, unfortunately. But 200 is good. That's a lot of money per turn. Wikus Makamani. We have a trader coming in, Bordasom. Let's go for a trader here as well. And then we need to get some population up here because 500, no matter how high the population growth rate is, we're never going to build the city. Unfortunately, Dam is really encircled by rebels right now. That's kind of scary. I might get a unit of Spear Warband here, just in case. Like, I know that's expensive, but when you have two rebel armies around, very hard, they can just besiege you and take your cities. So, yeah, I don't want to, I don't want to have that happen. All right. What do we want to do? Diplomat, go south. Ariogaisis. Anyone have any move points? Oh, yeah, Heriolfus. So we could keep searching for this rebel settlement, or we could go back this way. Hmm. Maybe we should go deal with the enemies we already have. How old is this guy? 32. You have time. Go protect them. Yeah, two turns we can deal with these rebels, and then we don't have to build this unit of Spear Warband. That's a better solution. I'm happy with that. Hold on, I gotta deal with my cat. I'll be back in 30 seconds. Of all the challenges that I have being a YouTuber, you would think the hardest thing is editing videos or, you know, filming new videos every week. Nope. It's having cats. I love my cats. I'm a big fan of cats. Cats are a YouTuber's worst nightmare. They're scratching things. They're breaking things. They're fighting. But they're, they're all right now. Let's make sure there's nothing else we need to do this turn. I think we already queued all of our buildings, did all our move points. Let's take a look. How many settlements do we have? Seven. So it's been 51 minutes. We want to get to 10 as soon as possible. This is, this is going kind of slow. Let's go ahead and end the turn. Let's move this guy. And construction report. What do we build? Trier. We have a trader. We'll go for roads. We want to be able to move around since we don't really have garrisons in any of these cities. In case we need to bring troops back to defend a city. Roads are not bad. But Tavadorum, Trader. We'll get a, get a muster field. Yeah, we want to be able to build something other than peasants. That's actually... But Tavadorum's not going to get attacked. That's a waste of money. We're not going to do that. We're going to go for a religious building. This is the fun part. Donar is the one with... Berserkers, right? 
I want it so bad. I want Berserkers. All right, Padavadorum, you're going to be a shrine to Donar. And a turn report, we lost 447 denarii, but we were spending a lot on construction. 3,200 a turn, so makes sense to me. All right, Mugonti Akum has our peasants. Can we now remove our Spear Warband? Beautiful. So we can either disband it or use it for fighting. Let's send it out in this direction. They're fairly expensive to train. How much do they cost? 520, so, I mean, that is only three turns of upkeep. Maybe we just disband it for now. This is how you have to deal with population in the early game, because you just, I mean, when something only costs 520 and its upkeep is 200, if you don't use it for three turns, it's worth just disbanding it and then recruiting another one. So that's what I'm going to do in this case. And that pushes us over into a large town in Trier, so we can go ahead and get a Warlord's Hold instead of Rhodes. This was at 900 population like four turns ago. So this is working. Happy about that. Are you guys this? Do we want to besiege Alicia right now? I think so. All right. Hopefully there's not a huge army out here. I know I'm causing waves, but I want to expand quickly. So we need to win some battles and just kill our enemies. So yeah, there's a lot of troops here. But with phalanxes, if I play smart, I'll be fine. Let's go attack the Britons as well. We'll go up through the north so they kind of don't see us coming. Although they know transgression. They know it's me. I'm coming for them. Sam Robriva only has four units in it, but I think they usually have another army or two around here. We saw that earlier when we used our spy. You know, I've always wondered from your... Uh, your like profile picture whether you had a parrot or if that's just what your profile picture was but i'm i'm pleased to know i will think of your parrot every time i see you comment all right let's send rick guard our diplomat a little further south i'm curious how the gauls are doing in italy so we'll check on that and we'll go talk to the romans all right anything we need to do this turn i don't think so there's not much we can do let's get our tax rate up tax rate's already maxed here Ordish home. Maxed out, yep. This is why our economy is doing well. Almost every city has very high tax rate. But it's worth it. The, the penalty to population growth rate is not that much. Especially since you can just buy upgrades and fund it with taxes. So it's worth having a lot of high tax rates in the early game. Alright, let's go ahead and end the turn. I will want another spy soon i miss my spy all right they want 200 denarii out of us i feel like i can just do this for free let's just get trade rights <laughs> yay they, they drive a hard bargain i like flavius nepos all right we're gonna sell you map information i'm gonna try for like 1500 you never know how much money sbqr even has so they might just say no to this Wow, 990. That's not bad. I'll take 990. And let me see if I can buy their map. Do I want their map information? I don't really want their map information. I'll pay 100 for it. Just no. <laughs> what are you? 1450? You think your map information is worth 1450? You have one settlement. Leave me alone. Okay. We got to fight at Alessia. Brennus is inside the city with three units of warband, two units of swordsmen. 95 heavy cavalry and he's decent cardock of carcasso how good are you oh boy yeah this is a bit hard i'm gonna withdraw and see if they chase perfect i just wanted a smaller battle this they will easily lose so not really sure what the plan was here um druids some cavalry some mercenaries and cardwalk yeah, that's not going to go well for them. Are you guys, is how you're, you have any morale stuff? No, just command. So we'll get, I think, two extra morale from that. And good amount of influence. Yeah, this should be pretty easy. And actually, speaking of your parrot eating your wires, 
one of my cats he's really fat and he eats all of my wires if you saw the black and white cat that i put in one of my videos for a second who was like sitting on my keyboard he eats wires like it's his job so i i relate to you on that all right let's we're just gonna do the the classic the draw with phalanxes impenetrable wall i'm probably gonna be pretty aggressive in this battle so i might not even hide behind this but i didn't mean to do that there we go uh we'll just we'll just get this set up just in case we use it mercenaries can just hang out we're not going to use them we've got two generals so we've got a lot of heavy cavalry all right let's start the battle what are y'all gonna do oh you have to attack me i mean if you have to attack me i will just sit here i wasn't even planning on just sitting here but why not let's speed this up let them force themselves into a horrible position they're gonna have to charge into prepared phalanxes and they don't have any missiles so good luck guys this is what they see <laughs> i don't envy them yeah eh, not the best plan i don't know why you chased me this was not necessary All right, nearly in range of my skirmishers. We'll slow this down a little bit. All right, skirmishers getting some shots in. General has charged into the spear war band. Down to 18, broken. All right, I'm gonna chase the warlord with my light cavalry. These druids are wavering, they'll break any second. Let's get my general out here. Just chase down whatever you can reach. I doubt I'll chase the general successfully. Um, but I do have light cavalry, so I have a chance. It's just the, the speed difference is not that great between a warlord and light cavalry. Oh, you're so close. No, we're not going to get him. Where is he? He's... No, he's at the front. Okay. So we didn't get the general, but let's pick up some barbarian mercenaries and then we'll pick up some druids. Yeah. Speed this up, get some more kills. Okay. Not a bad result. We probably lost 10 soldiers or maybe 40. We lost some soldiers over here. 27. All right. Killed 367 of them. They've got 94 left, so they won't disband, but we'll get them in a turn or two. Didn't really heal much. We lost some just spear warband. I'm happy with that. Thanks for coming by. Have a good night. Uh, I'll see you in like nine hours. I'm sure I'll still be here. So, all right. Let's see. How do we want to handle this? A lot of fighting going on. Yeah, the Britons have a lot of troops. Yikes. Okay. Let's besiege Alessia again. And we're just going to see if they do the same thing where they chase us out. I still don't know if I can beat the army inside of Alessia, but if they chase us and do the same thing they just did, we can just whittle down at their armies a little bit, little by little bit by little bit. Oy. Thank you very much, man. Have a good night. All right. Do we want to attack the Britons right now? This feels kind of... <laughs> This feels a little scarier when you're facing big armies. I have an idea. All right, I'm going to declare war on them, and then I'm going to try and just hide out on this river crossing and see if these big armies will fight me. All right, war, and then hang out on the river, and let's see. I'm curious if they'll do it. If they go straight for Trier, ooh, that's going to be scary. We'll just have to use this army, send it back, and defend Trier. But... That's the only way I'm going to defeat those armies in the field. So I think it's worth doing. This rebel army is hiding in a forest nearby, maybe. Where are they? Maybe they merged with this army. We'll send our army over there and attack them next turn. We've got the missile advantage, so we can whittle away at them as well. Um, Do we want to buy any mercenaries anywhere? Mm, I don't think so. Let's take a look at our construction report. Oh, we got a lot. All right, we have communal farming at them. We'll go for trader here. Mugantiakum, same thing. We'll go for we'll go for wooden palisade here, just because 
things are getting a little more aggressive now that we're at war with multiple factions. So let's get some Palisades down. Rikus Makamani, get a Palisade. We're just going to invest in boring stuff this turn. Palisade up here, Bordesholm, in case a ship shows up with some British. Rikus Koti, we got our mines finally. So let's go for land clearance and then trader. And that's all of our cities. War declared between Armenia and the Seleucids. That's not good for the Seleucids. They're probably getting beat up on right now. And yes, we have war with the Britons. Oh man, look at that. End of turn report, 3,394 denarii profit. That is not bad starting as the Germans. This is one of the worst economies in the game. But I, I you know, I'm, I'm kind of an economist. It's kind of my thing, so. I know that's not what economists do, but I'm a developer. That's what we'll call me. All right, let's end the turn. Not much going on. So, interesting. We're attacked by Karatok and just a lone general. I feel like I could take this. All right, what's the like layout here? So the lone general is attacking us, so we can kill him first. Can we defeat... Karatok with three units of phalanx. Yes. I'm going to say yes because there's only 28 in his general's unit. I'm glad I kind of kept up the pressure on him. So he hasn't had time to regenerate his general's unit since he's been stuck inside Alessia. I'm going to fight him now. I don't want to let up the pressure and let him heal his troops and his general's unit. So yeah, I want to keep up the pressure. All right, first things first, we're going to be dealing with the lone general's unit. So we could use a lot of cavalry. Obviously, if we can reach the general's unit with our spear warband, that would be ideal. Let's have our generals hang out like this. So we're going to have the weaker unit of my barbarian warlord and some barbarian cavalry on the flank. And on the other flank, we'll have our huge unit of 90 heavy cavalry from my faction leader, I believe. And they are going to go around the general's unit and hit him in the rear. I'm hoping that these three spear war bands can reach this warlord. I don't know if he will allow it, but let's slowly walk up. And honestly, these three, you should run before the reinforcements arrive. Get a little closer. Maybe just drop right here. And then if they start to charge. Okay, we're in position. Drop your phalanx. You guys can run. We want our cavalry in position. Any chance this works? Are they just going to charge in? No way, right? All right, I'm going to walk my Spear Warband into this Warlord's unit. They're already concerned over exposed flanks. There's no way they allow this, right? I'm going to keep my other infantry nearby, just for the second half of the battle. There's no way, right? <laughs> if I can bend them with my Phalanx, I don't know what exactly we're doing here. I know this is kind of my fault for having them attack, but... All right, so this is a little bit messy, but it works. The majority of the unit is being attacked by my phalanx. Now we can hit them on all sides. They're steady, but they're falling fast. Shaken, down to 50, wavering, broken. Okay, general's dead, and they're not coming back. So we're gonna let the light cavalry chase down the remaining barbarian warlord here. We just wanna make sure they leave the battlefield. We don't even need to kill them. Just don't wanna deal with them again. And now we can redraw up for the second army. So we've lost 4% of our army and we killed their faction. Is that faction leader? I think that was faction leader. So that's a good start. Let's get our barbarian mercenaries on the flank over here. We'll get our skirmishers behind the front line. Get our screeching women over here for morale and guard the flank with some cavalry. And then we'll have our general behind the front line for morale. Andrew, I would 
like to try the remaster. Um, my thing with the remaster is... I have such an affection for the the old UI and the old style of everything. It just doesn't feel magical to me, but I know if I played it, it would be really cool. Um, I just need to justify buying it sometime. I still haven't made any money from this channel. Obviously, I, I just started a few months ago, so I'm trying not to spend too much money. I'm always tempted to buy new gear, buy new games, stuff like that. So I haven't made the Switch yet, but I will at some point try it out and... I could see myself switching full time to the remaster because I hear good things. Um, I just I feel very comfortable in this game, and so yeah. But I think people would like to see it, so I should probably bite the bullet and try it out. And I'm sure I'll love it because yeah, this game is a bit dated. I don't know if you've noticed; it's a bit dated. <laughs> the polygons are quite big. All right, will they just? They are they ready to just fight me? Let's see, what do they have here? Some warband. Uh Barbarian Cavalry I can deal with pretty easily with my general's unit. I think they Alright, we're gonna use Warcry on this flank. These guys can fight this Barbarian Cavalry. We're gonna use Screeching Women's special ability to have that morale debuff. And this warband is not gonna do well. Alright. General's charging into the front of prepared hoplites. We have a break on the flank. That's good. And then swordsman, I don't think we can beat. So we're going to pull back with this unit. We have breaks over here. Actually, wavering. Yeah, we're going to just commit. Let's get our general's unit in here. We can attack these barbarian cavalry with my barbarian mercenaries. And we'll get my general's unit to just chase down some broken units. All right, chase down all the warband, swordsmen, all of them. How are you doing over here? You're eager. This unit's wavering. Oh, my general's caught up in a fight here. Okay, they broke. That's good. I was a little worried about that. You guys have somehow only just now broken? Okay. We're just going to continue chasing down the fleeing troops because they're about to escape. So, yeah, chase down the fleeing troops. Continue the battle. We want to get as many kills as possible. And you guys can chase down these guys. You guys pick up the Barbarian Mercenaries. I will have all of you just chase these guys. So, yeah, just run them down. No need to throw any missiles over here. All right. Can we, can we just chase them down? What are they at? 84%. We just need 85% for them to disband. All right, now we're just farming experience. So we'll do that for a second, and then we will end the battle. That's a good victory. 89%. We'll go ahead and call it. Easy win. So who do we lose? We lost some mercenaries to the cavalry charge on the side. Lost some spear warband, but not too many casualties. That's a good win. I always love this. Accept or we will attack. Please do not attack. Uh, no. How about accept or we will attack? Ceasefire. Trade rights. Give me 2,000. How about that? Nope. <laughs> not interested. There we go. Dacia wants to give us map information, trade rights for free. I will absolutely take that. I'm going to see if I can sell them my map information for 1500. I know they've all been accepting, which means I should be offering more. But if you offer 2000, sometimes they just say no, and then they won't talk to you again. So the best way to maximize the amount of money you earn from selling your map information is to do an amount that they will accept. So 1500. See, too high. Um, so yeah, they won't accept it, unfortunately. All right, but we got their map information. They haven't expanded at all, so they're not doing well at all. We got a new candidate for adoption. 28, wall breaker, confident commander. I'm going to say yes to this because adoption you should pretty much always accept. Like marriage, you don't always have to accept because that daughter will actually marry someone else later, so you might get a better option. 
but he looks pretty good. He's a little old. 28 is kind of old to get a new general, but wall breaker's good. Confident commander's good. So, all right, Harry Ophis, you guys might go deal with some rebels this turn. I'm thinking you will. Moving your allies through your spear infantry from behind may kill them. Is that true? May kill the allies or may kill the spear infantry? I didn't think that was true that phalanxes did that. Like I know missiles obviously damage your own troops. That's good to know if that's true. So you're saying phalanxes are just porcupines and if you walk through them you can take damage. Good to know. All right, let's move into British territory here. I really am scared that they might be marching on Trier. So I'm trying to find this army. I need to spy. No, I think, oh gosh, this is the army. That's horrifying. Look at this army that they've fielded. The British are just horrible. <laughs> horrible British. All right, Alessia is basically undefended. So I think we're going to take that this turn. Hmm. Let's take a look at our construction report and all of that before we do any fighting. We've gone to Yacom, we have Wooden Palisade. We'll go for Trader, get that population growth rate up. Trier, we have grown to a larger city. It's a large town. What do we want to do? Let's take a look at our infantry upgrades, cavalry upgrades, that kind of stuff. So level one, we have Skirmisher Warband for practice range. At archery range, we get Chosen Archer Warband. So a little bit different than Daisha, but we still get the incredible long range Chosen Archer Warband. So that is definitely going to be a strong backbone of my army. Infantry, we get Axemen at level one and Chosen Axemen at level two. So Axemen, attack of 11, not effective against armor, defense of nine. And then Chosen Axemen are effective against armor, excellent morale, attack of 18. So I'm excited for that. Hmm. For now, I think I'm going to stick mostly to the Phalanxes for the early game. But, interesting. Trier, let's get communal farming. We are just doubling down, tripling down on population growth and economy growth. So Trier, we will get communal farming, and then we might start buying some military upgrades. Wikus Makamani. Do we want another Shrine to Dunar here? What religion do we want? Maybe population growth rate, because this is always going to be a small city. I think that was Freya. Let me take a look at the building browser. Freya. That's the population growth rate one, yeah. Get Screeching Women. That's useful. Yeah, we'll get uh, Shrine to Freya at Wikus Makamani. And at Bordesholm, we have a wooden palisade. Look how strong this rebel army is. Leave me alone. We'll go for a shrine to Freya here as well. We need that population as high as possible. So we can always change it up. That's a good thing about barbarian factions. You can switch up your entire religious tree in six turns from level one to level three. It doesn't cost that much. So getting population growth rate in the early game makes sense. And in the late game, you can switch to something else. But... All right. Now we need to start dealing with these rebels or they're going to start taking my settlements. So, hmm, how do we do this? Harry Ulfus, you're going to combine with this general. What's your name? Dodness of Bona. And what are you facing here? Some weak stuff. We'll buy some mercenaries. Well, I don't know if we really need them. Hmm. Um, what's our population here? Bordeshaw population is really small. Okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to buy some mercenaries since we have money right now with Harry Ulfus. And then we're going to bring them up to attack Bordeshaw, this uh, rebel guy outside of Bordeshaw. And then we're going to disband the mercenaries and we're going to drop some population in Bordeshaw. So I think that's a good plan. Deals with the threats and moves population around in a good way. Let's take a look at our end of turn report. We profited 2100 not bad and i'm gonna drop a save real quick just in case we have a game crash you got to see my save files for all of my my campaigns but all right 
we're one hour and hour and 17 minutes we are at seven regions oh man this is this is moving kind of slow but it's all right let's attack captain cherry Amiris, and then we will attack oh do we want to attack anyone over here i don't know rickabergus yikes oh yeah we'll attack at alessia but um let me check out my diplomat i like i like kind of splitting up my attention in a turn i like to do all the management stuff the moving and then the fighting so that's why i play the way i do all right is patavium still gallic it is all right we're gonna go speak to the romans next turn so the Gauls are doing fairly well, which means the Romans are doing fairly poorly, which is probably a good thing for me in the end, even though we're fighting the Gauls. Uh, Alessia, do we want any mercenaries? We don't need them. Let's see who's inside the city. So we have two rams. We're fighting Caradoc. This is a flimsy army. Weak general, weak troops. Reinforcements are okay. These warband with experience have attack of eight, defense of 11, and then some swordsmen. Decent, but not great. I think I can pretty easily handle these guys. So if I want to jump into the city, I'm trying to remember where the reinforcements are going to come from. So they're going to be in the southwest. All right, let's start this battle. I always have a hard time keeping in my brain which direction the enemy are coming from when they have reinforcements, but southwest. All right, so we are attacking from the north and southwest is where the reinforcements will be. I don't think I want to send any cavalry down there to deal with them. Well, I have so much heavy cavalry. I could try it because you're not going to use your cavalry for anything in the siege anyways. Let's go down here. I think this is closer to the southwest than like right here probably. This is a good place to start. Get our generals, get our barbarian cavalry. And how far is it? I mean, that's, that's, I think, I don't know which way is closer. We'll just do it from this way. This is fine. And then, hmm. Who do we want to push the ram? Screeching women is fine. They're kind of fun. We'll have the skirmisher warband go up with the ram. We want to get the city taken as quickly as possible. So if we're dealing with the reinforcements with the cavalry, we would love to take the city center and just end the battle if we need to, if something goes wrong. So let's get rid of Phalanx Formation. Go ahead and start working on knocking down gates. And let's get the Skirmisher Warband up here to start dealing damage to the troops inside the city. Generals and Barbarian Cavalry start beelining for the reinforcements. It's going to take a while, but just get out there. See if you can intercept them. I would love a Medieval 2 remaster. I mean, I don't know if it really needs it that much. I think Medieval 2 looks great, um, but I would be happy with it. Uh, oh, are we in range of the tower? Don't do that. Don't do that. It's a weirdly placed tower. I feel like most of these cities don't have a tower like that. All right. So knock down the gates over here and the wall over here. That's what we'll do instead. You guys line up right here and turn off skirmish mode. I want to play Medieval 2. I love that game. It is so much fun. I just, it's hard to commit to starting a new series on this channel because this is just a hobby for me. And each series I'm running takes about like four hours of work per week. So I just don't want to like promise you guys that I'll have a weekly video out for a new series, like starting a Medieval 2 series. And then I don't commit, you know, I, like I commit, but I don't deliver. That's what I mean. So yeah, I never want that to be what's happening, but... I love Medieval 2. That game is so fun. The crossbows, the animations for the assassinations, all of that is super fun. So, big fan. All right. These guys are walking slow, which I am happy about. My cavalry is going to be tired when they reach them. And they are... They have some warband. So, my cavalry will not have a huge advantage. But do we not have a shot with these skirmishers? I'm trying to get a shot. I would love to break these Barbarian Cavalry. Let me bring up my Warband. They're going to be useful for fighting the General's unit. Alright, over here we are 
nearly in range of this reinforcing army, but we're winded, so I'm going to let my guys rest for a bit. All right. How's the, how's the gate doing? 80%. Not in range with the skirmishers, I don't think. Nope. So we're just going to hang out. Are you in range of a tower? This tower is really annoying. This is actually a really well-placed tower for a city. Alright. We're just waiting for... Oh, things are moving around. Alright, we're just waiting for the other ram. Fighting is happening. I didn't mean for fighting to happen yet. Oh, no. This is what happens when you don't pay attention for two seconds. Something was moving around on my desk. And we lost a unit. Swordsmen are wavering. I bet I can break them. Any second. Where's the other unit? It's down here. These guys should reform any second. Can we, can we break? Okay. Swordsmen have broken. Let me check on my troops down here. Nothing's happening. Good. Let's bring my spear warband up here. How's the cavalry doing? All right. So we're now fighting the warband and they're fighting uphill. They're outnumbered and there's a broken unit nearby. So they're shaken already. We'll hit them in the rear with the Barbarian Cavalry and they should break. Wavering already. Can we break them? We're not gonna lose a general, are we? No, perfect. All right, clean up these swordsmen. You guys clean up these warbands. Let's check on the front gate and the wall. Perfect, one more hit. Wall will go down, or two more hits. All right. Now, how do we want to handle this? So let's check on what's happening over here. Are we? There we go. Clean up this warband. Good job. All right. Let's get the other unit of spear warband in over here. All the reinforcements should be dead by now. Yeah, just. 12 more warband. That was the majority of strength in this army, so. We're just gonna come in here, kill these barbarian cavalry, deal with the general, and this should be over. Nice and quick. Barbarian cavalry is at 39 and is split between all these units, so they're gonna break in like two seconds. Great, they broke. <laughs> Alright, let's get our cavalry back back reunited with the rest of the army they're probably not going to get used again in this battle because there's just they are all the way on the other side of the army all right let's not have our barbarian mercenaries be like leading the charge here because they're just they're better used for disbanding than anything so all right let's get our phalanxes inside the city we're going to deal with the general next so we want our phalanxes prepared Warlords, get out there. Let's speed this up. It's gonna take a while. All right, pull up to here and drop your phalanx and let's get the other unit in as well. All right, guys, uh, make your way around the city. Nearly there. All right, you three can share this space like that. Cavalry, you guys, almost there. All right, drop your phalanx. You guys reposition to there. And then I'm gonna bring up some reinforcing infantry just to have around in case they're needed. Let's get our Generals and cavalry inside the city. Yeah, through that gate, maybe. All right, nearly done with this battle. Just keep walking up, nice and slow. A little bit closer. All right, General has charged in. He's actually gotten the best of this unit. They're not really getting their spears down effectively. 
Can we attack from the sides? Okay, general's dead. And they're just going to keep doing the thing where they break and then charge and break and then charge. Okay, general's dead. We took some heavy casualties there. Lost about 70 or 80 spear warband. But let's just march a little closer, see if we can get the barbarian cavalry to attack. And this battle will be over. All right, guys, walk over here. Like, like that. You walk over here. And there we go. Attack from the side, get a general over here for morale. And they're just getting pushed off. Cut down. Battle over. Beautiful. All right, we'll end the battle. No need to finish it. We lost about 200 troops, 174. Gained some experience from a warlord and some cavalry. Yeah, not too bad. Took some casualties, healed some casualties. And Alessia is ours. And I don't think any of my cities have a general in them that I... Oh, Bordisholm does, doesn't it? Does Bordisholm have a general? No, I don't think any of these have a general in them. Probably should have done that before, but... I would like Alessia to be a big city. And it's actually got good public order. So occupying makes sense here. This is our new frontline city. 3,900 population means we'll be able to train troops here. So it's not a horrible thing that we're not able to enslave it. We're going to repair up our troops from that battle. And we have access to axemen here. And warhounds. We can train more barbarian cavalry. So this is a good settlement. Hmm. What do we want to do here? We might hang out here for a turn. Because we have to beat this army. And we want to have full phalanxes. Yeah, we'll hang out here for a turn. Then we'll beat this army. Do we have move points? Oh, we have move points. All right, I'm, I'm going to be aggressive. Let's do this instead. So we're going to grab my two generals, my two strong units of phalanxes, screeching women, get outside of the city. And then we will continue retraining the cavalry and the spear warband inside of Alessia. And can we beat this army? Yeah, we can, for sure. We got a new shield bearer for Ariogaisis after that battle. Plus one Valor, that's good. Helps with the number of cavalry in the general's unit. Yeah, I just want to be able to beat this army so I can march north and assist with taking Samuel Briva. So, all right, any mercenaries we want? Barbarian mercenaries. We don't really need the population in Alessia. We could use it in Trier, but we don't have that much money, so I'm not going to buy them right now. Let's... See if we can start a fight with Captain Baravinus. Baravindus. Baravendus. Yeah, he doesn't want to fight. But we can fight him anyways, so. We're just getting him out of our territory. Two Skirmisher Warband, a unit of Warband. This will be easy. I think that's like eight settlements, right? We're not, we're not close to ten yet, right? But... We're making steady progress. All right. We have our spear war bands. Probably not going to use it that much. Going to use the cavalry to kill the skirmishers. And then we'll use the spear war band to deal with the war band. And yeah, this should be over pretty quick. I'm going to just make this a fast battle. Let's do double game speed. Don't want to fight the war band, but we want to fight the skirmisher war band with cavalry because they're wavering. They're broken. They're done already. And... Yeah, just run down a few of them. Get out of there. Don't want to take any casualties. We would love to fight the other skirmisher warband, but we don't want to hit the enemy warband. So, oh, this will be fun. They're going to charge directly through my prepared phalanxes. 77 down to, yeah. No, get out of there. Down to 25. <laughs> will the screeching women get this guy? He's running around through the screeching women. Can we... No, we can't really attack the Skirmisher Warband. We'll just keep them moving. Let's walk forward with our Phalanxes. And if we can get a, a charge into the Skirmisher Warband, that would be ideal. Get out of there. Don't do this. Oh my gosh, this general has a death wish. He might actually die here. That's a shame. Skirmisher Warband broke. Get out of there. Come on. 
Okay, they're wavering. We might do this before we lose a general. Oh, so lucky. I hate when generals just get a bad idea and run with it. <laughs> Don't do that, guys. All right, run down the skirmisher warband. You guys run down this unit of warband. That was stressful. Maybe they'll pick up bloody or something since they're getting so active and fighting. I, I feel like the trait progression is not as good in this game as in Medieval 2. Where in Medieval 2, if you damage your general, if you get him bloody, he will pick up bloody like right away. But in this game, not so much. Or I think it's bloody. No, brutally scarred. That's what he picks up. Um, in this game, you, you'll pick it up eventually. But it's, I think it's more from the amount of kills you get versus how much damage your general's unit takes. So, all right. We lost nothing and we killed a whole army. So happy with that. All right, and we're going to march north. We want to reunite with Rick Burgess and take on the Britons at San Riva. I don't think there will be any other Gauls in the area because judging by this being Rebel, this being Rebel, they probably have just these two settlements. Or is this one settlement? I think this is... One settlement here, one settlement here. Narba Martius. They might have Massilia. So they're not doing too well. We, on the other hand, have eight regions. Let's take a look at rankings, see how everyone's doing. Yeah, we'll do neighboring factions. So overall ranking, Gaul's always doing really well on that. But yeah... Territorial ranking, so we're... I'm confused. I am confused. Territorial ranking. We have eight regions. I think that's broken. But, <laughs> or maybe just ranking, like that's your actual ranking? No, I don't know. Um, financial ranking, yeah, we're doing well. So, okay, good to know. Uh, all right. Anything else we can do? I don't think there's anything else. Oh, yeah, we can fight this guy. That's what we want to do. Let's fight Captain Cherry Omeris. Peasants, Warband, pretty easy stuff. What else is here? Naked Fanatics, more peasants. Okay, so we got to be a little bit careful with the Naked Fanatics. But we have Heavy Cavalry, so Rebels are usually pretty easy. Yeah, I'm glad you agree. I just, I think the UI for the Rome Remaster is so ugly. Like, maybe I'd feel different if it if I played it, but it just looks so ugly. I don't know. I don't really understand why they went with that just, with that route. Instead of just, they could have kept everything the same about the UI and everything and just made everything super HD and really well textured. And I think I would have been happy with that, but oh well. It's a different company, right? I think they like, didn't they contract out the remaster? I thought so. All right. Let's see if, I don't know if I even want to use my Illyrians, but I'm going to grab them. I'm mostly going to do work with the general's units. So yeah, see if we can just break these peasants. Broken. This warband is broken as well. So we'll pick them up. And then we'll just, yeah. Pick up the rest of these peasants. You guys can just, yeah. This is a little too fast. Let's not, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Two times speed is good. These peasants are broken. So the enemy general is broken. Let's see if we can get some missiles into these naked fanatics. If I could take like no casualties, that would be ideal. wonder if they would just break. We'll give it a sec. Let's let the Light Cavalry deal with these peasants. Just get some experience on them. And then the Illyrians will get some missiles into these naked fanatics. They're concerned over exposed flanks. Yeah. Shaken. Okay, they'll, they'll break here. Just hit them from all sides. They're wavering. They're dead. Great. Uh, continue the battle. Just run them down. Get some experience. You guys can stop throwing into our general. That'd be nice. Could you stop? All right. That's battle one. Let's end the battle. See if we got any experience. 
Yeah, one for a warlord, one for the Illyrian. So that's good. We got a sh we got a shield there for Herylfus. Plus one valor. That's good. You're getting quite good. You're going to go liberate Bordesholm. So go up this way. Don't want to fight over a bridge. Next turn, we'll get Captain Thelonius. Then we can disband these mercenaries and Bordesholm's population will be a little bit better after that. All right. I think we're good to end this turn. How's everyone doing? Any, any complaints? Any feedback? This is my first live stream, so I'm hoping it's a similar experience to watching the videos, but it's obviously different with no editing and all the fancy stuff I do to make the videos fun. So hopefully the interaction makes up for it and you guys are having a good time. We are attacked by Sinfar. Look at this army, guys. This is horrifying. So they have their chariot archers, which is something I'm going to really struggle with because if they run into my spear warband, I have that advantage. But if they don't, they can just shoot at me forever because they have long, like decent range archers. Uh, yeah, we're not fighting this. We're going to retreat. We need reinforcements. Oh, no. Okay, they're cornering me. I have to do some cheap tactics here, guys. I know you don't want me to do any corner camping. We'll take a look at the battlefield, but we might have to do a little bit. This guy is sharp, has good influence, and has a druid for plus one morale. So, eesh. Yeah, they're not going to be breaking easily. Let's really take a look at what they have. Peasants, Warband, Druids. Yeah, this is not going to go well. We're just going to try to lose gracefully here. Just lose gracefully. All right. What do we have? We don't have any, any elevation, any rocks, anything like that. Do we want to use, is there any way to use a forest? There is a way to use a forest. All right, I'm not going to corner camp because that is just not fun, but I can use a forest. So my plan is to hide out some cavalry in the forest and hit them in the back. So I need my spear war band to go here and we're going to close the gaps between these units. So let's have a unit here. They're going to be very wide, so we need to be very circular in our in our line. We don't want them to get around us. And like this. And like this. I think that's, that's pretty good. There's no gaps here, right? Oh, yeah. I can actually... Th this line's a little too thick, so we're going to we're going to fix this. Do more like we don't want a harsh angle cuz we, we don't want any gaps, but do it like that. Like that and like that. And the intention with this is we want them to line up opposite here, push into us here, and then we hit them in the back from cavalry over here. So maybe we should move back just a hair. Let's grab the formation and put it there. That's that's better, like that. And then Screeching Women will provide a morale debuff over here. Skirmisher Warband will throw some missiles in. Maybe like that. Screeching Women can go like here. And then Warlord will go over here. And then our Cavalry. So our Cavalry is going to hide out just right here in the woods. And... They're going to be facing this direction, so hopefully they can just get a charge in. The problem is if they draw up wide enough, they will just walk through this portion of woods, in which case I'll need to have a new plan. But if I can keep them hidden here, maybe just move them further back. Keep them really hidden so they don't get targeted. And then once the enemy have committed to fighting here, I can charge in, hit them in the side, and cause a break. All right, let's, let's start the battle. This is good. This is how I wanted them to drop, not too far into the forest. We're going to speed this up, let them come at me a little bit. And let's see what they're doing here. So they are drawing up wide, so they're hopefully they don't run into the cavalry over here. They might. 
I'm just really hopeful that their chariots might accidentally run into the front of my phalanxes, in which case we win this battle because they'll all break and the rest of the army will break after them. But if they just sit there firing at me, I don't really know what to do. Please don't. This is great. Okay. So they got confused, ran into the phalanxes. If they keep doing this, they've lost half of a unit already, right? Not near, not quite half a unit, but good amount of a unit. Um, Let's take this unit and we're going to move them. We're going to put them here just to defend against the chariots. Cavalry is still concealed. And yeah, hopefully they, they tend to do this thing where they like figure eight somewhat. So hopefully they figure eight and they brush against the phalanx again. If you don't know when chariots brush up against phalanx, they immediately die. There's no like fighting. There's no damage. They just die. So these, this is the ultimate counter to chariots. Luckily, we just don't have a way of forcing them into my phalanx because they, these are ranged units. They're just firing arrows at me. But uh, if they walk in and just brush up against this phalanx, then we have a huge advantage. All right, let's drop the phalanx. We're just going to see what they do. I think our armor is slightly better with the phalanx dropped, so hopefully we don't take too much damage from these chariots. We just have no way of intercepting them. If I chase them with my general the scythes on their chariots will just kill my general like that. So I, I can't even try to fight them with cavalry. We just have to wait. We're going to speed this up. Hopefully they walk into the front of my phalanx. We're just see. All right. Rest of the army is moving. So that's good. Over here. Are they going to run into my cavalry? They might. Oi. Yeah, they're they're on a path for it. That's not good. We're, we're losing this battle for sure. <laughs> just by the way, if you haven't pick, picked that up yet, we're just going to try and do as many casualties as possible so we can win against them later. Oh boy. Let's get this cavalry out of here. We're going to rehide them in the woods over here. Let's see what's happening. The front line. So. Okay. Broken. Good. The line is holding for now. Good. These guys should not skirmish. Let's get our screeching women over here to support the skirmishers. This warband is shaken. Okay. I'm glad I moved the spear warband over here. Let's get my general over here to help out with defending this flank because we don't want our spear warband to get hit in the side, which they are right now. We're going to use rally troops to help out with morale. Get my general around here. Let's get screeching women in here and use their screeching ability. How's morale? Okay, good. General's dead. This unit's broken. This warband's shaken. We have a break on our end over here, so that's not good. But in return, they're breaking over here. Let's get the Screeching Women over here to help out with morale. And yeah, there's just a huge block of infantry over here. Oh my goodness. Can you guys not flee into the enemy? That would be nice. Get over here. This warband is wavering. I'm going to charge in with my general. Let's get the Screeching Women over here. Come on. Please break. Okay, broken. Hopefully we cause a general route here. Shaken. Wavering. I'm glad these guys held the, held the line. All right, let's get this cavalry involved. They will attack these peasants. I'm going to get out of phalanx formation over here and fight this warband. Okay, we have a lot of units breaking over here, but there's still a lot more in this army, so we haven't won this yet. We just need to get as many kills as possible here. I'm going to draw up, draw up super wide in case the chariots charge. We want to just kill as many chariots as possible if they try to get involved. Over here, how are we doing? They're wavering, we're steady. Our cavalry won against the peasants. And they're gonna go kill this warband now. 
which is wavering, so we should be able to win that. Let's fight these slingers with my general. General's definitely being risked here. He's just fighting all these units, so he could die, but I'm confident. This unit of skirmishers has gotten chased all the way over here, so I'm going to see if I can get them behind my phalanxes. I didn't even keep track of them. All right, this warband is shaken. What's going on over here? Skirmisher warband is fighting warband, but they broke. That's good. My barbarian cavalry broke to some warband over here. Let's see if we can break them with some spear warband. And I'm just going to let these skirmishers round up routing troops. Um, let's not run into the chariots with my general. That would not be good. Warband here. I can probably handle though. Wavering. Oh gosh, this is scary. Don't lose my general. Get out of there. Please get out of there. I don't want to lose him. I might lose my general here. Oh no, he broke. Please don't die. Ah, uh, he's going to die. Okay. I thought this was going to be a victory. <sighs> okay. Grab over here. Screeching women get involved. We need to just be very precise now. General hasn't died yet, so that's at least a win. Let's get my cavalry over here. We want to fight these druids. All right, get all the troops together. Anyone who's chasing uh, routing troops, we need them fighting. So, we. Okay, this unit of chariots is going to get slaughtered here. Will you break? We killed almost that entire unit just by having them run into the front of the spear warband. That's good. Okay, unit broke. They're gone. Is there another unit? There is another unit. Over here we have druids. Can we fight these druids? Screeching women are fighting the druids. Ah, uh, man. Slingers. Slingers are over here. They want to fight with our spear warband. This is a crazy battle, man. <laughs> All right, you guys fight these peasants. They broke. That's good. We broke the druids. Let's run down this unit of warband. There's 101 there and they've broken. All right, you guys draw up for the chariots. Put down your spears. No. Do not break. We do not have room for a break here. Enemy army them down. Okay. We won. <laughs> That was messy. The general didn't even die. He broke, but he didn't die. All right, get as many kills as you can. I'm not fighting this army again. Jeez. Wow, okay. Get some kills, guys. That was crazy. Let's have people just chase whoever they might be able to reach. You guys get out of Phalanx Formation. You're not gonna be able to reach anything, but. All right, um, Cavalry, what are you doing? You're chasing Slingers, that's good. Man, this was crazy. Get some Warband. All right, how much of them do we kill? 77% of the enemy. That's an okay, that's an okay victory. We lost a lot of troops, but we killed a big army. So... The good thing about the Britons is once you take Samarobriva, they have a hard time bringing more reinforcements. They have a couple ships, so they can bring troops from the actual island of Britain, but they struggle. So we just need to kill this one army, take Samarobriva, and then we should have an advantage. We might not have to deal with them as often. Oh yeah. Okay. End the battle. Let's see what the damage is. Heroic victory. They did deploy twice as many troops as us, so that was a hard battle. Um, barely won that. Killed 2,579 of them. We have 888 left, which is a good amount. We'll have a good army once the reinforcements show up. <laughs> this barbarian cavalry killed 454. Spear warband killed 424, 430, 540 with the skirmisher warband. That's mostly from getting the troops that we're routing, but man, that is... I'm not sure how I did that. <laughs> Good stuff. Got a heroic victory. Oh, yeah. All right. What is left? Oh, my gosh, so much. <laughs> All right, we have a unit of warband here. We can deal with them. That's easy. Um. Okay. Good stuff. Now, the question is, do I even need the reinforcements? 
Probably the answer is yes, but let's merge together these units. We will send back these really weak units for repairs. Uh, yeah, you guys go there. And we're going to send them back to, I don't know, Trier maybe? No, we don't have enough population there. Alessia. So we have to beat this army first, right? No, we don't. March south. Go to Alessia. And then we'll send reinforcements north from Alessia to help out a little later. These guys? I don't know. Do we need them? Uh, now I'm really confident. So these units are probably pretty weak, right? Let's beat this army, and then we'll see what's in Britain, in uh, Samuro Briva, and we'll see if we need reinforcements. All right. So let's let's fight them. Um, should be pretty quick. We have missile troops, so they have no chance. All right. Uh, another forest battle. Forest battles are kind of fun, as long as you're not in the forest. I like having forests around. I just don't like being in the forest, so. All right. Don't want to use my general in this battle because he's just really weak right now. Let's group these guys up. And we're going to have this block run up there. Keep our screeching women nearby because they will provide a morale debuff for the enemy. I'm gonna try and do this quickly. All right, there's just one unit of warband here. Okay, you guys drop your phalanx. You guys come up here, do some damage to this warband, and then retreat. So throw one volley and run. Again, throw a volley and run. Just keep doing this. All right, threw all of our missiles. They're down to 195. Let's attack them with our phalanxes, keep our general nearby, keep our screeching women nearby and have them actually do the screeching. And they should break really quickly. Let's get behind them to provide a morale debuff. The women are screeching. They're shaken. Wavering. Broken. Beautiful. Easy win. I think we took maybe 16 casualties, 18 casualties. I'm happy with that. All right, now Samuro Briva. It's that's pretty tough. We're gonna wait for reinforcements. Um, hmm. Buy some barbarian mercenaries. Yeah, I don't think we would win this. But honestly, I bet these units are mostly weak. And if I besiege them now, then they can't heal. We're gonna try to besiege them, and we'll just see. This is I'm just I'm so aggressive. I'm sorry, but I don't want this guy to heal up if. If this is the remnants of the army I just beat, I don't want them to heal and then be strong. So, All right, we'll see. They might just attack us at the end of this turn, but we have phalanxes, so we can accomplish anything we set our mind to. Phalanxes are supreme in this part of the world. All right, Alessia, what do we want to do here as far as upgrades? I'm going to go for a Shrine to Dinar because I want to get those fanatics, the... Uh, Berserkers. I want to get those as soon as possible. Because we actually have a good population here. We can train troops. Um, yeah, I, I want to get there. And it. I think we'll take... We have to wait until we're at 6,000 population. But we'll, we'll get there pretty soon. Ariogosis? I don't I don't think we need to send him out to Samuro Briva. I think he can handle it. Um, or uh, rather, Rick Burgess can handle it. What do we want to do with this army? That's the question. Do we want to continue taking... Gallic settlements or ice like take uh what's the settlement over here oh i think we take more Gallic settlements so i'm going to move up in this direction if we can pick up this city and this city 
I would like to just have control of this area so we don't have as many exposed fronts. And then we can start pushing south and north. Faction announcements. Oh, good. Rick Burgess got confident commander and famous warrior. So plus two command, plus one morale. He has an armorer. He has great morale. So very good general in the, in the making here. How old are you? 29. This guy... Ooh, this guy would be a decent factioner. Let me see who my factioner is right now. Heriolfus. Heriolfus is also good. We'll we'll leave it with Heriolfus. Uh, this guy will be more of a conqueror than a a leader, so I'm okay with that. Now, what do we got? Nothing that involves us. Construction. Lots. So, damn, we have a trader. What do we want to get here? Um, hmm. Well, I don't know. We don't really need to build troops here. Could go for... Uh, I might do the one that gives us the cavalry. The religious building that gives us the gothic cavalry. Sacred Circle of Woden. Yeah, we'll go for a Shrine to Woden. We want to get our happiness up a little bit in these cities just so our public order can stay in control and we can keep a high tax rate so them is taken care of weakless marcomani nothing else we can buy there i would love to get some mercenaries here at some point if we get a general in this part of the world Bordas home musterfield yeah may as well have it just in case you ever needed to defend yourself weakless gothi wooden palisade's always good to have in case someone shows up like a scythian wandering around trying to pick up cities and alessia we've already taken care of end of turn report made 1149 that turn making most of our money from taxes right now 5775 but farming's doing well as well trade not so much 1142 that's not horrible given that we don't have any ports but eh, it could be better General. all right let's Look around. Anything we need to do? I don't think so. 70% is okay for public order from Gantiakum. So we don't need to address that. It won't It won't riot. Let's go ahead and end the turn. Oh, we, that was the last thing. Speak to uh, the Romans. We'll do that next turn, though. All right. Bellinus wants to fight. So this is their faction heir. 105. Anything to do with morale? No. Right? No morale. Okay, morale is neutral. Rick Burgess has really good morale, so that's an advantage we have. They have. Oh, I think we might be able to win this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take this fight. I know this is risky, but if we can manage to get their cavalry to charge into my spear war band, we easily win this. That's the majority of their strength. So I'm gonna fight it out. We'll see. If I get unlucky, this is gonna go really badly. But I never get unlucky, right? All right, now they are attacking us, so they're just gonna charge out. We are prepared with Spear Warband. Let's drop the Phalanx for a moment. We're gonna draw up nice and wide. So have one unit drawn up like this. They're sending their general out that gate. So we wanna drop super wide on this flank with our bigger unit because they might just try to get, get around us and charge on the side. So I'll have my Barbarian Mercenaries go over here in case they successfully flank us let's get our screeching women right here general will be right here drop the phalanx uh, well we'll hold off on that for a second and then skirmisher warband will go over here as well so we can defend against all of the infantry that's going to attack us all right is this a stupid way to draw up uh, maybe but the biggest threat here is the chariots so i want to address that that's where all my attention's going. Both units of chariots are over here, so I think it's worth drawing up in this weird way to prevent getting flanked by chariots. Yeah, the diplomacy in Medieval 2 is a little weird. I, I agree with that. I never played Warhammer. I want to try it. Someday I will. 
I just feel like it wouldn't feel like a total war game. I don't know, that's what I felt with Napoleon. I never really got enough into it to say that with confidence, but... I don't know, I'm very biased towards the old Total War games. Alright, again we have the same problem with these archers. We're just hoping that they charge into us. Um, Alright, so what are they doing here? This warband is going to charge into the more spread out unit, unfortunately. We're getting our missiles in, which is good. Let's use the Screeching Women's ability. This warband unit, luckily they're kind of just going into the, the really fat stacked unit. So they're going to break here pretty easily. And the Barbarian Peasants are going into this wider unit, which is okay. I'm going to have my General go over here to provide moral support for this Spear Warband because for a second they were steady instead of eager, which means when the Chariots show up, I don't want, I don't want to have a break here. So the line is holding really well over here. Our Phalanx is still nice and strong. They're wavering here. So yeah, this is going really poorly for them. We have a break over here, the Barbarian Peasants. And the Chariots have not gotten involved at all yet, so that's good. I'm going to try to avoid using my General as much as possible in this battle. Since they have to charge into me, they have no choice. I don't need to chase them down. They're going to keep coming out here and attacking me until they're all dead. So I can just hold off here behind my Phalanx. Let them just keep dying. Let's speed this up for a bit. Until the Chariots show up, we can just speed this up, because we're not going to take any casualties. Alright, we've got some flanking going on. Let me get my general over here. I don't want to get flanked. Let me get my barbarian mercenaries over here as well, just in case. Because this unit is doing work. They are holding the line valiantly. I don't know why they just continue to charge into the one unit they have no chance of defeating. They're just... Yeah, let's go directly into the front of this phalanx. This is a little smarter. They're going into the side a little bit. We're going to drop like this with my mercenaries to try and protect the phalanx, but they're still eager. I think they're happy that they've been repelling the, the units over here. So yeah, we got another enemy break. They're wavering on this flank. And yeah, this is going better than expected. Very pleased. We have a break. You can chase them a little bit. Just try and get some kills. We'll chase a little bit with the general as well, since everyone's broken. It's not really fighting. And I'm keeping an eye out for if any of my units die as they run through the phalanx. I'm not seeing that. Maybe this just isn't a high enough level of phalanx to really be doing that kind of damage, but... Yeah, I'm, I'm now testing that theory, because that would totally rock my world if that's the case. Alright, general, keep getting some kills. This warband is reformed, but wavering. We'll see if they break. We don't want to actually do any fighting with the general. Broken again. Good. These peasants will break as well. Yeah, we're just going to run down this whole block of infantry. And, ouch. Yeah, this is not good for them. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, all they have left is their chariots, who are useless against my phalanxes. So, this is not good for them. Um... We might want to draw up a little bit wider even than we are. Let's draw up like this with my phalanx. Uh, draw up like that. Cavalry, general, get out of there. Do not want the general to run into these chariots. Just get behind the phalanx. Get over here. We're going to be ready to hit the phalanx drop button if they charge us. All right. Go ahead and drop the phalanx. And I don't know. Do we want to drop even more wide? There's no harm in it, really. We don't actually need to have strength. We just... Yeah, well, how are you taking... Oh, you're taking damage from the archers. That makes sense. Okay. All right. We've killed... 82% of the enemy, but chariots, I mean, if they get a lucky charge in, it does not matter how many of the enemy you've killed, they will just wreck you, so still have to be somewhat intelligent. Let's draw up like this, and we're just going to walk towards the enemy chariots. I think that's the best approach here. 
just walk at them. And at some point they'll skirmish, they'll get confused, they might try to run in the gate, and then they'll die. Oh no, see? Okay, they broke. That was nearly very bad, because the at the last second the phalanx got out of formation. But Alright, that was good. Um, drop your spears in this direction, so if they try to go through the gate again, you will kill them. These druids are just stabbing the back of my unit. There we go, okay. And drop like this. Yeah. That's good. I personally would not advise trying to get in, guys. Now we have control of the gates, which means unfortunately the impetus is off of the enemy. They don't have to leave the city anymore. Um, even though they are the ones who attacked me. Now that I own a gate, it is my responsibility to end the battle. So I guess that's a good and a bad thing. Do I push in the city? Maybe. Let's, we'll get one unit of Spear Warband inside the city. This other one, we'll hold off for a minute. And let's get some Barbarian Mercenaries in here to guard the rear of this Phalanx. Just like that. And we're just going to keep our Spear Warband here in case the British Light Chariots attack from this side. Alright. And I don't know. I don't know what to do here. Let's get the rest of our units in. Um, how do we want to do this? I think we might just have to take the city center. Let's get our chariots inside the city like this. And then we'll get the barbarian mercenaries to guard out here. Because even they could handle a charge from these 13 chariots. So even though they're not, they're not a phalanx, but they could still handle it. All right, General, get up here. All right. Let's see. How do we want to do this? Hmm. Get inside the city. Screeching women, get inside the city. Skirmisher Warband. I wish I could just hide them somewhere, but I can't. There's no trees or anything, so I have to keep them with the army so they don't get killed by chariots. All right, let's move up with... Which way do we want to do this? Probably from this direction. That way we're more likely to have a fight with the chariots head on. So let's just move up like that. You guys can just guard the flank. And then... We're not going to be in range of a tower, right? No. All right, let's bring our skirmish warband here. All right, what's happened? Oh, we are in range of a tower. Get back! No! I hate these towers. Leave me alone. Get out. We lost a lot of troops there. All right, we're taking a different approach then. Let's go this direction. Go there. And then... Oh, no, you're getting shot by the chariots. I think that's what's happening. Okay, we could have gone that direction. That's okay. We'll just guard like this. Eventually, these chariots will run out of ammo. There's only 12 of them. They shouldn't be able to do too much damage eventually. Oh, all right. Screeching women, get over here. You guys just hang out. Wait for chariots to charge into you. Yeah, this is kind of messy. Um, hmm. I thought this would be a little bit easier once we had that initial success, but you just have to be so careful to not get flanked with your spear warband. That's the problem with playing as the Germans. All right, drop like this. You guys hang out here. General, get over here. Screeching women, get over here. You guys... Oh, this is good. If you go this direction, this is good. All right. Um, spearmen are in a pretty good spot. They're not really in phalanx formation, but kind of. This is good. Warlord is getting wrecked. General's dead. They're down to 84. Yep, yeah, this is the power of phalanxes against chariots not even close to fair good stuff guys keep it coming the whole unit's gonna just charge into here you know when you like start a a siphon and and the the, the gas just keeps coming out of the gas tank or the water keeps coming out of the, the the bucket that's what happens with chariots you attack one or two 
chariots inside the unit, and the whole unit just wants to charge into the front of your uh, spear warband. So, yep, this whole general's unit, which would have been horrifying if it had gotten in the rear of any of my units, would have just wrecked my whole army, is now down to 44 and falling, not dealing any damage to my spear warband. Good stuff. Alright, that's almost the last of the Warlord. 26 more. Where is this guy? I, I'm, I might want to... Let's use this uh, phalanx over here. We're going to bring them over here. Have them just charge onto the city center. I'm not really worried about these uh, chariots out here anymore. Let's send the mercenaries back to deal with them. You want to go this direction? That's fine. Uh, yeah, go to, like, here, maybe. And then... I hate the pathing. What are you guys doing? Honestly, just, just go this direction. We're just gonna... We're just thinking on the fly to deal with the horrible pathing in the city. Alright. Keep an eye on these chariots. 26 chariots. Still a threat. Alright. Hopefully they run into... Yep. Perfect. You guys... Go here. Okay. Unit broke. That's good. So we can continue pushing up. Push up to here. And let's see what's happening over here. Yeah, they're getting shot by the chariots here. I'm fine with that. I don't care so much about Skirmisher Warband. If it keeps them occupied while we take the city, I'm okay with that, so... All right, these guys, I think they got charged by the Barbarian Warlord, which probably did some casualties because they weren't in Phalanx Formation, but that's okay. There's not much strength left here. All right, just, just get that Phalanx down. Come on, guys. <laughs> They're just going to keep breaking, though. Can we, can we kill them? Yeah, we're taking casualties here. Just get in position. We're almost there. There you go. Come on. There we go. Okay. Almost all the chariots are dead. We can just slowly press onto the city center. Kill these infantry units. There you go. Any more chariots coming in? Nope. The chariots are sitting outside the city. So we're just going to take the city center. And yeah. No hope here, guys. Let's get our general in here. Okay, we got the city center. Let's draw up like this in case the chariots come in. We're going to get the skirmisher warband out of range. They can no longer get in through this gate. They're going in through this other gate, so we'll drop in this direction. Just like that. You guys, yeah, hang out on the city center. Keep screeching. Your voices are going to be hoarse, but this is your job, so, you know. Keep it up, guys. Keep screaming. All right, phalanxes are getting into position. Only a minute left, so we're going to win this either way. But yeah, there you go. Keep screaming. <laughs> Look like they're having so much fun. Keep it up, guys. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I'm just going to end this battle. Easy win. End the battle. Heroic victory. Wow, we're getting a lot of those. Rick Burgess. Defeated Bellinus. Any changes to experience? Yeah, we got an experience for a Spear Warband with how many? Oh yeah, this unit, the bigger unit. And then the Warlord got another Chevron of experience as well. Very good. All right. We're going to enslave this one. There's almost no population at Samuro Briva. So it makes sense to enslave, get that population growth bonus. And there was an army hanging out over here, and I don't know if they got on a boat or if they're hanging out in this forest or where they are. So we're going to have to track them down. We've got reinforcements, luckily. So let's see if we can hold on to Sam Robriva with just that mercenary. Yep. And we're going to merge in reinforcements. That's a decent army, I would say. Yeah. Um, these guys we might send somewhere for repairs, but... Yeah, we'll see. Not not quite sure. 
that's nine settlements, right? That's not 10 yet. Perfect. Nine. We are so close to our first little thing over here where we can switch over to, to 10 settlements. We're at two hours and 17 minutes. Yeah, we're, we're at a slow pace, but it's okay. This will speed up a little bit once we get some better troops and we're not relying on phalanxes so much. So we got good commander for Rick Burgess, bringing us to five stars of command plus two morale. Very good. And, oh, wow. End of turn report. We profited 3,893 denarii. That's a lot. We're doing really well. Where's that coming from? Everything's going well. Farming, trade, taxes. Yeah, we're making a lot of money. Very happy with that. No relevant diplomatic information. Construction report. Damn, we have a shrine to Woden. Let's go straight for level two. This gives us naked fanatics and experience bonus to troops plus two. So that's good. And more rebels are spawning every turn. Leave me alone in a rebel general here. Oh no. Okay. Muguntiakum, we have a traitor. We'll go for something to help out with public order. So let's get a shrine going. Huh, what do we want here? Maybe... Hmm. We'll go for Freya. I want to get some Screeching Women in Mugantiacum. Because I like using them in these battles against the Gauls, against the Romans. That'll be fun. So we'll get a Shrine of Freya. Wikus got the... Yeah, we're just going to double down on population growth rate all the way. Get a trader. That'll help a little bit. Should we raise the tax rate a little bit? Yeah, that helps. It's an extra 120 denarii. That's worth it. Alessia, we have a shrine. And level two gets us another an experience to troops. We're going to go for... Hmm. This is difficult. There's things we can do for growth rate, which would be helpful because we want to get to 6,000 population for a minor city. I'm going to do roads, though. In case Alessia gets attacked... I want to be able to defend it. We're going to bring in the troops that need healing. And we'll hold off for now on repairing them. I'm going to disband this unit of spear of uh, barbarian mercenaries. Because it costs 156 to upkeep. And we need that population for growth. So that's a little more useful as just population than as a unit. Sam Robriva, we'll bring up the tax rate a little bit. It's an extra hundred dollars a turn worth doing. And when the population is this small, the population growth rate doesn't really matter. So we're just maximizing income. All right. What else do we want to do? We're going to attack some rebels this turn. Let's speak to the Romans because I've been meaning to do that. So Julii, let's get trade rights with them. And then let's sell them our map information for 1500 if they'll take it. At this point, it's been a lot of turns. And they're saying no. So I'm not going to try and make another offer because they'll automatically say no. Once they've denied one offer, they always deny every offer. Um, but yeah, fortunately, we're out of that window where we can sell our map information. We're just in the window of trading map information. So let's go down to Rome itself, trade map information with them. They should say yes. They said no. Oh, no. We're going to keep marching south, speak to the Skippy. I, I just want some map information. I would like to know how they're doing, but especially the broody eye Scipio, I want to know who's winning the battle for Sicily, for Greece. That is pretty important to me, but I don't know if anyone's going to give me map information at this point, unfortunately. All right, yeah, good point to buy mercenaries for population. I've been doing that in most of my cities. Unfortunately, I just, I've I've not got generals in most of my cities. Oh, here we do. Okay. So yeah, once I attack Captain Thelonious, we'll disband a unit for Bodisholm, which is too small. Um, so we'll disband... I mean, we might disband both of these units, honestly. Illyrians, they're useful, but population is more useful in the city. Uh, where else? Anywhere else? We just don't have any generals over here. I guess I should, I should get on that. So I have a general here. I have a general here. Well, two generals here. That's the problem. There's two generals here. One of them needs to go back. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to send Rick Burgess over to 
10 to this half of the empire. And then I'm going to send Vanius to babysit this army. Um, and I just want to say thank you all for tuning in. I might be taking a short break in just a moment here. Um, my wife is on her first night of a like a, a work program where she's working for a YouTuber who you all know, and I can't say who it is, but it's a top 10 YouTuber in the world as far as subscriber count. So she's working full time with him and she might call me in a few minutes to give me an update. So if I uh, like hop off for a second, the stream will keep running. I might be gone for 10 minutes or so, but we'll be right back. So I'll let you know when that happens, if that happens, but I think she just woke up. So yeah, just want to keep you updated. All right, let's see. How are we doing here? The Skalic Army. I'm going to buy some cavalry mercenaries. They're cheap, and we need some more strength down here. We got to fight through a rebel army and a Gallic army here. So up here, we want to fight this rebel army. Um, what's here? Oh, good stuff. Rebel general, naked fanatics. This will be a little bit difficult. But there's some peasants and some warbands, so we can probably start a route. Um, hmm. It says one to one. We're gonna try it. We have heavy cavalry, so we have that advantage. Um, let's try that. I think we can handle them, but you never know when there's naked fanatics involved. All right, let's start deployment. So, mostly this is going to be about the cavalry. Um, hmm. Got heavy cavalry, light cavalry. Let's see how they draw up. Naked fanatics on one side, weak stuff on the other side. So, makes sense to have the cavalry go on this side, cause a break, and then wrap up the naked fanatics last. All right, going over here. We're going to attack this warband unit on the flank. I bet we can break them. And then we'll just see what we can do with the rest of the army. Shaken, broken. Perfect. Okay, we have one unit broken. This unit is eager for now, but I doubt that will hold up. Shaken. Hmm. Wavering. Come on, guys. Break, please. Uh, let's get our infantry involved. They're not going to be super helpful, but they will provide a little morale debuff. All right. Wavering. Come on, guys. How are we doing? We were losing some strength in this unit. Generals, relatively safe here. Oh, they're down to Shaken. Okay, let's get our Illyrians to throw at these naked fanatics. Let's get our mercenaries to attack this warband. We just need them to break here. This is not ideal to have an extended battle with cavalry and warband. Yeah, you guys, sure, you can break these barbarian peasants. You guys attack the, oh no, this is not good. This unit's gonna break, yep, this unit broke, okay. But over here, their unit broke. So we just need to not lose our cavalry. Charge into the rear of these barbarian peasants. This unit of barbarian mercenaries is gone. All right, Illyrians, throw in at these peasants maybe. Ah, I don't know, I don't wanna lose my generals. Okay, how do we win this? Okay. We're raining javelins in. Stay on the move. How do we win this? Illyrians, target these naked fanatics. If we can get these peasants on their own, we can easily route them. Mm-hmm. 
These negative fanatics are down to 133. Could I handle them? I don't think I want to fight the general right now. All right, we want to fight the general. Okay, so generals will attack from the front and I'm going to loop the cavalry around the back. How are we doing, guys? All right, hit them in the back. Shaken, steady, shaken, wavering. Please break, please break. We're down to 11 in one of my general's units, so our odds of losing a general are very high here. Okay, enemy general's dead. Morale's gonna get a lot better now. This guy is out of the battle. I'm not using him anymore. We can... Hmm, how do we want to do this? Let's go break these barbarian peasants. If we can just charge into only them. Okay, peasants should be an easy target. Broken. Okay, great. Illyrians are actually a good distraction. We still have a lot we need to break in this battle, though. Yeah, make sure no one reforms. Definitely run them down. Okay, this is good that they're splitting up. Oh, this is very good. Okay, go break this warband. The naked fanatics have left them alone, which was a really bad idea because this warband is down to 62. So that'll be an easy break. Come on, guys. Broken. Beautiful. All right. What's happening over here? All right, they're not near the edge of the map yet, but they will be soon. So let's get them to run in this direction. Over here, we're just gonna run down this war band. Yeah, one of you run in that direction. There you go. Cut them down. Okay, and then the peasants reformed, so we'll have to deal with them, but let's check on the Illyrians. Still plenty of room. Naked Fanatics are not catching up. Because I think these guys are fast moving. Naked Fanatics probably are not slow moving because they don't have any armor, but they're not fast moving. All right. Run down these Barbarian Peasants. They reformed, but they'll break right away. Beautiful. All right. Let's see what's left. We've got one unit of Naked Fanatics here, another unit of Naked Fanatics there. And this one's pretty weak. So Cavalry, we should be able to break this one. We can leave the peasants alone. We've killed 70% of the enemy army, so that's good. I wish my cavalry was not so tired, but fortunately, nothing I can do about it. I want to stay away from the edge because skirmishing is really screwy near the edge of the map. All right. This is not great. Oh, okay, get out of there. Oh, they broke. Okay. All right, run down those naked fanatics. Cavalry reformed. That was a little bit scary. Uh, yeah, keep keep moving this direction. Skirmishing is, is, as I was saying, really bad near the corner of the map. So yeah, stay away from that and then they'll be safe. These guys are exhausted, so they've just been running themselves to death. We... Any naked fanatics left in that unit? No. Okay. So we're just going to let them exhaust themselves. We're going to encircle them and we're going to hit them from all sides. Lyrians could probably handle them at this point because they're so tired, but yeah, cavalry will help. They're shaken. All right, you guys charge in and the cavalry will charge from behind. And there we go. Ooh, little bit, little bit sketch that battle, but we got it done. Didn't lose a general, even though we nearly did. Lost 71% of my army. Wow. Okay. So we killed 1,034 of them. Good stuff. And what do we have left? We have our generals. We have some Illyrians. Healed some cavalry. That's good. Okay. So we lost most of this army, unfortunately, but not the end of the world. Oh, we got some traits. That's nice. Okay. Let's see what traits we got. Galloper. Plus one command when attacking. Good. Plus one command with fighting against rebels. Okay. And plus two command for Her Heriolfus. That's good. Okay. Um, you. I just realized I have two generals over here. So I could send one of them to this region. And I can keep this general over here. That's good. Okay. But for now, we 
we'll go attack Captain Athanatic. And we're going to hold off on disbanding. I was saying I was going to disband these troops for population for Bordesholm. But we are going to need them because there's a rebel general here. This is probably a pretty decent rebel army. So, all right. How are we doing? We're doing well. This is a nice little empire. Gontiakum, how are you doing? Good. Okay. I think we've done basically everything we want to do this turn. I'm going to make sure of that. Just double check the whole empire, make sure we don't have any move points. All right. Yeah, we're good. Let's go ahead and end this turn. All right. So we have two units of phalanxes, two generals, screeching women, cavalry. I'm glad we got that mercenary cavalry. And they're just bringing warband. Warband honestly does well against cavalry. So this isn't going to be a walk in the park. But we have the phalanxes, so we should be able to pin them and then hit them in the side with cavalry. That's the plan. Okay, let's see. All right. So I think you get the point at this point. This is the standard strategy, just wide line of spear warband. Honestly, we'll do kind of an angle so they can sort of the wave can break over the bow of the ship. Right. And then we'll have our screeching women behind them screeching and we'll have the light cavalry over here with the smaller general, the bigger general will be over here guarding this flank. And let's speed this up and just see what they do. Yeah, we're at a concert. <laughs> All right. Hopefully they just charge into the front here. Are they going to stop to use war cry? If they do, then they'll have a big advantage, but nope, they just, they want to speed run dying. So that's good. These guys will have morale issues. Um, over here, are we wavering already? Good stuff. All right, we have a huge break over here. This unit is not going to break as easily. But, I mean, if we can just wrap up this whole army right here. <laughs> great. Good stuff. Uh, this warband says they're steady. I'm going to use war cry or uh, rally troops to keep my general safe. And we're just going to charge into them. They're wavering already. They'll break soon. And we're just going to run down the whole army. Good stuff. Easy battle. Let's speed this up. Run them down. Run them down. You guys get them. Oh, that was nice. I'm glad that went well. We probably lost like 12 troops. <laughs> That's my guess. <laughs> nice and easy. I probably didn't even need those mercenaries, but it doesn't hurt. It doesn't hurt. All right, we killed 1,095 of them, lost 32, and most of them were in Warlord. So, yeah, we really didn't lose much of anything. All right. I wonder how weak this city down here is now. Can I see it? Lemonum. Oh, Lemonum has one unit in it. I'm going to pick it up real quick. We'll, we'll deal with uh, the city up here. I forget what it's called. We'll deal with that next turn. Uh, but we'll pick up Lebanon because it's free. They just took their entire garrison and threw it away in front of uh, some phalanxes. So I'll pick up Lebanon for free, and that'll be my 10th city in less than three hours. That's okay. <laughs> we need to pick up the base a little bit here, guys. Oi, okay. No relevant diplomatic information. Gaul and the Scipii allying is interesting because... That means that Gaul will not be able to be at war with the Julii. Which means the Julii will not be able to expand into Medulanium and Petavium. So they might try to go over to Spain or something. But the Julii, this is a good thing for us. Because the Julii are now going to be bottled up, not able to expand. So they're not going to get too strong. All right, let's talk to the Scipii. See if we can get trade rights map information with them. Yeah, I don't know why they're so mean to me. I'm just a little guy. Be nice. I'm going to offer them 300 bucks. I would pay 300 bucks for that. 480. I'll take it. That's fine. And now we know that, okay, the Scipii have won the battle for Sicily. 
Um, let's go speak to the Broody Eye because I'm curious how they're doing. And does that give us map information on the... Wait a second. Oh, I, I thought I saw that Gaul had suddenly taken a, a Ruminum, right? Yeah, a Ruminum. But no, no, I'm just tripping over here. I thought... My question was, does uh, getting map information from one Roman faction give it for all of them? I don't think it does from what I remember. But yeah, that confirms that. All right. So, announcements. Superior commander for Ario Gaius. Ario Gaius. It's good. Six stars of command. All right, what else? Vanius got married. Congratulations. In a turn report, we made 4,400 denarii. At this point, we are just raking in the money. We don't have that many more things to purchase because none of our cities are growing that fast. So we are doing really well. We can just start buying mercenaries left, right, and center now, which is good for growth. Keep buying Sacred Grove of Freya, and we can build Screeching Women here. So if we ever need to defend the city, that's a fun way to do that. They're not that good at attack, but they're so useful for breaking the morale of enemies that you got to have one in every army. Trio, we have communal farming. Let's go with... Hmm. Actually, I, I want tr I want roads between Mugontiacum and Trier. Um, that's, I think, worth more than anything, just so we have more trade there. Does that, what does that do for trade? Yeah, it says it does nothing for trade, but it'll help over time. And then it also allows us to defend our cities a little better. If we get attacked somewhere, it's worth doing. Bordos home, nothing else we can buy here. Alessia, we got roads. Let's go for... Sacred Grove of Donar, level two. And all right. Do we want to attack this rebel army yet? That's the question. That's the only thing left to do this turn. This looks scary. I don't know. And especially on a bridge battle. What's here? Oh, it's peasants, naked fanatics. Okay, we could win this. I'm going to see if they attack me first. We'll end the turn. If they attack me, then I will win it because I can just break their peasants. But I don't want to fight on a bridge. Okay, the Britons want a ceasefire. That's not happening. Um, we can do a ceasefire for map information, map information, and maybe give me a thousand bucks. Oh, ceasefire, trade rights. <laughs> we'll give tribute of 1600 denari per turn. And map information. I'll take that. I don't know why they want a ceasefire, a ceasefire after I just took their city. But great, I'll take free money. I love, I love diplomacy, guys. <laughs> All right, Scythia wants an alliance trade rights map information. Hundred percent. I love being allied with Scythia because I don't want to worry about their horse archers coming and ruining my day. This was a good turn. So we just got a ton of money from the Britons. Got an alliance with the Scythians. Good stuff. All right. And a turn report. Yeah, 6,556 profit. Easy money. Very happy about that. Damn, we have a Sacred Grove level two, which gives us naked fanatics. Yeah, I want to get up to a large city here for sure. We'll build a blacksmith, right? Well, no, we can't really train any good troops yet. So what's the point of a blacksmith? We'll just get a stockade for now. This is kind of the weird thing about the Germans. You have such good starting units and just the phalanxes, but you got to get up to like level three city to get really good infantry. So I'm just kind of going with my starting armies and just winging it and it's working out. Luckily the economy is good. So we got Rhodes and Gontiacum. We'll get, hmm, Sacred Grove gives us population growth bonus. Doesn't give us any new units though. We'll get, man, I don't know. Maybe a market. It'd be nice to be able to get another spy. Yeah, I'm gonna get an, an I wanna be able to get spies in Magantiakum because we're bordering like three different ways where there's just darkness and potential enemies down here. So market will be worth getting in Magantiakum. Trier, we have roads. Do we have any trade now? No, still not. It's so weird. That's the one bad thing about this area, just no trade whatsoever. 
All right, Trier. What do we want to build here? We need population growth right here, I think. Right, Freya. No, I don't know. We have Freya over here, the Magantiacum. We'll go for... Woden's the cavalry one. I want Berserkers, Donar. We're going to get that for Trier. Wikuskothi, we got a trader. Let's get a muster field in case we ever need to build any units here. And... All right. I'm going to take a short break because my wife is calling. So I'll be back in about 10 minutes. Um, if you all want to go stretch your legs, get something to eat, I'm going to like change over the screen to a, a waiting, like an I'll be right back thing. But I will be right back. Thank you for your patience. Uh, hopefully you all don't leave. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. I'll be right back. <laughs> Thanks.
Hello, welcome back. Thank you so much for your patience with that break. Again, I was just calling my wife, or she was calling me before her shift. Um, I explained this a few minutes ago, but I'll explain it again. She's starting work for a YouTuber. It's a very exciting opportunity for her. Um, he's like a top 10 YouTuber in the world. So very exciting for us. She flew out there to do like a trial period working for him. And it's going well. Um, she's very stressed, but she's doing well. So I'm very proud of her. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to take her call, get a debrief on how yesterday went before I went back into this. Let's start up the timer again. So we're at two hours, 43 minutes, 38 seconds. And we have nine regions. That's pretty good. We're making an all right pace. I feel like things are speeding up. We're about to have 10 regions. Then our economy's in order. We're gonna get some better units, start picking up some easy little settlements down here. Yeah, I think we're, we're doing well. Um, all right, let's see where we're at. So we can take Laminum right now. We'll do that. I wanna make sure I know what's going on in the empire. Let's queue up some buildings or have we already done that this turn? We did that this turn, beautiful. Okay. First things first, Laminum. Are we thinking that there's a population here or no? It's looking like not really. We could try to enslave and get some people over to Batavadorum. Yeah, let's do that. Didanus, uh Bana is gonna go over to Batavadorum and just sit in there so we can send the population somewhere when we enslave Laminum. So let's go ahead and attack the city. Just one war band. That should be easy. Let's go ahead and fight it out. Nice snowy battle. We will have the screeching women hold the ram. That's fun. We'll just be using our, probably our phalanx for this battle. We'll see. Let's get them close to the front gate. There's no inconvenient towers in this battle, so we can just have them run up here. Let's speed this up. Make this a nice quick siege. The battering ram is at the gate. Our warriors attack. Now is the time for great deeds. Just cracked open my first Red Bull of the stream. I think there are going to be many if we're going to try and complete this whole campaign, but... All right, got the front door knocked open. Let's get our phalanxes inside the city. No response from the defenders. Let's go up here. My audio went out for a second because I think I had a wire come loose. So you let me know in the comments, please, someone, if you can hear me. Because I want to make sure I didn't mess up the... Uh... Okay, I have audio in my headset. Let's make sure we have mic audio. We good? Okay, I just listened back. We have audio. We are in business, um, so I can get back to business. Sorry about that. I've got a loose wire. So, all right, we've got our phalanxes up here. We'll draw them up here. Let's get a general in here for moral support. And drop here. Go ahead and drop your phalanxes. Thank you, guys. Sorry about that. All right. And we're just going to see if we can push the warband off the city center. Screeching women. Yeah, we'll get them inside the city. That's fun. All right, drop here. I think they just used war cry. So we want to wait 30 seconds before we engage them. Let that expire. But yeah, by now it should be expired, right? 
Push a little closer. Beautiful. All right. How are we doing? Our phalanx is holding up. We're doing nice steady damage to them. I'm just going to let this happen. I don't need to get involved with the general or anything. Just let them walk into the phalanx. We'll lose a couple soldiers, but they're losing them way faster. They're down. They've lost 70 already. Yeah, they have really no hope of fighting their way through two prepared phalanxes. All right. We can... Finish them off with a cavalry charge from behind. Down to 120. Charge in, rally troops, and yeah. Done. Slaughtered. End the battle. Easy. We lost like 14 warband, but good. All right, um, perfect. So as I expected, not much population here. So Enslave makes the most sense. We get the population growth rate bonus for this city and for Alessia because it borders it. And I think that's it. But let's go ahead and Enslave Lemonum. Population growth rate bonus of 1.5% because we just picked up a slave trader. So we have the extra 1.5% bonus population growth rate here that's really nice um, we'll get a land clearance here as well we need some mercenaries probably though in order to grow the population there we go let's disband this unit we could leave this guy with the slave trader okay here's what we're gonna do so Vene venius stinks we don't really like him he only has apparently loyal but we can transfer the retinue of slave trader onto venius Leave him in Lemonum, and then in Lemonum, we will keep the 1.5% growth rate bonus from having Slave Trader on him. And then we can go attack the Gauls up here with this army. And Ariogaesus can continue his conquest north. So we'll do that. Who's in this army? All right, we'll probably fight them this turn. That's a nice, easy battle. Let's see what the other things we got. Caliper for plus one command when attacking. And famous warrior. Very nice. Vic Victor, sharp, brave, bloody. This guy is incredible. Or, I think four morale. I love this guy. Big fan, big fan. All right. Do we want to attack this guy? We're on a bridge, so we have to be careful not to get bottlenecked and lose. But uh, their only decent unit is the Naked Fanatics. So we should be okay. Oh, and I uh, forgot. That was my 10th region, wasn't it? Lemonum was my 10th city, so... Hopefully that worked. Uh, we should switch on to the next split for we just completed uh, 10 regions. All right. So this is a bridge battle. So if they, for some reason, charge across at us, we have phalanxes and they will die. Um, if not, we'll have to charge across maybe with our cavalry. We've got a river crossing over here, so we'll use that. Do we have one over here? No, we don't. So we'll put our general over here as well. And yep, looks like the split was successful on live split. So now, yeah, only less than three hours for the first 10, even though we started with a lot. So I guess if we can keep up that pace, we'll be done in a day. But yeah, this is, this is a hard challenge to complete a whole very hard, very hard campaign in one day. Okay. So we're prepared in case they, for some reason, charge at us, but they won't. So let's get our cavalry across the river. And what is a weak unit we can target? Peasants would be nice. Cavalry would be nice. We're just going to keep moving this direction. Let's slow this down to double speed. We just don't want to fight the naked fanatics. If we can at all avoid that, that is the goal. 
All right, skirt them this direction. Go this way. Perfect. Keep moving. Peasants. No, okay, keep moving. They, they went back to a safe position. Just keep going around this way. All right, charge into these peasants. I think we can reach them. Come on. Okay, they've broken. Let's turn on the Barbarian Cavalry. They have the General in the unit, so they'll break a little slower, but they're Barbarian Cavalry. Beautiful. Continue the battle. Nice, easy win. Let's see if we can get some experience for these units. And actually, I'm not going to have this guy run near the river because I don't want him to fall in and die. But I'll chase down these peasants with my mercenary cavalry. General can pick up these guys. Get them. All right. I love the bad morale of rebels. Makes it so fun to fight them. Come on. You can clean up these peasants. It's easy. This guy's lazy. All right, clear victory. We lost 15 troops. Nice and easy. And now the path is clear to march across. And can we see the city yet? Not quite. But just a couple turns and we'll have eyes on another Gallic city. What do we want to do about the British? I think we're probably going to invade Britain like soon. Um, but we need a port. Okay, this is who I was looking for. This family member never ended up going back to Britain. Wood warriors, head hurlers. That's a decent army. Don't want to underestimate them. Hmm. I wish we could train some troops at Sam Robriva, but we can't. We might just fight this guy if possible when we have reinforcements. So I'm going to pull back. I don't want to lose this army. I'm going to have Ariogeisus take this city and then join up with Rick Burgess and see if we can fight this guy together. Because with enough Spear Warband, any battle is pretty much easy. Um, but yeah, don't want to fight that before we're prepared. Now, over here, do we want to fight this guy? Yeah. Yeah, we're fighting that. It's going to be hard, but we're doing it. A little nerve-wracking when they have a rebel general and they have naked fanatics, but same idea as the last battle. We're going to have our infantry hold the bridge, cavalry go across a river crossing if we have one. No, no river crossing on this side. River crossing on this side, though. There we go. Uh, let's have them run. You guys can just block up right here. I wonder if they'll charge across the river. I'd be okay with that. Naked Fanatics would take a lot of damage from Illyrians. I'm going to turn them off of skirmish mode. Okay. Alright, what are we doing here, guys? Yeah, they just want to stay put. Let's slow this down a little bit to double game speed. And withdraw. Yeah, I don't want to be fighting all these units at once. I can take the general by himself, but... Not all these units. Okay. Peasants would be so nice if we could fight them. Any chance we can just fight the peasants? Mm. We're going to hit the general as well. Okay, we have one break. That's good. But the general's here. So we need to see if we can break through this general. Oh, no. Not good. I really did not think he was going to die in that first charge. Ouch. Okay. Any chance of reforming, guys? Are they going to go across the river? Man, that stinks. Okay, we have one reformed unit. We need the general. Come on. We got him. Okay. Boy. All right. Can we pull off this victory? I really didn't think that was going to... Happen so fast. Hmm. Okay. These guys are winded. Let's let them rest. You know what? It's not a very hard, very hard campaign if you don't have a couple losses, right? 
Okay. He doesn't want to fight now. Yeah, understandable. Peasants would be wonderful. Can we please just break these peasants? Okay. Do this again. Peasants are wavering. Broken. General. We outnumber him. But... We'll see. We don't have a general to lose now, which is good. They do. Hopefully they lose their general now. No, my cavalry broke. Man. I think we're going to lose this battle. Shame. Alright, we have a chance of reforming. Okay. Illyrians. 113 Illyrians. You guys are going to move mountains. Okay, we have one unit reformed. Doubt this general is going to reform, unfortunately. Come on. You guys got this. Reform. You're among friends. Please. The cowards. Come on, guys. All right. General's gone. All right, let's see what we can do with our Illyrians. Bad thing is you can't really stand them on the bridge to get some javelins in. Yeah, we're going to lose this battle, unfortunately. I'm going to make a swing at it, but it's not going to work. Yeah. Get some javelins in. Just throw all your javelins. At least naked fanatics don't have a lot of armor. If for some reason we kill the enemy general, maybe. No, no way. We're wavering already. Get back across the river? No. Yeah. All right. Proper loss. Bit of a bummer. We'll give it one more chance, see if we reform, but yeah, I don't see any way we win this. Okay, we reformed. Just charge the general. No. <laughs> we don't have the morale for this. You guys. Yeah, use your war cry. Intimidate them. No. Battle lost. Okay. Ouch. Okay. Guess we needed that second general. I really thought we had that. Okay. We could train some naked fanatics. Uh, damn. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll get a unit of naked fanatics. Maybe two units of naked fanatics, and we'll just have them go kill these rebels. Rebels are tough. New faction heir, Dodonis of Bana. Eh, it's not that good. I'm not sure why he became faction heir, but... Okay. All right, we got to regain. Let's build a wooden palisade at Batavadorum. And let's make sure everywhere has something building. Yes. Okay. We're gonna go ahead and save the game. Just in case we have a crash, we don't wanna lose progress. And, all right, let's go ahead and end the turn. Bit of a bummer turn. Let's see what's next. Oh, we can speak to the Broody Eye next turn. Let's see if we can get trade rights and map information off of them. Hmm, no. How about just trade rights? How about Map information for map information. No, they're not budging. That's okay. I don't really need their map information that much. We'll send our diplomat back up this way. Just take another pass at the Julii. And then we can just do some spying. All right. Now we have a pretty decent sized Gallic army outside of Lebanon. So any chance we have any mercenaries? No, we don't. We don't want to lose Lebanon. But... If we can take this city in return, that's not so bad. So let's build some spear warband here in Lemonum. And any troops we could send over from Alessia? We have some troops we could retrain. So we'll retrain some troops in Alessia, send them over to relieve Lemonum. We might lose it, but if we pick up Conde Redonum, then it will be worth it.
All right. Construction report. Trier, we have a shrine to donor. Go for level two of that. Batavadorum, wooden palisade. Go for a muster field. And Alessia, sacred grove of donor. Let's go for a trader. We're going to get our population growth rate up here. Get this to a minor city. Coming of age, we have a new general to replace the one we just lost. And he's at dam, so that's nice. Kind of feels good to replace a general in this region after we just lost one. All right, um, now I wanted to send a general out to Vicus, Vicus Gothi and Vicus Marcomani to just get some mercenaries disbanded for the population. Vicus Gothi definitely needs it. Go ahead and disband that. And then we'll go south to Vicus Marcomani, see if there's another pool of mercenaries down here. But that helped the population a little bit, brought it up to 1103. So that's good. We profited 3,843 denarii that turn. Pretty good turn financially. And let's do some micromanaging. We can bring up the tax rate in Alessia. Samarobriva is already maxed. Lemonum, we can bring it up a little bit. Batavadorum is already maxed. Bordas home maxed. All right, I think we're doing well. Tax rates are high. Economy's doing great. All right, will we win this fight? Probably. Like, this is basically the army we just beat down here, just inside a city. So I think we can win that. Go ahead and end the turn. And yeah, that's what I was fearing. We are besieged at Samuro Briva. That's unfortunate. We're gonna have to beat Senianus in the field, probably. Luckily, Lemnum was not besieged. I thought it would be. Do we need to rush to take Conde Redonum to relieve Samarobriva? Maybe. Hmm. Sticky situation. Diplomatic information. Yeah, we're at war with Britain, obviously. Spain and the Scipii are allies. Is, are the Scipii allies with Spain and Gaul? Yeah, so the Julii are only at war with the Carthaginians because... The Scipii keep allying with the natural enemies of the Julii. So the Julii are probably not able to expand at all. Let's go to the faction rankings. Go to territorial. And let me grab the Brutii have three. Julii have four. Scipii have four. So they're not doing that well. Let's grab all factions. So I'm winning, obviously, at 10. Egypt at seven everyone else six five four three two one so okay not doing that well we profited 2224 denarii we're profiting every turn now so we can start spending a little more liberally damn we have a stockade let's go for a meeting hall we can start building some troop buildings in our cities we want to start getting some axemen, that kind of stuff. Because got the. Let's go for the population growth bonus one. Lemonum land clearance, that's good enough. And still no mercenaries here. Nope, no mercenaries. I think we have to take Conde Redonum, which is hard. It's going to be a difficult battle, but I don't really see how else we relieve Samarobriva. I mean, I don't know. Let's really look at this army. This is the one with the Woad Warriors. Warband had hurlers. Hmm. We could try it. We could try it. We've got one, two, three units of phalanxes. Yeah, they don't like our chances. Do they have siege equipment yet? Not yet. Okay, we'll wait a second. Conde Redonum, what are our chances here? I feel like we can do it. I know this is kind of crazy after we just had a bad loss, but I'm going to try it. This is definitely risky. But you got to take some risks every now and then. Oi. All right. Screeching Women will hold the ram. Spear Warband will guard the gate. Cavalry will finish the job. Start the battle. 
They don't have any missile troops, so that's good. There's no inconvenient towers, which is good. Let's get our spear warband in here. Just walk up here. Speed this up a little bit. And hmm, how can we tempt them out of the city? I wish we had some missiles. If we had some slingers or something, man, that'd be nice. All right. We can get our spear warband here. Okay. If they come out here, they are screwed. Any chance? No. Okay. Let me grab the ram. We'll just make another hole in the wall. Uh, can you break down over there? Beautiful. They're getting kind of confused with the spear warband here, but... All right. Now, ideally, don't stand in front of the tower. Okay. Nearly, but not quite. <laughs> Knock down the wall. Alright, grab the ram again. Bring it over here. I'm going to guard this hole with some spear warband. And this one with the spear warband. And go knock down this wall. Where are you going? Just go there. Weirdo. We just want to confuse them into charging one of these phalanxes. We might send the cavalry in through this gate or this hole in the wall once we knock it down. We just don't want to use our spear warband as regular warband because that will not be a way to win this battle. They outnumber us a lot. They used war cry, so at least they can't use it later. Well, they can, but later, later. All right, what are you guys doing? Is this like a like a synchronized dancing thing? Is this to intimidate us? Okay, so they're moving around. I wonder if they're going to charge in this way. We're going to have the Screeching Women go over here and do their chant. Do the Screech. Woo! Oh, yeah. All right. Do we charge the cavalry in? What's the plan here? Can we win against Warband 229? We're going to try it. This feels risky. Let's get as many as possible inside the city before we attack them. They're steady. Shaken. Okay, let's march the spearmen in. And actually, I'm going to forget the phalanx position, just run in. You guys do the same thing. Just see if we can surround them enough that they break. They're shaken. Okay, we have a break. This is very good. Uh, one unit hasn't broken yet. Please don't lose a general here. I will be so sad. Get as many kills as possible on this warband as they flee. This is good. Okay, beautiful. Oh, thank goodness. So glad this is how this battle went. Still have a lot of warband to kill, but definitely helps to have killed 31% of the enemy. All right. We're going to pull up the spear warband, let them get a few more kills, and then we will draw them up for battle right here. Slow us down a little bit. We don't want to have them charge us out of Phalanx position. Let's get our Screeching Women up here. 
Get the warlord over here. Get the cavalry over here. Spears went down just in time to blunt this charge. Broken already. They lost 20 right there. Another charge. Same thing will happen. They're wavering already. Yeah. All right. March a little bit forward, further forward. Get the screeching women in here. Just everyone move up together. Keep marching. And they'll just keep breaking every time they try this. Weavering. Broken. There we go. This unit will break as well. Good stuff. Pull up a little closer. All right. This is a bigger unit, so we'll be a little harder, but still prepared hoplites. Good luck. Okay, one unit broke over here, a little unit. This one's shaken. They're taking a lot of casualties. Let's speed this up. Just chew through them. Kill the enemy commander. Beautiful. They're just going to keep doing this? I'll take it. As long as they can reach us, I don't need to move up. But if they can't reach us without breaking, then we'll move up a little bit. I right, move up a little bit. This is great. <laughs> and I'm going to turn off the Screeching Women ability just to give them a little extra morale so they feel more comfortable charging us and we can kill more of them. All right, we're not really getting any more kills, so let's, oh no, drop like this. Just a little bit closer every time. Okay, get the Screeching Women up here, Cavalry, and walk a little closer. Turn on the Screeching Women ability. All right, guys, you're about to start the big fight. Oh no, come on, fix your phalanx position. Ah, uh, their formation's all screwed up. Okay, can we figure this out, please? Uh, the enemy are still wavering, shockingly. I'm ready with the... What are you guys doing? Alright, attack over here. <laughs> I'm ready with rally troops so fast. Oh my goodness, okay. Screeching women, get up here. Cavalry, get up here and help out. This is the dumbest way to fight with Spear Warband, but they get confused on city centers. Alright guys, push up, attack. We're working our way through them. It'll be done soon. There we go. Last few guys. All right. I think this is the last guy, right? I want to see the screeching women do their thing. Oh no, he's he's killing himself. What are you doing, man? They're leaving you alone. Oh, okay. Heroic victory. I've had a lot of heroic victories so far. I'm glad that worked out. Took a good number of casualties, but... Spear Warband are crazy. Killed 1,100 spear, uh, enemies with just these two Spear Warband, so... Good stuff. All right, Condate Redonum. We'll go ahead and enslave it just for the stacking of the population growth rate. Oh my gosh, 2.5% population growth rate bonus in Condate Redonum and 2.5% in Lemonum as well. Crazy stuff.
That's a, that's a wild population growth rate. I think we just got a slave trader here as well. Yep. So we have a slave trader in Cadaverdonum and Lemonum. That's why that's so high. That's crazy. So does Alessia have... They have 1.5% population growth rate bonus. We probably don't have any here. Oh, we do have something here, even though we're under siege. That's crazy. All right. So this captain... I'm not so worried about now. I think I'm more worried about Samaroprava. So let's grab our reinforcements from Alessia. We're going to send them all north. Which way, though? I think this way, because I want them to reunite with the army from Conde Redonum. In Alessia, we will build some peasants for the public order, and then we'll build some other stuff to actually defend the city. Go ahead and repair the wooden palisade to Conde Redonum. And we can't afford to retrain anything here, so we're just going to have to grab what we have. Is that enough to guard the city? It's going to have to be. And we're going to march them out this way. Next turn, we'll reunite this army, and then can they all reach here next turn? Ah, not quite. Hopefully we can fight Senianus next turn. They don't have any siege equipment yet, so that's good. Oh man, once we deal with that, then we kill this army, then we pretty much own, I mean, that's a, that's a big chunk of empire right there. That's 11 cities, right? Very good. The Talvadorum expanded because of us enslaving that city. We will go ahead and upgrade to Warlord's Hold. We'll let the Musterfield train first, but I'm glad Talvadorum is finally growing. Now this guy is going to go south to Vicus Marcomani, and yes, we can get so many mercenaries here. So Vicus Marcomani does need a lot of population, so let's get the barbarian mercenaries, disband them. Brings us up to 1580. Then we have Illyrians. Illyrians probably aren't a great value for just disbanding, but they're not a horrible value either. Basterni, Sarmatians, oh, I'm seeing, I'm seeing a little bit of an army to march south and fight the Dacians. Yeah, we're doing it. All right. Sassithicus, the heartless ruler, the 16-year-old is going to buy a mercenary army and march south. That's for sure. Mercenary captain, that's good, plus one command. And yeah, we're just going to march this south and start attacking Lovishish, Lovishish. Start attacking Dacians. Um, I feel like I know how to fight Dacia now that I've, you know, been Dacia. But yeah, that that's good. We just we need new fronts to expand on, so that's convenient. I'll take it. Anything else we can do this turn? Anything else we need to do this turn? I think not. Ordersholm. Ah oh, man, I wish this place would grow. It's so frustrating having all these rebels around. But We'll deal with them eventually. These uh, naked fanatics, they'll be helpful. Attack of 15, defense of 9. Yeah, they're good. All right. Anything we want to do with our diplomat? Send him up here. Yeah, not much going on. Let's go ahead and end the turn. But actually, we can use our diplomat to see which regions these guys own. So... Vibius Julius. They own Ariminum, Aredium, Segesta, and Carolus. Wow. Okay. They're not doing that well, honestly. We'll speak to the Gauls, see how much they own as well. See if they've done anything in Spain, if they've taken Massilia. We spent a good amount last turn. That's mostly buying all those mercenaries, though. So our economy's still doing well. Lots of buildings are completed this turn. Magantiacum as a market... We'll go for Sacred Grove of Freya because we're having some public order issues here. Trier, Sacred Grove of Donor. We're not doing taverns. We're not doing it. Same reason as we regretted doing it as Spain and the reason we don't do it as Dacia. Um, taverns and Bardic Circles give really bad traits to your generals. So I totally ruined a bunch of my Spanish generals by giving them Slubbardgullion, which is a retinue and drunken traits. 
it makes them just horrible. So we're not ever going to buy any taverns. Let's go for practice range in Trier. Once this is a minor city and we can get those Chosen Archer Warband, that will be a very welcome addition to our army. Tavadorum. We are working on a Warlord's Hold there. Wikus Gothi. Nothing to do there. Alessia has a traitor. We'll go for... Hmm. Communal farming is fine. Yeah. And I'm going to build some Warhounds here, just in case we ever get attacked. They have really cheap upkeep. Upkeep of 60, and they're good defensive units. So just good to have around. All right, let's check out the situation in Gaul. Oh my goodness, they have more reinforcements. Kalpornis brought another army. This is wild. All right. We're going to move here, and we can merge in our armies. And now we have a mega German army. Look at that. Six units of spear warband, three units of cavalry. We have two units of screeching women. Good stuff. All right. What is this army? Wood warriors, swordsmen. Yeah, this is no match for us. Let's go ahead and attack them. You really want to take this fight? You sure, Senianus? Uh, He's okay. No command stars, though. Ario Geisus has eight command stars, eight influence, famous warrior, Galper, brave, bloody. Yeah. I would not personally have taken this battle if I was the Britons, but I'm not going to complain. I, I'm okay with that. We're going to go ahead and grab our front line of Spear Warband. Five units of Hoplites and then a weaker one for the flank. I call them Hoplites. I know that's going to probably bother a few people. Sorry, but they are hoplites, so. <laughs> All right, let's, I think we just honestly can, can draw wide. We don't really, like, we'll have a slight angle so we don't get flanked. But we don't, we don't need to be too angled. Uh, and actually, we'll just do an angle here, the smaller unit. That's good. Then on this side of the army, we'll have this unit of screeching women. This side will have this unit of screeching women. And let me reorganize the way this is presented to me. So I can do this, and then I can do this, screeching women together, and then the cavalry together. That's nicer. Let's get my skirmisher warband here, here, and here. And our warlord will be kind of on the flank, but also providing morale to the majority of the army. This guy will be on the flank over here. All right, is this everyone? Except the cavalry, right. Cavalry, uh, I forgot I had so much cavalry, my goodness. Maybe just hang out on this flank. You'll be your own little wing, we can use you to skirmish. Okay. New warriors have arrived on the field. Send them to kill the enemy. I wonder if they're gonna really try to fight. We should draw this wider, because they're chariots. I forgot they're chariots. This unit will draw a little wider as well, like that. And then, yeah, what's going to happen here? What's over here? Swordsmen, World Warriors. So this is a pretty tough flank. Over here is a little bit weaker. Let's get our Light Cavalry over here to assist. And I'm going to bring, can we, what are we doing? There we go. Can I, and then I'll bring my uh, my head general over here as well because the morale is going to be more important on this side. We have a weak unit of Spear Warband here, and they have their best troops over here. I'm going to go ahead and turn on Screeching for my two Screeching women, because they can just do that forever. So, may as well. I could probably break these Swordsmen with my Light Cavalry. I'm considering it. I'm considering it, but the Woad Warriors would be an issue. I don't know. We could take a swing at it. 
I'll bring them up to the top of this home. We'll just see if we want to use them. I wonder if they're going to attack us or just wait for us to make a move. Hmm. What are y'all up to? Let's charge these swordsmen. Just see what happens. Got a good charge in. They broke. No chance these world warriors break, right? I think they have really good morale. They're, oh, they broke. No way we can just wrap this army up, right? Charge these barbarian peasants. They broke. Warband. We might be... We might be kind of overstaying our welcome here. Just take on the general. See what happens, guys. Okay, get out of there. Yeah, we, we overstayed our welcome. That was a good start, though. We, we broke like half the army. We might lose these units, but it was worth it. All right, can we not lose these units? That's the question. Mm. Turn on the general. He doesn't have a lot of momentum because he's going uphill. If you can just hold him still here, we might be able to kill him. No, don't charge into Warband. What are you doing? Deal with the general. We're going to have a break here. Yeah, I can lose his cavalry. That's not the end of the world. What are you doing? <laughs> You're so dumb. This guy really loves charging into Warband. Kill the general. Okay, enemy general's dead. That was worth losing some cavalry over. Okay. Now we can go behind the enemy army, and even if we don't want to fight them, we just want to hang out behind them to make them feel like they're being flanked. Because they are. Head hurlers? Yeah, get a charge on them. See if you can break them. I just don't want them to fire off a volley into my front line. They have such high damage. They're wavering? Yeah, there we go. All right, that's the last thing I need out of my cavalry. Just kill these head hurlers and I'll be happy. I should honestly get my general involved. This army is so broken. Let's just, yeah. Warband, they're wavering already. Broken, beautiful. One of you guys can finish off the head hurlers. The rest of you can start engaging the next unit. We'll get my next general out here. They're trying to flee the battlefield, but I'm not going to let them. All right, Heavy Cavalry, your job is to catch this warband. You got this. Catch the next warband. Any chance? There we go. Nice, good amount of kills. Grab these warband over here. Just get as many kills as possible. Killed 81% of the enemy army. Cool. So we killed 2,300 of them. We lost, or I'm sorry, we killed 1,449 of them and we lost 231. Lost about 10% of our army. Mostly cavalry. Yeah, almost entirely cavalry. So that's okay. Cavalry is pretty cheap. All right, that's good. I was worried about dealing with those two armies combined, but one army I can deal with. Let's combine these cavalry. I would rather be able to use them than have two weaker units. So, All right, Alliance announced. Don't care about that. Okay, good. So, Samuel Bruva is safe. We still have to kill another army, but we can do that next turn. No worries. Now, this army, we want to march south. Let's go, yeah, this direction. Okay. And we might drop a watchtower over here first, just because we don't really have any watchtowers yet. We need to work on that. All right, let's end this turn. I like the pace we're moving at. This is a little bit better than it was. So we could kill this rebel army real quick. I want to kill the British army first, though. We'll deal with the rebels later. End of turn report, we gained 3,300 denarii. Without any trade, it's crazy that we're already getting our economy to run away. I'm very happy about that. We're going to get one more unit of naked fanatics. We're just going to have these three units bumble around killing rebels. 
All right. What do we got? Anything of note? Not really much we can do. Where's this guy? Capornus. We can take him. I'm just going to attack now. Warband, World Warriors, Head Hurlers. Yeah, we fought this army before. Axe Bitten's good. Plus one morale. What else is there? Lily Livered's bad. Minus one morale. So he has no command stars, one wreath of influence, and zero morale. I can handle that. Love these bad generals. Agreed. All right. Let's live. This is a scary line of Spear War Band. Yikes. <laughs> you got this, Britannia. No worries. All right. I'm going to try and do this nice and quick, like I did it last time. It's not a very complicated plan. You, Angle. You guys, draw it a little further than that. You angle nice and wide for the chariots. Yeah, you too. Then, uh, maybe not that harsh of an angle like that. Get our skirmishers. And group them up. Get our cavalry on this flank. Group them up. And let's get a screeching woman unit here and one here. Other general here. Start the battle. All right. We might have to move up a little bit. Let's see if they're willing to just march towards us. Maybe. Okay. Wait, let me pause this. Okay, I forgot one unit over here. I do this every time. Always one unit just doesn't end up with the rest of them. You get over here. What 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 do they have over here? World Warriors, is, so that's their toughest stuff. Weakest flank is probably this flank. So we might send in the cavalry a little bit. Skirmish Warband are getting some shots in. Their head hurlers hopefully will just not get a shot on us at all because no, they're going to get a shot, unfortunately. I just don't want them to fire into us. Those head hurlers do so much damage. It's bad I'm tempted to just charge these warband over here. I know that's a bad idea, but if I had the generals, I could do it. Maybe the other end. Let's charge the World Warriors instead. Because this, this flank is secure. Um, let's turn on Screeching for the Screeching Women. I'm going to bring my Light Cavalry over here. And we're going to use the Generals and the Light Cavalry to break the World Warriors over here. Alright guys, throw the rest of your Javelins. I'm going to tell the Skirmisher Warband to not Skirmish. Alright. Going over here. And let's. All right, come on over here. We want to get all the way on their flank to make them feel pressured. Now, last time we broke the swordsman on the flank, so that was a little easier than Wood Warriors. Let me check do Wood Warriors have excellent morale or high morale? Oh, they just have good morale. Yeah. All right, actually, I'm going to leave this guy out because he's he's weak. We'll use him for routing later. But These three. Continue flanking this unit. Behind them, you hang on the flank. No way the general himself just did that. You are so stupid. Just himself standing right at the front walked into the Wood Warriors. Okay, they've broken, luckily. Come on. See if we can break this war band. Okay, we broke the war band. I don't know how I don't lose more generals. 
Like, I know that's what I'm known for. That's like the, the whole thing with this channel is losing generals, but I don't lose nearly enough generals for how I play. All right. Warband wrapped up. Ran all of them down. One more. Go break this unit into warband. Come on, guys, charge. What are we doing? They're broken. Great. And then we'll move on to this warband. We don't really need to clean up every last unit. We just want to break most of this army. I wonder if because we're up against an ocean, if this army is just going to disband. I wasn't really paying attention to whether I had the little symbol that tells you that they're going to um, route and like disappear if they disband. Ugh. If they break, they will die. I don't know how to explain what I'm trying to say. If you have them up against a wall and you defeat the army, the army will disappear. That's what I'm trying to say. Almost like I've been talking for four hours or something. I'm not used to this. <laughs> All right. Got these warband. We've honestly lost a lot of our general's units, so we need to be a little bit careful. I don't think we're going to get the general this battle. We're just going to get most of the infantry, which I'm okay with. Have one of these units chase these world warriors. One will chase these warband. One will chase these warband over here. And I'm going to have all of my spear warband just walk at the enemy warlord. If we can kill the enemy warlord, that would be ideal. So we're just going to try. Doesn't hurt to try. This honestly might work. He's just hanging out here. Please, please. This is no longer Amazing. Uh, see if you can kill the general. I don't think we can catch him. But I'm happy with this result. <laughs> Let's see how much uh, we killed this army. 95%. Very nice. Beautiful. Clear victory. Lost 90 troops. Killed 1784. Didn't kill Calpornis, unfortunately. Let's see if he escapes. Retinue expands. Veteran warrior. Beautiful. Yep, Calpornis escaped with some troops. But that's okay. We'll go kill this rebel army maybe next turn. And then I'm sure he'll land again and we'll kill him again. And we'll get him for real this time. Got more mercenaries for Sasithicus and his army of Basterni. Look at that. Another unit of Basterni. That's so scary. All right. Go south. Yeah, this town is screwed. <laughs> I know it's not a good idea to make enemies, but... Oh, I know I was going to put a watchtower. That's okay. I'll do it later. Once I take level assists, I'll, I'll put a watchtower down. But yeah, no, I... I don't think the Dacians are doing very well in this campaign. Let's check their faction rankings. Dacia. Overall ranking on the decline. Population, not that much. No money. Three regions. So they have this, and they have their two starting settlements. Yeah, I can pretty easily handle that, I think. I might not take all of their settlements, just because I don't want to overextend, but... I want to just expand in this direction. So whatever's in my path, I will just kill. All right, I think we're done with this turn. Um, I want to build a spy in Mugontiacum. Take a look at our financial projections. Doing great. Nothing to buy here. Yeah, everything is looking very good. Let's end the turn. 
the Gauls. This is I wanted to ask them about what regions they have. So they have Narbal Martius, Medulanium, Numantia, and I'm guessing Batavium is their capital. So wow. They're doing really poorly. So they didn't ever pick up Massilia. Yeah, I will very easily maybe not knock them out of the game. I won't go down into Spain immediately, but the Spanish will probably finish them off. So they're not much of a threat to me anymore. The Britons want a ceasefire. I'll make them pay for it if they want one. So we can do trade rights, map information. Uh, no, just trade rights, ceasefire, and pay me. Oh, I accidentally hit escape. That's, that's a shame. Ah, uh, okay. Probably could have gotten some money out of them. Oh, well. Um, they'll probably talk to me again sometime. Do I have any diplomats over here? No, I don't. I'll stay on the lookout for a British diplomat. Send my diplomat up here. See if I can talk to him. And see if we can get some money out of him. But this army is just going to clean up these rebels. And then, I mean, how close are we to getting a port here? Oh, we're so far away. What about over here? Not even close. Tabadorum can build a port right now because we just finished upgrading it. What good timing. Okay. Build a port at Batavadorum. At Mgantiacum, we have a sacred grove of Freya. Hmm. We will go for a meeting hall here. So we can get some axemen if we need them. Damn, we have a meeting hall. We'll go for a blacksmith. And next turn, we will have our naked fanatics done. But yeah, Batavadorum, that's very exciting. We'll get our ships so we can start attacking Londinium, Deva, Iburcum. I wonder how strong their armies are. Because we've been killing a lot of their armies. I wonder if that's at all their strength. Or if they have more in Britain. We'll see. We can disband this unit of barbarian mercenaries for a little more population. For Samarobriva, that helps a little bit. I'm going to take a sip of water. Hold on. I feel like I've been talking for hours, but... All right. And a turn report. Profited 4,494. Love to see it. Alessia, we have Warhounds. We'll get one more unit here. Mugantiakum, we have our spy. Let's send this spy. How good are you? Oh, you're good, but you're 41. Why are we training 41-year-old spy? Okay, send this guy south. Just start looking around, see what's going on in the world. This army, are we scared of Dacia? No, attack Dacia. Get two rams here. Do we know what's in this army? No, no idea. Two generals, oh, Skyluris. That's sad. Skyluris, we're gonna have to kill him. That's weird. It's weird playing as Dacia and then going to kill all of the guys you've been really caring about as Dacia for the last, like, ten weeks. Oh well. Gaul and Dacia are allied, that makes sense. That's the losers club. Alright. Let's kill these rebels. Who's here? Weak stuff, easy. Make this nice and quick. I'm just going to march the spear warband directly at the units and just do that. They have no chance. Run. Then phalanx formation. And I'll just get my generals over here in case we have any issues. But yeah, th this is uh, not what you want to see as a unit of barbarian peasants. <laughs> not looking good, guys. Immediately broken. Then we'll move on to the next unit. We can chase down these barbarian peasants. Warband's already shaken. Broken. Get some experience real quick. 
Then end the battle. Good enough. End the battle. Beautiful. Any experience gained? Nope. That's okay. All right. Now. I think we need a watchtower. You. Rick Burgess. Go over here. Drop a watchtower. That's nice. Then, what do we want to do with this army? We could, we could march south, or we could just go straight over to Britain. Hmm. Kind of difficult. I guess we'll, I guess we'll deal with the British first, right? Because the, the Gauls are not really a threat anymore. Can we get some mercenaries here just in case we need to defend Lebanon? Not really. So Alessia... Is really our only source of troops over here. We might keep some troops, some strength. Maybe one general will hang out in this area just in case we get attacked by the Gauls. And then we will go invade Britain, try and deal with them. What is the population in Alessia right now? It's it's going up quickly. We'll give it a few more turns of population growth at like 5.5%. And then we'll start building some actual units of like infantry here. All right. Anything else we can even do this turn? I don't think so. Next turn, we can kill these rebels finally. That'll feel good. Okay, so. Skyly's... Oh, this is so sad. Skyly's and Skyluris. The genius man. I am so sorry. I wish I could bribe you. You are incredible, but you're going to have to die now. Captain rolls. Captain rolls. I know him well. All right, so this is a decent army. They've got some Archer Warband Falksmen, two good generals, but they're no match for our mercenary army. So we're going to have one army coming from each side. The army of generals, we should probably fight with our Bristerni. Hmm, this is difficult. How do we want to do this? I think we grab our Basterni, grab our Sarmatians, grab our general, and they're going to deal with the generals. But wait, are we attacked by the generals or by the reinforcing, uh, the other army? I think we're attacked by Captain Rolls. Hmm. Yeah, we're attacked by Captain Rolls. So just turn around. We're going to deal with Skylies and Skylurus first. Our Illyrians can... Is there anything really... Th yeah, they're kind of scary. We're just going to run away for now. <laughs> and let's speed this up. And we're going to go kill Skylys and Skylurus, and then we'll deal with the reinforcements. Okay. So... Which one do we want to go first? Probably the bigger one. Let's have the Basterni run up here. They're fast moving. We've got two hit points. We need to keep a general probably somewhat near them just so we don't lose them, but... All right. I'm so excited to use Sarmatians and Basterni. This is the dream. I, haven't, I don't even think I've used these in my Daisha campaign yet. Okay, what's going on here? I know I never pause, but I shouldn't pause. Back up, back up a little bit. All right, let's use... War cry on my Basterni. And then charge in here. And then we need to get our general in here. We already have a break. Are you kidding me? Basterni, you're supposed to be amazing. Yeah, let's see if this other unit cannot break. We already lost a whole unit of Basterni. Got my general in here. He's in danger. The Sarmatians will help. I'm just going to have everyone charge in. Who do we lose? Enemy general. Okay. Oh, please don't lose my general here. I'm just going to speed this up. I can't bear to watch. They're completely crushed on all sides. Both generals are dead. Okay. Oh, that was horrific. You guys don't throw any javelins. Okay. We lost a ton of Basterni. That stinks. We'll have to buy some more. Okay. Now we just have to deal with this reinforcing army. So we have Illyrians. We have some Basterni. They're not a very good front line. But... We'll use them as kind of a shock force, if that's at all possible, against this block of infantry. And then we have our cavalry. Some Sarmatians are probably going to win this battle. So 
Sarmatians and Illyrians. All right. Let them come near us a little bit. If they're going to attack us, they're going to attack us. But they're probably going to try to use their archers first. What's going to be their plan here? Are they going to try and fire off with their archers? Yes, they are. All right, let's use War Cry with my Vesterni. And then we're going to charge into this warband. Let's get our Illyrians to charge in as well. Keep my general as nearby as possible. Come on, Mr. Knight. Do not break this time, please. I'm going to keep an eye on their morale. And let's see how they do. And Falksman, yeah, Sarmation should be able to handle them pretty easily. Hopefully. Okay. This warband broke. Can we help out against this barbarian cavalry? What's going on here? So my Sarmatians are shaken against these Falksmen. Okay, Falksmen, they're shaken. Any chance we can... Reinforce with the Basterni. I'm going to let my general chase down these warband, get these archer warband. Okay, we've lost our Sarmatians, but Falksman versus Basterni, I think we can win that with our Basterni. Come on, guys. And the Illyrians are dealing with the uh, warband over here. Archer warband versus my general. All right, let's just keep an eye on the Basterni. Come on, guys. You can do this. They're wavering. They're broken. Beautiful. All right. These warband are shaken. Let's just chase down fleeing units with my general. I don't want to use them for fighting anymore. Lyrians keep charging after these warband. Okay. This was a little sloppy, but for the most part, good. Barbarian cavalry is trying to kill my general. There we go. Broke that last unit. Now we're just hunting down the rest of the army. Somehow, they lost two generals and a commander, and I did not lose my general. That was a good amount of luck, but... Alright. Let's get as many kills as we can here. Stern Eye. You're supposed to be fast. You're supposed to be like... That's your whole thing. You can't even catch some Falksmen? Well, maybe they're supposed to be fast, too. Kind of a similar unit. Alright. Let's speed this up a little bit. Grab these Archer Warband. Grab these Warband. Okay. Killed 98% of the enemy. Let's go ahead and end the battle. Clear victory. We lost about 300 troops. Oh, that hurts losing a whole unit of Sarmatians, a whole unit of Basterni. That's that's not great. Go ahead and enslave Lovasis for population growth bonus from slavery. Spain wants trade rights. Wow. Let's get map information too. Okay. They have not expanded at all. Interesting. Um, I don't really want an alliance with them or anything because I'm probably going to be attacking them soon. So, uh, I don't know. I could get an alliance. Are you? Let me see if I can get you to attack Gaul. They might already be attacking Gaul. But... Let me see if they're they they denied it. But let's see what they're what they're up to. Gaul is not at war with. Wow. Somehow Gaul is not at war with Spain, Carthage, the Julii, the Scipii, anyone. They're allied with the Scythii, uh, the Scipii, and uh, Dacia. Gaul is doing well, except for they have one really bad enemy. So, Trier has been besieged by some rebels. Oh, so frustrating. I really don't want to lose Trier. Man, that's tough. I think we have to just relieve that with cavalry. So I need to send my faction leader, all of the cavalry in his army, to go relieve Trier. We have some more cavalry here. We'll grab some barbarian mercenaries. That'd be good to send back to one of the smaller cities. Maybe Sam Roberville, right? Yeah, we'll send that to Sam Roberville. I mean, well, it could be useful for this battle too. No, we won't need it. Send it up to Sam Roberville. Right, are we within the walls or the uh, border of the city? Yes. There we go. Sam Roberva is up to 1287. Good stuff. And this army will just hang out because in a few turns we'll have a navy and then we can go over and attack Britain. So maybe just chill in Sam Roberva and yeah, have fun. Day off. Shore leave. 
Retinue for Areogaisis Mercenary Captain. That's good. I'm happy about that. Plus one command, up to nine stars. We got our naked fanatics in dam, so we can finally kill some rebels. Rebel scum. I will be coming for them this turn. Construction report tree air. We got a practice range. Just in time to not get used. Hopefully we don't lose the city. I'm gonna be so sad. Let's see, we have a communal farming. I guess we'll go for blacksmith. May as well. Send our spy south. You have them. Not looking great. Two units in there. Three units out here. We might go pick up you of them soon. Now that we've taken Lovasis. Lovasis. This is a hard word to say. Lovasis. <laughs> See if there's any more uh, mercenaries in the area. Illyrians. Good stuff. The question is what do we want to live, leave in this city? I think we might just leave a skeleton force, just some Illyrians. Is that good enough? General. Looks good enough to me. General. We'll leave behind some Basterni as well. We can, I mean, we might lose this. I'm, I'm fully aware of that. But I'm just moving fast, picking up as many cities as possible. And if there doesn't happen to be an army in the area, then they won't pick up the city. So, not really worried about it. Ooh, lots of new stuff for... Sisythicus, shield bearer plus one valor, confident commander plus one command, famous warrior plus one command plus one morale, very good. So he's getting a lot better, 18 years old, already three stars of command, has a plus one morale, he's getting quite good, I'm very proud of him. Profit to 2,900 denarii that turn, easy peasy. All right. No need to linger around on this turn too long. Last thing to do, Naked Fanatics. Can you guys handle this? Really, can you handle this? That's the question. I'm going to try it. I'm going to trust. I hate that they're just hanging out on this bridge because a bridge battle is always hard. But three units of Naked Fanatics should be able to handle this, right? Okay, we do not want to fight them on the bridge. Uh, is this the one that doesn't have a... River crossing. I think that's why I lost the first. It does. I don't know why I lost the first time. Okay, go here. Cross the river. Okay. We have better infantry than them. We have more. Most of their army is like peasants. So we should be good. I'm going to keep them very dense. Keep my troops together. Make sure I use Warcry. I am going to slow this down just because I don't want to make the same mistake I made last time. And I'm just going to wait for my units to be fresh. No need for them to be warmed up. There we go. Fresh. Okay. Get a little bit closer. War cry. Two on one. 320 against 119. Attack this naked fanatics. Other unit will attack some peasants. There's no way we lose this. Wavering already. Good. Broken. Beautiful. One of these units. Go help out here. Help out here. Okay. For a second we were wavering. Now down to steady. I think just with this low armor stat, the morale is just... Like, the morale itself is high, but... They take so much damage that they just lose morale really quickly. So one of our units is broken already. We lost our general. Oh, no. Come on, guys. These are peasants. They're wavering. Please break. I hope they don't charge into us. I think they're planning on it. Oh, gosh. We really need these peasants to break. Oh gosh, we're just surrounded. Come on, why are these peasants not breaking? Okay, we're gonna use war cry with this unit and attack here. Okay, beautiful, these peasants broke. One of these units 
Go, yeah, both of these units, go kill this general. Okay, he's dead. Rebel generals, okay, we won the battle. My goodness. That was stressful. All right, get some experience if you can. Jeez, that was crazy. All right, we're not going to get any more kills. These guys are slow. All right, end the battle. Man, what is with those rebels? Naked fanatics, they kind of stink. Like, they should not have broken that easily. They supposedly have good morale. They did not have good morale there. <laughs> they easily should have won that. I don't know. Okay. Let's go ahead and end the turn. Despicable treachery Rick Guard. Oh, Rick Guard, diplomat. I thought Rick Guard was uh, my general over here. I have a general. Rick Burgess. Oh my goodness. I thought I lost a general. I was so angry. Okay, we lost a diplomat. That's fine. We were paying for him for no reason. That's that's whatever. All right, let's go spy on you of them. Who's in this army? Not much. Go down here. Any more reinforcements? Illyrians. I love how many mercenaries are in this area. We've been just building an entire army out of mercenaries. So this should be a pretty easy city to take, you of them. Let's go ahead and save the game. It's been a second since we did it. Beautiful. I will absolutely attack Rome. I usually in my campaigns, you see me take kind of a passive approach where like I care about letting the Romans develop and I want to have an enemy in the late game, but not in this campaign. Uh, since the whole thing is trying to complete in one sitting, I need to be as efficient as possible, which means I need to knock the Romans out of the game as early as possible. So we need to start building some decent armies to go deal with the Romans because uh, we don't really have anything like a decent army. We've just been barely conquering these settlements with spear warband. So we need to get some like chosen archer warband, chosen axemen, that kind of stuff. But we're just not quite there yet. End of turn report, we profited 29.45. Completed a port in Batavadorum. Amazing. Let's go for a meeting hall here. And we're going to build a boat. And then we will be able to bring our army over to the UK. Don't know if it was really a UK. Yeah, I guess it is a UK. It's a kingdom. It's united currently for now. Um, We can beat this army, right? Now I'm like paranoid about rebels i think so <laughs> we'll try it <laughs> i have a great general we'll be fine Ooh, foggy i'm leaving it foggy i love it i love it we want the high ground let's take even higher ground All right, just a couple units here. All right, we've got the high ground, that's good. Let's bring this down to double game speed. Uh, Well, they're split up right now, so let's charge in here. We're gonna use rally troops, keep our general safe, and we have a break. <laughs> Two breaks, yay, all right. Kill as many of them as we can. All right, everyone just go kill these naked fanatics. They're wavering. Please just end it here. Oh, thank goodness. Okay. For some reason, I was just really paranoid after those last couple battles. All right, I'll speed this up. Just get as many kills as we can. Enemy commander's dead. Reminder, it does not matter whether you kill all of the rebels in an army. Once a rebel army loses a battle, it disbands immediately but I'm just getting kills for the experience. Victory. Easy peasy. Lost 50 troops, mostly barbar barbarian cavalry mercenaries. I don't care about that. Great. Okay, crisis averted. Let's go back up to our previous plan of taking Britain. So I'm gonna send Aryu Geisus the Conqueror over to Samarobriva. 
let's get him an army. So we need probably one, two, three, four units of Spear Warband, one unit of Screeching Women, and two units of Skirmisher Warband. That's a decent army. Is that enough of an army? I'm not entirely sure. Let's get some Warhounds too. That looks like a nice army. Reunite over here next turn. And then we'll get on a boat and send them over to the British Isles. And, I mean, do we have any more? I guess we could send over the Naked Fanatics to help out. Yeah, we'll send them over as well. And then we'll build... What, what do we need to destroy this army? Oh, it's some Naked Fanatics. Damn, what can we build here? We'll build some Axemen. We're just going to test Axemen against Naked Fanatics for fun. Okay, I think that'll be a decent army for attacking Britain. This army I will send south to Alessia. And we're going to start working on a bit of an army to pick up some of these cities. Now that we're kind of sending our army off to war, unfortunately, we got to rebuild. So is Sam Roberva okay with just one mercenary unit? Yes. You can go south as well. They're all going to meet up in Alessia. Twelve regions, we're doing well. Next turn we will besiege you of them. Anything else we need to do this turn? No, I think we're doing well. Let's check on our spy. Where's our spy? What do we do with our spy? Did my spy die? Is my spy in you of them? My spy's in you of them. Cool. You stay there. You might open the gates for us next turn. All right, Lovis is doing well. Nothing to note here. Okay, let's go ahead and end the turn. And I, that army went down here. Not a great plan. Okay, we're not able to open the gates with our spy. That's okay. Two units of warband here. Three units of warband outside the city. Easy win. You of them will be ours next turn. Numidia is getting dogpiled by the Romans. We have our boat for Batavadorum, and we've got some axemen. In Dam, we have our axemen. We're going to go pit them against some uh, naked fanatics to see how they do, just for fun. Over here at Wikuskoti, yeah, unfortunately, it's going to take a while for us to hit the next level of city. I'm going to go ahead and drop the population, uh, or the, drop the tax rate down to low just for a few turns since our economy is doing well get a six percent population growth rate it'll speed up the rate at which we hit 2000 so that's good duras oh duras i love duras but duras is coming to take lovasis back so that's not great we might have to send some reinforcements <laughs> uh yeah we will probably next turn once we take you Send our army back to try and save Lovosis. Dodona Sobana has married Ludwiga. Congratulations. That's very exciting. In Batavadorum. Um, hmm. What do you want to do? Because you could go... You could go help Lovosis. You're only two turns away. Get some reinforcements. That's kind of fun. Yeah, no point of you to hang out in Batavadorum for the rest of your life. All right. So, this guy... Um, is this the whole army? Yes, this is the whole army. So, you guys can meet up here, actually. Go up here. Meet here. Reinforcements. And next turn, we can... Or in two turns, we can get on the boats. Beautiful. This guy, go to Alessia, reinforcements, go to Alessia. Yeah, this is kind of grim, to be honest. But okay, it's fine. We're going to put together a little army here to march south. It'll take a few turns, but we'll get it done. Damn, we have a blacksmith. Stables, yeah. We're going to Yakum. Meeting hall, we'll go for blacksmith. That's good.
And to turn report, we profited 2,500 denarii. As always, we are very profitable. Good stuff. And I don't think there's anything else we can do this turn. I'm worried about Lobosis for sure. I hope Duras is not aggressive, but he has no reason not to be. So yeah, let's see what he does. Will he besiege us immediately? No. Interesting choice. I personally would have, but I'm not playing as Dacia right now, so uh, I guess that's not my choice. All right. Ooh, Otheldis. We have a new general who's axe bitten. Plus one morale, plus one attack when, uh, uh, plus one command when attacking. That's a great trait to have. Lively, plus one management, plus movement points. That's good as well. That's a good guy. Um, do you want to join the invasion of Britain? I think you'd be perfect for it. So go on up there. He'll add one more turn to our plans, but that's okay. This guy. All right, I want to test my Axeman against Naked Fanatics. It says it's even, one-to-one. -one. We will see. All right, we don't want to fight in the forest, right? We don't have a combat bonus in woods. We do have a combat bonus in woods. I wonder if they do as well, though. Let me find them. Uh, wait, let me pause. Do you have a combat bonus in woods? Oh, it doesn't tell me. Maybe I have to be closer to them. Okay. Well, let's just run in this direction and we will see. At some point we'll be close enough to check. Maybe we can, we can see their numbers. There we go. Combat bonus in woods. So no point in having a fight in the woods just because we have a combat bonus. Uh, we're winded, so let's hold off for now. We want to rest. Let's get back to fresh. They're using Warcry, which means that in like 20 seconds is a perfect time for us to use Warcry and charge at them <laughs> because now they can't use their Warcry. So they don't get the plus 10 attack. Uh, we do, so we should rip through them pretty easily. They're honestly faring well. So I would say Naked Fanatics are a little bit better than Axemen. But we got a better charge. We got Warcry. So we won the battle. Yeah, we're not going to be able to catch him, but that was a nice victory. That was fun. It's kind of a, a pretty color combination. Go ahead and end the battle. Average victory. Good job, Captain Eric. How exciting. All right, bud, go back to Dam. That was fun. Got rid of some rebels. Reinforcements are two turns away from Lovasis. I'm shocked that they didn't just attack us after that turn. <laughs> I don't know what they're doing with their life. Alessia, we have our blacksmith completed. We'll go straight for a market. We're just buying everything because we got lots of money right now. Numidia is getting dogpiled, man. End of turn report. Only profit of 260. That's all right. That's still profit. All right, again, we lost the mic for a second. Had a little disconnect. Can you hear me? <laughs> Sorry, guys. Okay, we're good. Um, let me make sure I can hear the game still, because sometimes that's an issue. Sounding kind of quiet. All right, I think I might have to restart the game. So it will take me like 30 seconds. I'm going to save so we don't lose any progress. Just a moment. Um, yeah, you guys might be able to hear the game, but I can't. So I just need, yeah, 30 seconds to restart. 
one second. I won't turn off the stream though. Just just one sec. All right, we are back. Thank you so much for your patience. Yeah, that's the, the problem with my recording setup. We lose the uh, cord to the mic quite often, but with time I will change it and it won't be an issue anymore. Let's get our timer back running. All right, where were we? So. Anything else we can do this turn? That is the question. Checking all my cities. Most places are building something or can't build anything else. And this place still has less than 700 population. That's crazy. What is Dam at? 2,900. We could bring over some population. I'm going to train two units of peasants and one unit of peasants at the Tavadorum, and we'll just disband them inside Bordesholm. Because we need to get that up to a large town. This is taking way too long. Okay, this is what we're going to do. We're going to attack Yuvavum. All right, gates are open for us. That's nice. Captain Tincomius is inside with just Warband. We have a ton of Illyrians. This should be nice and easy. Let's go ahead and fight it out. Hey, James. Thanks for stopping by. And thank you for the kind comments, always. Really appreciated. All right. Let's see if anyone draws up near the gate. They did. Beautiful. Stand right there. Don't worry, guys. You're very safe. Come back. Yeah. They were shy, unfortunately. All right. Let's get inside the city. Don't want skirmish on. We want to stand and throw all of our missiles. Let's get our general inside the city, get our Pasterni inside the city. All right. Illyrians, move up. Why can we not just walk through here? Why are we that scared of stepping on the, on the grass? You're like concerned about the gardeners. Why is the pathing so weird for these cities? Like. How are you supposed to get to the city center? Is it through this and around here? Like, what? Doesn't make any sense. Get the general over here as well. Got to keep track of where he's going. Okay. All right. Bring up our Basterni as well. And let's bring in the Illyrians like one at a time. So bring these Illyrians up. Slow us down to double game speed.
right, they're gonna throw some javelins. Run. They they broke? Huh? All right, guys, throw all your javelins in. You have a nice, easy shot at this warband. There we go. Brutal. I'm going to rally troops, see if I can get this unit to reform. That was a crazy way to break. I do not understand the logic there. They lost like two soldiers and they broke. Like, I get you guys are mercenaries. You're just doing this for money, but I mean, really? That easy? All right. Let's have everyone throw their missiles in over here. Beautiful. Unit broke. You're down to 29. Let's drop right here. And we might have the Basterni do the actual fighting for the city center. Yeah, the, the general is very bravely charging off with three in his unit. You got this, buddy. <laughs> good stuff, good stuff. All right, everyone. Basterni can hang out right here. Get some more javelins in. Battle's over, let's end it. I don't need to fight it out for my ego. Beautiful. Easy victory. We will enslave Yuvavum. And let's see, we got a 1% bonus to population growth rate here. Lovasis is up to 1% as well. Gontiakum is up to 1% as well. This is why you enslave over and over. Whoever the commenter was like 15 parts ago, who was like, why are you not enslaving all these cities in Gaul as you expand in the Spanish campaign? Thank you so much, because I looked into it and enslaving has changed my life. Just stacking those population growth bonuses is the reason we have such a thriving economy right now. So this is great. All right, let's bring the spy. Hmm. Do we want to attack Gaul next? Or do we want to pick up this city? Um, maybe let's go over here. We might pick up a Quincum just to take some pressure off of Lovasis because Duras is hanging out here. Yeah, I don't want to go fight the Gauls. They're, they're going to be tougher than I'm ready for. So let's combine these Illyrians, get a nice strong army here. We'll leave behind this weakened Illyrian and this weakened Sarmatian. And again, same situation with Yuvavum as we had at Lovasis, which is that we're leaving it basically undefended. And if someone comes to attack it, they'll probably get it. But that doesn't really cost me anything. It took me two turns to take it. So I think it's better to just pick up more cities, just expand through this whole area, and we'll pick up whatever we lose later. All right. Quincum is our target next turn. Hopefully that redirects Duras. Let's go ahead and end the turn. Britannia wants a ceasefire. I will take a ceasefire. I'm not going to hit escape this time. If we do trade rights, you give me like 2,000. No, 4,000 denarii. How about that? Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, cool. Thanks, guys. Uh, now we get to know how much we would make in trade between Batavadorum and Londinium. Uh, let's see. Oh, I just changed the capital. Oops, I will have to fix that. <laughs> Londinium, 121. Good to know. So when I take Londinium, that's how much I will make. Okay, I have to remember what was my capital before. <laughs> I guess it's a good time to change my capital anyways, but I think my most central city is probably Mogontiakum. Let's make that our capital. And then uh, we will see. This is how you check for what would be your best capital. So... The location of your capital uh, determines the amount that you're going to lose from corruption in your different cities. So we have a certain amount that we're losing in corruption. Here, 163 in Vicus Gotti. Closer you are to your capital, the less you'll lose in corruption. Um, so you want your capital to be as close as possible to the largest number of people in your empire. So it's not the geographical center of your empire, it's the like population center of your empire. So Mogontiakum is our capital currently. And if you look at our corruption and other 
total, it's at 1785. Now, if you want to try out Trier, see if that's a better option, switch it over, go back to financial, goes up to 1829. So that is a worse option than Mogontiacum. So now we know Mogontiacum is our best capital, most central for our population at this time. So there you go. If you didn't know that, now you know. And let's make sure we didn't screw up the public order situation anywhere. I don't think so. I think that's what was our capital before. Chuck, I, you cannot prove that I ever said that. <laughs> Enslaving has changed my life. That's, that's good stuff. Rome, I feel like there's so many things I, I talk about where my wife will be in the other room and I'll be like, I feel like I need to close the door right now. She's going to think I'm a bad person. This is, this is weird to talk about in these videos. <laughs> Okay, Batavadorum. Ah, uh, what do we want to buy here? Communal farming? Yeah, our population stinks here. We'll go for communal farming. And yeah, that's that's good for now. End of turn report. Ooh, we made 8,000 denarii that turn. Thank you, Britain. I really enjoyed that ceasefire. It's going to last for like three turns, but... It's going to be a great three turns for you guys. Oh, okay. Man, what is with these rebels? They're everywhere. Leave me alone. Do I want to fight this? I guess I should. I'm not going to have a better army for fighting this rebel army anytime soon. We've got a great general, a lot of command stars. We have a good amount of spear war band. All right, I'm going to try it. And they don't have any missile troops. So if I can just have a good line of spearmen we should be safe enough okay luckily it was one of those ambushes where you know they don't like start on either side of you and you have no time to prepare it was like a normal ambush i'm not misremembering that that's a thing right where they like you're walking through a column and they start on either side and you can't prepare it's not just historical battles right okay so the best one will be the front line like this and then we will have the side ones like this uh, no not quite like that like that and then like that and then some barbarian mercenaries can guard the flank and we'll have some skirmishers back here screeching women here for the morale have them go ahead and start screeching then war dogs. War dogs are a fun little way to screw over your enemy because you don't take any casualties and you just mess with their morale. Hmm. Yeah, get excited. I love just having uh, like a hype squad. Like they're better than druids, even though they don't provide morale. They're just, they're just fun. They're screaming. They're excited. It's a good energy, you know. All right. Um. Yeah. I guess my my strike cavalry will be over here. And let's start the battle. All right, how do you guys want to do this? So naked fanatics on the flank over here, warband and peasants over here. Yeah, this is not a scary army. I might have slightly overprepared for this. Uh, we'll release the dogs on these naked fanatics. I think that's a good use of them. Because the naked fanatics obviously don't have a lot of armor. So I feel like warhounds do well against that. All right. Retreat. These guys. Let's let's slow this down. I don't want to like make a mistake. Warhounds go all the way back here. And this naked fanatics unit is down to 112 already. This unit has broken already. Let's release the warhounds on these uh, war band over here. Peasants have broken over here. Yeah, this is not going well for the enemy. These guys have almost killed all of the dogs on this flank, but it's occupied them enough that the rest of the army's in shambles, so. Not a good start for the enemy. These warband will break now that the dogs are getting involved. Yep, and the dogs will chase them all the way to the ends of this earth. So, not good for them. Let's get our cavalry out here. They can start killing people as well. And I can speed this up now. Yeah, this rebel general's shaken, dead, beautiful. We'll kill these guys, battle over. 
get some kills. And uh, yeah, we'll just hunt down this warband and end the battle. Great, done. Easy. Didn't really want to fight this battle. I just wanted to get through them. We lost some warhounds, but I think they'll heal. And we lost some barbarian cavalry mercenaries, but that's okay. Okay. Uh, wow, we actually did lose real warhounds. I thought we would only lose like the dogs, but I think one of the units went and got themselves broken. So we lost some warhounds, but that's okay. This is a pretty scary army. Let's get them on this ship. And then Londinium will be ours. I just hope we don't get caught by a rebel navy. That would really stink, but I don't think that's going to happen. We might build one more ship just in case. Alessia can retrain all this stuff. I think we just got a blacksmith here. Yeah, so just get everyone a little bit tougher. That's helpful. General. Two turns from a Quincum, and Duraz has left the building. Don't know where he is. The Quincum will be ours, and you of them, no one's trying to attack that. Ooh, okay. Dodonis has been ambushed and I, this is not one we can flee from so i think this is one of the ones where you're like encircled like i was just talking about we'll see we can't win this i don't think but we're sure gonna try we've got a good general here we got a lot of heavy cavalry so if we're smart with it we might be able to do this yeah it's just a start battle situation okay get out of here just run forward they're on either side of us Let's see if we can do it. Are they going to catch him? Oh, this is not good. Okay, peasants are over here. Let's let's slow this down. What am I doing? Okay. We can break the peasants, that's for sure. Maybe the barbarian, barbarian mercenaries will reform, but... We at least got the peasants. Can we, like, flee this battle? Maybe. <laughs> uh, they're just chasing my fleeing mercenaries, so that's cool. We will charge into the back of these warband. Level out. Charge into the back of this warband. And we're going to use rally troops to keep our general safe. See if we can just get a little charge in here. No, they're not going to do it. Get out of there. Flee. If we can leave this battle, I will be happy. We're not winning it, so may as well just get away in one piece. All right, good stuff. Defeated, but survived the battle. I'm happy with that. All right, everyone. Now, this is a marathon, not a sprint. So, oh, wait a second. Do you see what I see, Scythian mercenaries? Okay, anyway, this is a marathon, not a sprint, so I need to take a short break, just like 10 more minutes. Getting a sore back. So I just want to take a break. Don't want to lose energy, but I'll be right back. I'm going to drop a save. Um, and I'm going to put the video on like, uh, like a, I'll be right back screen. So you can check in every few minutes and when that's gone, you'll know I'm back, but thank you so much for uh, watching. I hope you stick around. If not, I'll be streaming all day so you can come back later. Um, so hit the subscribe button, but yeah, I'll be back in just a minute.
Hello, I'm back. Thank you for your patience. Had to take a quick break there. This is, you know, a bit tiring. We're like many hours into this, but I want to keep going with full energy. So I took a short break. Let me get the counter running again so we can keep track of how long this has taken. All right. We're in business. Where were we? So we just found Scythian mercenaries. Can you believe it? I don't know why Scythian mercenaries are up here. I guess this is like a Scythian area, but Scythian mercenaries changed the game. Uh, that I need to take very careful care of them and use them a lot. I think would this army be good for dealing with Dacia? or going south to Italy. I think probably Italy. I don't know. It's only one unit of Scythians though. I'm gonna send them south and they'll reunite with Sisythesis and the Basterni army. And then we'll send that either into Dacia and pick up some more Dacian land or into Italy and start picking up uh, Batavia Medellanium. All right, let's see anything else we want to do this turn anything else we can do this turn i don't think so we're good here i love that we've just been riding the the red line of 70 percent public order in that city forever let's see i think we're good to go let's end this turn all right mr spy okay Again, we're attacked to Sam Robu, but dang, I did not think they would get there so fast. Where are all these armies coming from? Oh, Ariogysis the Conqueror. I love when they become conquerors. So scary. Famously courageous, plus three morale, plus one morale there. Jeez, this guy's good. Plus six influence from conquering hero. Wow, okay. Now, we have a mercenary we can buy here, which is good for... We're going to send that up to Bordesholm for population. Or should we keep it in this army? We might need it for fighting the British. Hmm. Yeah, we're going to hold on to it. Let's... I wonder if... Yeah, I think just marching over land is faster than taking the boat down here. All right, we have... I think we'll have time to rescue Samuro Riva. Kill these two armies, and then we'll pick them up with this fleet, jump across, and attack Londinium. So, Samrobriva and Lovosish is besieged as well. Okay. And Aquincum is under attack by Kodoso. So the Dacians are really moving out in force. Good thing we just got those Scythian horse archers. That'll be really useful. Let's send this guy up north instead of attacking Aquincum to go relieve Lovosis. And we have more mercenaries, Illyrians, Basturni, Sarmatians, and Barbarian mercenaries. It's so nice having just a strong economy because I can just do this and I'm still going to profit this turn. That's great. Got some construction completed at Dam. We have stables. Well, do we want a market? I don't know. Will that really make us money? Not really. We're going to hold off on a market for now. We don't need that at Dam. Mugontiakum. We got a blacksmith. What do we want? Practice range? Probably practice range. Yeah. Just because we could get attacked here fairly soon. I feel like we might want one more unit here. We might get a Spear War Band. Just because I feel the presence of enemies nearby. You have a we got a land clearance. We'll go for a trader for that extra half a percent population growth rate. Why not? End of turn report, we made 1600 denarii last turn. That's good. And more boats at Batavadorum. We'll get one more boat. I just, I want to be able to withstand a single battle without losing one of my ships. Like this fleet, I think has the large boats, which are really effective against standard boats. So I don't want to lose my army when it's on a fleet. I want to be able to actually use that fleet. So, okay. Now, Alessia, we have an army here that could march south. Let's take a look at how strong it is. 
It's not bad. Let's march south. I think this is where the city is. Between these mountains. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll see. But I'm going to build another Axeman here at Alessia. I could grab this general and use him as well, but I think we'll just leave Rick Burgess here and have Vanius stay in Lebanon. Are there any barbarian mercenaries we can buy at Lebanon? Nope. Okay. You have um, anything we want to do here? No, we're all right. We'll bring up the tax rate a little bit. Why not? Doesn't hurt. And anything we can do. This guy, Dodonis of Bana. You, yeah, go south. I don't think you need to fight this rebel. I mean, you could just to get the Scythians trained up. We'll do that. Any chance the Scythian can just step out? No. We'll get some experience for the Scythian mercenaries killing this rebel army. And then we will march south, hopefully deal a fatal blow to the Dacians. As much as I don't want to go into this land, I'm allied with the Scythians. And the Dacians only have a Quincum, Campus Yazigis, and Poralism. So I feel like if I knock them out of the game, at least I will have one less enemy. It'll kind of overextend us, but I don't know. That kind of works for me. And then I can pick up Salona, Segestica. That, that, that seems okay. I mean, it does put us in the region of Macedonia. In the Greek cities, which is not great, but we'll see. We'll just let this play out normally. Yeah, we are again at war with Britain. We're always at war with Britain. But, I mean, every time we make peace with them, they give us 4,000 denarii. So I'm okay with that. Go ahead and end the turn. Got a new general we can marry into the family. He's sharp. He's a confident commander. And he's 16. 100%. Where is he? Mugon Tiakum. Where do we want him? We could send him down to Yuvavum. That's not a bad idea. Uh, let's... Yeah, let's just send him down to Yuvavum. Just in case we get attacked there. Pick up another Illyrian at Lovosis, And we can chase off this army. We'll catch them next turn. We just want to make sure we kill them. Make sure they don't come back and besiege Lovosis again. The Donus of Bona can attack this rebel army, and we're going to try and get some experience for our Scythian mercenaries here. Thank you, Crazy Burb. Sorry I keep taking breaks, but yeah, I want to make sure I have longevity here. Thanks for sticking around. All right. So, Scythians... They took the high ground, which is intelligent, but they're not going to be able to catch us because they don't have any ranged troops. So we're going to get to fire 100% of our arrows. I'm going to speed this up, do a Cantabrian circle, and just get as much experience as possible here. Just fire off all your arrows, kill the naked fanatics. Down to 140. Down to 139. Yeah, it's taken a little while, but it's good to kill these guys. They can actually be pretty tough. I'm tempted to save some ammo for the warband as well. Let's turn off Cantabrian Circle, turn off Fire at Will. Just go over here. Uh, over here. Ah. Uh, Oh, get out of there. No, we lost two Scythians. Bad. Okay, new plan. We need to heal those Scythians. So, we need to lose some Barbarian Mercenaries. <laughs> so, I'm going to send some Barbarian Mercenaries to die. Because you heal a percentage of your troops. And, uh... No, don't, don't flee. You heal a percentage of your troops. And so, let's say that's like 2%. If you only lose two Scythians, you're not going to heal them. But if you lose two Scythians and then you lose 100 Barbarian Mercenaries... Then you'll heal your Scythians because you heal a percentage of your troops and you heal your first troops first. So, gotta lose some some soldiers here because <laughs> these guys are worth nothing to me and Scythians are worth everything. So, 
Yeah, go get them, guys. Good job. We're going to let these Scythians get some kills on these naked fanatics. And then I'm just going to send in the mercenaries against this war band. And hopefully they all die. <laughs> Unconventional way to heal my Scythians, but that's what we're doing. All right. I'm going to let the Scythians go get some kills on this war band. Hopefully we heal them. I bet we will though. And we're gonna attack again with this war with this barbarian mercenaries. No, we can't lose anymore. Unfortunate. <laughs> Don't want to lose any barbarian cavalry mercenaries. They're actually worth having. If we end up losing two Scythians, it's not the end of the world. It would just be nice if we didn't. Love the sounds they make. They're so funny. Ooh, ah ah, ooh, ooh. Oh, move march that's what they're saying move march march all right almost used all of our ammo we didn't get any experience unfortunately i'll send in the barbarian mercenaries here get them united we'll use war cry so we can actually win this stop breaking that was a joke didn't want you to actually break over and over again not actually gonna kill you guys well yes i am but don't don't worry about it. War cry, go charge in. Yeah. Scythians, stand behind them. Do not charge. When they break, then you can get some kills. Okay. There we go. Run, you get some kills. See if we can get them experience now that the unit has broken. Please, any chance of experience? No, I don't think so. That's okay. All right, let's see. Did they heal? They healed. See, it worked. We also healed 30 barbarian mercenaries, so maybe we didn't have to go that hard, but I was making sure I did not lose those Scythians. There we go. 108 Scythians. Good stuff. Okay. Keep marching south. We will combine these barbarian mercenaries. And next turn, Captain Eon is dying. For sure. Kodoso has a pretty big army. It's not that good. Mostly warband. But that's a lot of troops. That's like 2,500 troops. So we have to be somewhat careful of the Dacians. We don't want to underestimate them. Alright. Marriage celebrations. Virtuous of Argentorate and Bayua. What a name. Oh, another... 16 year old getting married congratulations uh oh no this is the guy that i married into the family bayua was the one who was already in the family so that is why there was a marriage congratulations to them famous warrior for dodonis of bana very good this guy's getting he's okay not as good as uh Cessethatius, but pretty good Sisythatius has a famous warrior already, right? Yeah. Good stuff. And finally, Julia are at war with Spain. So I'm guessing, based on my experience in the Spanish campaign, the Julia just landed here and are besieging Oscar. Yep, it's under siege. So that is problematic because I wanted Spain to finish off the Gauls and I didn't want to have to deal with the Romans just yet. I don't want them expanding, but they are. So I'm, I think that tells us that after the Dacians, we really need to focus on the Romans. I don't know. Is it even worth chasing down the Dacians over some dinky little settlements? It might be smart to just go straight for the Romans. Yeah, I think we're going to have to go straight for the Romans. We'll, we'll kind of converge on them from all sides. So we'll, we'll let this guy, I'll bring him south. This is Lugdunum. I couldn't remember where Lugdunum was. Hopefully this is enough of an army to take Lugdunum. It might not be. We'll bring some more infantry down. But this guy will take Lugdunum, take Massilia. From here, we will bring the armies down from Lovashis, our new Scythians. Converge on the Gallic cities, Batavium and Medilanium. And then we can start taking out the Julii. Yeah, that, that works for me. All right, Alessia, market. Not building a tavern, sorry. 
We're going to leave that. We don't want to build any more troops there just because we need to get to a minor city. And unfortunately, we lost 3,761 denarii that turn. Yeah, we, we're spending so much on recruitment, construction. We are, we're just having fun. All right. For some reason, no one who besieges me has been building any siege equipment. So Bolgios of Brokovum could have attacked next turn, but he now just can't because he didn't build siege equipment. So reinforcements are here, so he's going to die. I don't know. I don't really understand it, but I like that. Thanks, dude. Okay, any mercenaries here? No. Fun. All right. Man, I am a little worried about the Dacians, though. <laughs> Like this, uh, this army is kind of scary, but all right. Um, there's nothing else I can think of for this turn. Tavadorum, how's our population here? Yeah, it's kind of small. I keep building boats. Uh, we were going to bring some people over from Batavadorum and Dam to Bordesholm. Yeah, I'll bring the, at least the ones from Dam up to Bordesholm. Disband them. That's nice. 1461. Nearly at the next uh, you know, large town. Yeah. These guys, can we deal without them? Yeah, we'll send them over as well. May as well. We want all of our cities to be growing. Do we need a market here? No, not yet. All right. Let's go ahead and end this turn. And our unit of Axemen has been intercepted by some stuff it cannot handle. So withdraw. Yeah, they got away, luckily. But does that mean... Oh no, Lugdunum's still pretty well defended. We might have to go kill these guys this turn. All right. Hmm. Almost five hours into this campaign. 13 regions. Honestly, that's not a horrible pace. That sounds like a horrible pace, but I don't think it is. Do we want to... I think we got to just take these armies apart in little chunks as we reach them. So, mercenary captain, plus one command. Great. I love just buying plus one command for like 800 bucks. That's a steal. Tabadorum, communal farming. Let's go for... Hmm. Practice range. I'm so excited to have minor cities. That, this is a, a drag as Germania. You never get to a minor city. You get a lot of large towns, but I don't have one minor city. By this point in the Dacia campaign, I think I already was training Chosen Archer Warband and Chosen Swordsman, but... Nope, not in a German campaign. These settlements are tiny and their growth rates are bad because the farming output's bad, but... We're compensating. All right. Profited 4,360. We're doing great economically. Good stuff. Let's attack Captain Castikos. Okay, cannot reach. We could attack with this army, but let's not. Um, can you reach? No, you can't reach Rick Burgess. Let's go back to Alessia with this army, with this unit. And next turn, we'll attack this little Gallic army. Deal with them. Up here. We want to attack Bolgios of Brokavum. Brokavum. Yes, we do. Why would you take that battle? You have no chance. Let's see how this guy is. He's a good commander. Yeah, yeah, he's fine. 24 years old, too young to die, but I do not listen, unfortunately. All right. Yeah, you're, you're going up against Ariogaisis the Conqueror. Ten stars of command... The best army we've fielded so far. Nah. Not a chance, bud. Alright, we have our front line of Spear Warband. And we'll slightly angle this one. We'll stitch together the lines like this. Like that. And we'll slightly angle this one. Then on the flanks, we have naked fanatics who can kind of run out and do some shock troop stuff. So let's kind of 
do that. And then on this side, we'll use some mercenaries to guard this flank. And yeah, we'll double stack it just in case we have any issues over here. Screeching women we'll have here for the morale disadvantage to the enemy. Actually, we want them closer, probably like there. And then we will have warhounds over here to help out with the shock troops. Yeah, just two units of warhounds. No, I'm tempted to have even more naked fanatics over here. But no, let's keep it somewhat balanced. We've got our general who will be relatively close, but let's first place our skirmisher warbands. That's good. General right there. Other general on this side in case we need help. Start the battle. Fresh warriors have arrived. Okay. It is the time to send them to kill the enemy. Will they attack us? That's the question. Speed this up a little bit. Give them a chance to. Uh, do they have any? I forget. No, they don't think they have any. They have some head hurlers, but no long range missiles. That's intimidating. Hmm. Let's move. Ooh, this is a hard group to move up, but move up like that. That's fine. Move up a little more. Head hurlers are moving up. Let's get the dogs and release them on the head hurlers. Head hurlers broke. And it'll hunt them all down. So that's a great use of dogs. Free unit, no casualties. They're fleeing the battle. Fine, yeah. Um, we'll send some cavalry out just to smash into the fleeing units. Just see if we can get some more kills. Yeah, attack the mm, barbarian mercenaries. They'll break faster. All right, they broke. Warband over here. Just get as many kills as possible. All right, we're not going to catch them. And the battle took no casualties. So great. Okay, and they. I think that's. That's not even this army. Where do they go? I hate that I never see where they go after they flee. They might have gone into this forest. I really need more watchtowers. Maybe onto the ship. Yep, that's where they went. Bogios of Brokovum. The coward. Could I reach that boat? I probably could. I might lose this boat though. No, I couldn't reach him. It's okay. I don't mind losing this boat. Did they flee onto the ship as well? Yes, they did. All right, if I could sink this ship, that'd be awesome, but I think I have rid my homeland of the British, finally. And if this boat survives one turn, we could potentially land at Londinium next turn. So that's kind of exciting. Now, I could disband these barbarian mercenaries and just upgrade Samarobra. I think I'm going to do that. I know I need troops, but... Barbarian mercenaries are genuinely so useless. I would rather have a unit of spear warband. I'll send it over with Ariogasis, the Conqueror, next turn. So, yeah, I think that's better. Everyone's at war with Spain. Everyone's at war with Numidia. Yeah. Not good. Let's go, Bessie. Welcome. All right. Uh, just a recap of where we're at. We have 13 regions controlled. We're five hours in. We're on pace for like a 24 hour live stream. Uh, hopefully that speeds up a little bit because I don't know if I could do 24 hours, but we are going to do our best. I will not quit until I have achieved my goal. All right, go down to U of them, get some barbarian mercenaries. I'm going to go ahead and just disband them for the population. That brings us up from 600 something to 1135 and 40th of Argentorate can hang out in U of them. That's great. All right, now let's get some more target practice for our Scythians. We can kill Captain Eon. Why do these people take these fights? Like, you really think you're going to win this? I guess you must, but you're not. I, 
All right. I love the little buildings. So cute. Looks like a nice place. You know, in California, this would be like $2.3 million. All right. Uh, where is the army? There we go. I'm excited for the like delusional part of the stream where I'm exhausted and hallucinating things. All right, let's shoot some folks in. I'm not even going to do containment circle. No need. All right, skirmish, run. They're retreating already. <laughs> Cowards. Yeah, just, just stay on them. All right, we'll get them next time. Killed 29 of them. No experience for us, unfortunately. All right. Again, where do they go? Right? Like, how am I supposed to keep track of these guys? Let's drop a watchtower right here. There they are. Captain Ion. I might chase you down next turn. I can't even reach you next turn. I could reach you this turn with this army, though. Oh, yeah. you're. Oh, no, I can't reach you. It's a shame. Okay. I wonder if they're going to come attack us next now that they've taken a Gwyngum. Hmm. How good is a spy? Not that good. Subterfuge genius? I beg to differ. I want to check on the state of their um, cities. I want to see if poor Alyssum is like a minor city or anything. All right. Anything else we can do this turn? I think the answer is no. But I'm going to double check this guy. There. Go ahead and disband and board us home. We'll bring down the tax rate a little bit. We are probably one turn away from hitting the next level of city. So I'm going to go down to low tax rate. Just to, actually, I can probably calculate whether that's even necessary. 1% of 2,000 would be 20. So 2% would be 40. And that's all we need. So we can go to normal tax rate. I'm going to be real embarrassed if that math was wrong, but I'm pretty sure about that. I didn't know that, Bessie. Because honestly, taverns are horrendous in Rome standard. Like, the 2004 Rome, taverns are just horrible and I'll never build one again. I wish there was some benefit that I could not ignore and would give me a reason to buy them. So, yeah, I know. Rome Remastered. Everyone wants me to try it. All right, Greeks. We've got trade rights. Let's get map information. Beautiful. They're doing okay. It looks like they have Corinth, Thurman, and Syra. They don't have... Sp oh, Sparta's their capital. Pergamum Rhodes. Yeah, they're doing well. Um, I don't know if we need uh, anything else out of them. We got map information. That's cool. Good stuff. New general, good commander, plus two command. He's 16. Rick Bolda of Albus is a good name. I'll take him. Rick Bolda and Almo Berga. <laughs> As a German, I cannot I cannot stand by these names. I'm not proud of this. All right. Now, let's attack this ship. Okay, they're going out that way. What we're going to do is we're going to grab two boats and we're going to go chase them. And this army is going to invade Londinium. And is there any way I can get one more unit across? Oh, Rigbolda is over here. Let's get Rigbolda over there. So Rigbolda, you're going to join Ariogaisis the Conqueror. You guys are going to go conquer Londinium. Oh yeah, easy peasy. Let's try to find that fleet. There they are. I want to sink this fleet so badly. Big army, faction leader, and a family member. That would be so nice, but we'll see. I don't really know if that's possible. Let's um, blockade the port of Lindinium. I forgot what that was called for a second. Congrats for the wedding. 
Macedon is at war with all of the Roman factions. Brutii and Thrace are allied. So my guess is that the Brutii are pushing into audio glitch. We're good though. Okay, construction report. Practice range, Magontiacum, stockade. Gotta have it. Board us home. I did the math correct. Warlords hold. Yay. Now I can break up the tax rate. A little bit. Yep, that's good. And finally, it's a large town. I probably have like one more town up here. Yeah, one more town here. That's almost the next level. Keep it at low tax rate. Weakless Marcomani's a couple turns away. We'll bring that down to low tax rate as well. I hope this rebel army doesn't try to attack Weakless Marcomani. Yeah, I could go hunt them down, but we'll see. May not need to. All right, we profited 331 denarii that turn. Profit's a profit. I'm happy with that. What do we want to do now? Okay, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to have Dodonna Sabana, Scythian mercenaries, Barbarian cavalry mercenaries. Go down here. Join up with Sassithicus's Sarmatian mercenaries. Say that five times fast. And they are going to go do some stuff. What are they going to do? Not sure. Hmm. Campus Yazigis. Metzina's here. Metzina. My man. Let's see if he's as good as he was in my campaign. Not quite. He's good, though. Let's check on Poralissum and Compass Yazugis has a population of 2530, so they're not doing that well with their economy. I don't know what to do with the Scythian Sarmatian army. My heart tells me Italy, but this is not enough of an army to go to Italy. So, I don't know. Maybe we'll just deal with the Dacians first. Captain Ion, we're going to kill you real quick. Red Bull number two has been opened. All right. Let's get some high ground. We've got a lot of missile troops. Line them up here. And then we're going to get our Basterni as like a front line here. Let's continue seizing the high ground. Where are they? Oh no, they're on they're on the highest ground. Smarties. We will uh get our melee troops over here, our missile troops over here as well. Alright, let's pull this back a little bit. We want to just skirmish with them. So Falksman, Warband, Warband. No missile troops. Illyrians will eat them up. Yeah, I would I would love to see the well, I, I should really play remastered. That sounds fun. More traits. Academies are kind of useless in the base game. For some reason my computer has no issues running this game. It's not even like an old computer. I have a relatively new computer, but has no issues running this game at all. Runs it really well. It has issues recording, but there's just, you can't record the, the window of the game. You have to record your entire display. So I don't know why there's a drastic difference in performance. If you watch my Spain series, the first like 20 episodes where I was recording the window of Rome Total War and the quality was not very good. The frames per second were pretty bad, all that. And then I just switched over one day randomly to recording the entire display and it got drastically better. So there you go. All right, hang out here, throw your javelins. They're probably gonna waste a lot of javelins on these Volksmen, but that's kind of fun. Look at that. Ooh, brutal. 
All right, anyone else have a shot? Yep, got a shot on these Warband. Guard, we don't need to, we don't need to push in. Yeah, fire at this Warband, kill them. And then, yeah, this unit's broken. Then General's unit of Warband, they're gonna advance. I think they're, they're wanting to run. All right, everyone get in range. Throw your javelins in. And let's see how many javelins we get in here. It's going to be like a thousand javelins. Brutal. Ooh. Sorry, guys. Oh, they're, they're doing their war cry. They are confident. Let's get our Pasterni in here. They'll finish off the battle. Oh, battle complete. We will let our general finish off this warband. Throw some more javelins in here. I'm going to have the Illyrians run so they don't accidentally impale my general with a javelin. Just let him run down the rest of this unit of warband. And then we will end the battle. Bessie, I would. Um, I just need to know more about it because I don't want to mess up my device. Um, I have a lot of, you know, obviously I've got like a series that's on part 25. So if I were to screw up a save file or make it so I have to reinstall the game and I screw up my game, I would be very sad. I've put hundreds and hundreds of hours into these campaigns. So if I understood how to do mods, like I just need to do the research and see how to do it without screwing up your device. I just don't personally know, but I would like to try some mods. Um, yeah, that sounds, that sounds fun. <laughs> Are we over the border here? Yes, all right, let's go ahead and disband this guy. We're so close to leveling this city up. I'm gonna do this. I know this is kind of silly, but I wanna get this city upgrading and then we'll build the Spear War Band again. So we lost like 500 denarii, but it's worth it to get this city upgrading faster. Are Rome Total War mods like fairly easy to install? How does, how does that work? You don't have to give me like a tutorial. I can look it up, but if it's pretty easy, I'll look into it. All right, where did this army go? I'm guessing they're in this forest. I mean, they're not hiding very, very secretively. Uh, yeah, they're there. Okay. Do we want to attack them here? Yeah. Why, why are you so good at running? How are you? How do you have all this energy? Stay, stay still. I want to kill you. All right. Um, Lemonum. Can I please get a mercenary? No, I could not buy a mercenary my life depended on it they just they don't want to do it for me all right what mercenaries are here yeah we'll buy some barbarian mercenaries in londinium that's that's a sure bet okay i think we're good to end this turn it's been a long turn what are you doing oh yeah we haven't decided what to do with you um i feel like I don't know, I'm split between hanging out and guarding these cities. I think that's the approach. I'm gonna have this guy just guard like this river. Just in case the Dacians try to counterattack against Lovishus, I don't wanna lose these cities. So you're gonna hang out here with the Scythians and be a scout, and this guy's gonna go take Camp of Siazikis. Cool, go ahead and end the turn. All right. End of turn report, we gained 600 bucks. Cool. So Rapio of Albus has been born. Kind of a menacing name. I like that. Serapio. Sounds like a serpent. Samuro Breva has been upgraded to a large town. Let's get a port going here. It'll help a little bit with trade, but honestly, I just want a place to leave my ship. I hate having just only a port up here at Batavadorum. So port will be useful at Samuro Breva.
Good to know, Bessie. I'll look into it. Yeah, I, I, I'm i not, like, averse to trying things, you know? All right, please sink. Please sink. Cross your fingers, everybody. Oh, where did they go? I hate that it just, like, snaps. I'm guessing up. Yes, they went up. Okay. They're down to 19 health. Please sink. Please sink. I'm going to send this ship up in the same direction. Just in case we bat the ship back this direction, I want to be able to hit it back and forth. But yeah, I, I will look into some mods. I'll try that out sometime. Pretty sure the next few months I'm going to have a lot of time to make content, which is why I'm like starting to stream, made a Patreon. This is going to be more of an effort because we're having some life changes in my family. I think my wife's, if, if, if her job thing that she's doing right now goes well with the YouTuber out of state, then uh, I'm going to have a whole lot of time, a whole lot of money to work on just these YouTube videos. So that would be very nice. I'd be very excited to put some more effort into this because it's hard to, it's hard to commit more than like eight to 10 hours a week on this. When, you know, I've got, to be, I've got other responsibilities, so. Just a balance, but I enjoy doing it. All right. Can we catch Captain Casticos, the fast-footed Gaul? <laughs> I hate this guy so much. I hate you. Uh, I'm never going to be able to catch this guy. I'm just going to have to go attack Lugdunum and see if he shows up. All right. Londinium. Besiege it. Let's see what's in here. Drustan. He's okay. He's young. Warhounds. Head hurlers. Warband. Nothing. I wonder if there's just like not much in Britain. They've been sending these huge armies over like every turn. And they've got a huge army on this ship right now. How many more huge armies can they have? Like they have no economy. They don't trade with anybody. I don't know. Unfortunately, they have the superpower of very hard difficulty where the AI can just spawn armies, so... Yeah. Okay. I think we can make it to this bridge. Yep. Any mercenaries? Yeah, we'll take some Illyrians. That'd be helpful for guarding this bridge. And then we'll just hang out here. Dodonis of Bona. How are you? You're good. Cool. Yeah, I trust you to guard the bridge. You're the bridge troll. All right. Anything else? Anything else? I feel like I'm burning through these turns relatively quickly. This is so interesting for me. Uh, doing like hours and hours of this because normally my workflow is very much centered around like how do I get a really nice video out of like 45 minutes to an hour of content. And then you cut down like 15, 20 minutes of just, you know, I cut out a lot of stuff because when I'm recording, you know, there's like boring messages that you, you don't even open. Like you don't, I don't show you unit recruitment usually. Or like if I say something and I'm not happy with the way I delivered a line, I'll just cut it and say it again. But it's very interesting just having one take burn through this campaign. We've made so much progress in one sitting. This is kind of fun. Like, I don't know if... I'll do this often because I have a busy life, but this is fun. I am a fan of this. All right, let's see Poralism. 8,000 population. Okay, good. This is a minor city, I think. High King's Hall. So cool. If you want to buy some upgrades, that'd be great. You know, I'll be there in like 10 turns. <laughs> but yeah, Campus Yazagi's next turn, we will besiege that. Poralism, I'll set my, eyes, my sights on that. And. I don't know. Dacia might be on their way out. Hopefully the Thracians come to me with an alliance. They usually do in almost every campaign. So they might do that soon. But I love being allied with Thrace. I don't want to have to even think about it. All right. I'm praying for the ability to attack Captain Casticos next turn. <laughs> and sink this ship. It's on this turn. Thank you, Bessie. Yeah, I, I, I put a decent amount of effort into editing. 
So, yeah, I, I don't know. I, I just, I really like this game. And I think a lot of people don't try very hard to make these videos, which is fine. Like, it's a game. It's a hobby. But, but also, it's like, I don't know. I, I think there's something cool about this, this game and about videos to do with it. So, that's my little thing. But, all right. How much health is left? 11. <laughs> Oh my goodness. One more day. One more turn. We are going to sink you. Over here. Where is this? I hate this guy so much. Stop hiding. Do I like attack with something small first? I don't know. Okay, wait. That's kind of a good idea. I'm going to send in just a unit of cavalry to just die here. No, I wonder... If I like merge in, will he still flee? Yeah, he's still flat. Okay, screw you. I'm gonna go take look at him. <laughs> All right, give me like two minutes. Actually, I'm gonna take five to 10 minute break. Thanks for your patience, y'all. Just a sec, be right back. Uh, I'm gonna change the screen so you'll know when I come back because the screen will change back to the battle map. But yeah, thanks, just a sec. Okay, I am tentatively back. I may have to go again. Waiting a call from Mrs. TD Sniper, but she might not call for a while. So, 
we're going to play in the meantime. Let's go through our announcements. So, Trier besieged by Gaul. I did not expect that. That is totally out of the blue. Okay. Do we have anyone in the vicinity? Not really. Cool. Let's hear some skirmishers, probably some warband. I'm gonna send up some axemen. I'm gonna grab some cavalry. I'm going to Yakum, we're gonna get some axemen. And let's send down some spear warband. No more moves. Oh yeah. All right. I think we can defend Trier. Actually, we don't need to do that. We have 70% public order, we're good. Trier, what do we have in here? Just barbarian peasants. Oh. Come on. I'll be able to relieve them. No worries. Um, hmm. Instruction report. We're going to Yakum. Stockade. Stables. Good. Trier. Stockade. We will queue a meeting hall, but we can't even build anything while we're besieged. I just don't want to forget to queue something once we free the siege. Tavadorum. Got a practice range. We'll get a stockade as well. Actually, no. Let's go religious. We'll get Sacred Grove of Donar. Vicus Marcomani, we are upgraded to a large town, and hmm. Sacred Grove of Freya, the cat Star Lord, the cat from my previous video where I had a picture of my cat. He's scratching at the door. We're gonna see if he leaves it alone, but you might hear some scratching for a few minutes until he gets bored. If I let him in, he will be all over the mic, all over the keyboard. So that's not really an option, but you might hear some scratching for a few minutes. So my apologies. All right. Wikus Kothi, Warlords Hold. Amazing. I'm glad these cities are finally growing. Oh, I don't know if I have any more towns. Okay, I've got Lobosis. That's a town. Yuvavum, that's a town, but they will grow up. 1193 in this city, 514 in the city, yeah. Those are just our next projects, but it'll take a little while. They'll eventually grow up. Just a moment. All right. End of turn report, we profited 1,593 denarii. Good stuff. We have a crazy economy. All right. Okay. I'm getting you next turn, Admiral Brennus. He's got like a fleet of pirates chasing him. We are we are ending this once and for all. Okay. Oh, we could take Logdunum. I mean, uh, Lindinium right now. Right? I'm not, I'm not tripping. No, yeah, we can take it. Drustan, you're devout. You're religious, yeah. Trusty, you're hard to bribe, you're a good manager, and you have a priest. Cool. None of that's really going to help you here. I mean, I don't think I... Did I ever attack... I might have attacked the Britons, but they attacked me way more than I attacked them. They broke several ceasefires, so this is their fault. One thing about my videos that I, I, I've decided to do, but it's a shame, is that I don't ever include the speeches before battles. Because I don't want to lose the casual people who this is their first video and they're sitting through like a 30 second, 45 second speech. Uh, but on a live stream, you can kind of play it a little more. You got a little more freedom with that. All right, we've got four rams. We're not going to need four rams, but I may as well use them. Is there a good space? For a fourth ram, not really. I don't want to lose any soldiers to tower, so we're just going to go with the safe options. Let's use our skirmishers. We want to make sure we use all their ammunition. If the sound of my cat scratching is like really annoying, just leave a message in chat and I will go talk to him. But I'm assuming it's not that loud for you guys, so I'm just going to ignore it. Let's get the spear. Warbands, a little bit closer. We'll be using them a lot in this battle. Get our cavalry over here, start the battle. All right. 
Go ahead and knock down the front gate, knock down the walls. And let's get our skirmisher warbands right here. If they could get some shots on these warhounds, that would be an amazing use of missiles. I always talk about this, but for every handler you kill, you kill all four of their dogs. So if you kill the handlers with your missiles, you're getting really good value for your missiles. So, yep, very quickly, a lot of war dogs are dead. There we go. Nice, that's a, that's a good result. It's good to kill these warband as well. That's another tough unit. Honestly, between this and the war dogs, we're going to kill most of the army with no casualties. So, very good. All right. We've used most of our skirmishers' missiles. We'll hold on for a second. Okay. This unit's fired all of its missiles. We'll get them to safety. These guys, I wonder if they're going to get attacked by war dogs. All right, they are. So let's help out these guys with the other naked fanatics. Just kill the dogs. We're going to send our own dogs in to kill the enemy warlord. You, actually, you retreat. We do not want to get attacked by the general right now. So get the infantry back. We're going to let the war dogs kill the enemy general. Hopefully they're good at that. I don't remember how war dogs do against chariots. It's kind of a niche matchup. Thanks, Bessie. You never know. Like sometimes some sounds will be so loud on mic and some are just completely quiet. So I never really know. Okay, release the dogs and retreat. I'm just going to have them withdraw. That's the best way to do dogs. You just release and then withdraw from the battle. And that way they get to safety. Because otherwise your dogs want to like, your handlers want to hang around your dogs. Because, you know, they care about their puppies. But no, we do not want them to do that. We want them to get out of the city. They're actually doing good damage, the handlers. They're killing a few of the chariots. But yeah, these chariots are getting dogged on by these dogs. So I guess chariots do well against dogs. All right, sorry. I guess dogs do well against chariots. I never knew that, but uh, that's a new new trick. Um, some chariots are going out the front gate. I don't really understand the vision here. Maybe just trying to get away from the dogs. I don't know. All right. We don't want them to actually withdraw from the battle, though, so I'm going to have them just go over here. All right. How are the dogs doing? They're doing pretty well. Warlord's down to 26. Oh, enemy general routing. Nearly dead. Good stuff. Let's grab our... Hmm. I might use naked fanatics, honestly. Let's send in naked fanatics to deal with these warband. Because they just broke... I don't think we're gonna have any dogs left after yeah they're gonna get cut down by the chariots but we'll send in some naked fanatics to deal with the warband we'll get some good spear warband in here as well Come on, guys. Let's speed this up. All right. So we got Naked Fanatics, Spear Warband. Let's get a General in here. Yeah, they're just going to keep charging in and breaking. What's the General down to? Uh, eight. Yeah. And the dogs are still running around. All right. We've got our Spear Warband. Let's get them up here, and we'll have them drop down a Phalanx. Naked Fanatics, you don't need to push up. Just hang out. Hey, you guys... Drop your phalanx. We will grab... Okay, general there. What's on the city center? Warband, head hurlers. Okay. Hmm. Naked fanatics would do well. But let's get the spear militia up here first. 
Uh, we'll grab a few more units of, sorry, not Spear Militia. Not Spear Militia. Spear Warband, get in here. All right, once they're all in here, we will drop a little bit closer with the Phalanx. Gonna let everyone rest. Wanna be fresh. All right, everyone's fresh. Or up here. See if we can walk in here. Gonna get a general up here for moral support. Head hurlers are oh they're hurling heads. Yeah, they did a ton of damage, but stop, leave me alone. I hate head hurlers. Leave me alone. Alright, attack them. Don't let them do this to you. Oh my god. You're taking so much damage. Kill them. Okay. We're down to like 30. Can we, can we not have anything break this time, please? All right, I don't think anything's gonna break. We're just pushing through them. More casualties than I probably needed to take in this battle, but we got Londinium. This is a big deal. Clear victory, 355 casualties. I'm okay with that. I'm all right with that. Londinium's ours. Let's occupy Londinium in case we need to do any retraining here. We want some population. 3,400 population is beautiful. We'll retrain all the troops we brought. Grab another unit of Spear Warband. Yeah, that's good. And let's start working on communal farming. We're going to have to probably get rid of the Sacred Grove of Andrasta, but you never know which of these religious buildings can convert into other religious buildings. So we might be able to hold on to that. Um... Uh, Man, Londinium's ours. This is going quickly. 14 regions. I think Britain will fall pretty quickly now. Gaul is falling quickly. Dacia. We could just besiege Campus Yazigis, but I think we need to pick these guys apart. So let's attack this smaller army. It's just a war band. We'll kill them real quick. All right, we're going to fight in the snow, and we're just going to let our Illyrians do their thing. Illyrians, 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 Illyrians. Okay. Come on, guys, you got this. I don't I don't think they're going to win this against, you know, like 4,000 javelins, but we'll see. They're actually eating these fairly well. They've only lost like 30 troops. We've thrown like thousands of missiles, but... Okay, no, don't attack. Don't don't attack with your swords. All right, you guys who have used all your javelins, get out of here. Run away. The rest of you, throw your javelins. There we go. Why is their defense so good? Am I crazy? I guess it's because we're firing uphill. This isn't doing any damage. I feel like I've never seen a warband unit eat javelins like this. I'm sure the math on how many javelins they just ate is horrifying. Let's grab my Basterni and my General and we'll just finish this off. We done with javelins? Almost. 
honestly, we're going to keep these guys nearby. I like keeping a lot of troops nearby, especially missile troops, because they'll just uh, skirmish out of the way. But they will provide them like morale debuff of these guys being surrounded. So yeah, they are not going to feel good about this. They know they're outnumbered. They are surrounded. Let's get these Basterni to use War Cry and then chase them down. Got our general in here. Broken, done, easy. He lost, I think, one soldier, so cool, easy. And that's, that's that. Battle done, they will despawn. All right. Yeah, we lost like one soldier. It's a good way to just whittle down the forces of Asia. Duras is here with just a couple units. Let's go ahead and besiege Campus Yazigis. I don't think they have the strength here. Yeah, Duras, I don't know what he has, and they have Vetsina here, so I have to be somewhat careful, but yeah, I'll be fine. Thank you very much, Bessie. All right, what do we want to do about a Quincum? Where's that big army? They're still in the area. I might just take my Scythians and have a gander. I'll grab all my cavalry. And let's send back the Illyrians to the river. And we'll just we'll just see if we can do some damage and get out, right? They don't have any missile troops. Kotaso has some archers, so we have to be aware of that. But I'll just get in and out. See if we can kill some guys with their Scythians. Yeah. All right. Let's grab the high ground here. Hopefully they don't also grab the high ground. Go here. Beautiful. They do not have the high ground. Scythians are going to be in range any second on these guys. All right, Scythians. Go down here. Get a shot. Just start firing. I'm going to slow this down to two times speed because I don't want to accidentally have my Scythians get charged or something. All right, we're doing good damage. Oh, wow. Great damage. That uphill advantage is crazy. Okay, you guys. Yeah, charge this warband. I think we can handle that. Easy break. Scythians keep firing. You guys charge this warband. Another easy break. Keep firing. There you go. Yes, this is your target. Don't accidentally shoot my cavalry. Then we're going to move on with Barbarian Peasants. That's their general unit. We'll kill their general. Then we'll attack this warband. Beautiful. And then we will kill this warband. And we'll have the Scythians fire at this one. All right, this one is wavering. They haven't broken yet. Come on. Broken. Beautiful. Okay. Um, let's have our Scythians run these guys down. And we'll have our other cavalry just hang out over here. We want to get as much experience as possible for our Scythians. I think we're going to kill this army as well. Um, but we have a full warlord here. 49 strength. So we need to kill that and kill the rest of this army. So this won't be a walk in the park. Slow this down a little bit more even, and okay, you're not, well, no, you can, you can run down some warband, that's fine. And then once you have a shot on the enemy army, take it. Are you even killing these guys? Barely. Just like, just drop like that. And then you just stab them. Right. It's not that hard. Great. Down to two. Done. Go attack the... Well, no, Archer Warband we don't want to attack with Scythians. Even though we have the height advantage, so we could probably do it. We're going to do it with the Cavalry instead. Okay. 
Okay, Archer Warband, our first target. So charge them with our cavalry, and then if we can get some shots on... Is this Duras? I think this is Duras. If we can get some shots on Duras with our Scythians, that would be ideal. Okay, archers have broken. Volksmen are concerned about an open flank. Yeah, just do some damage to Duras. With that uphill advantage, we should do a lot of damage here. Got shots? Good. Down to 46. Charge into this warband. Ooh, no, 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 no. That did not go well. An ill-advised charge on my part. Okay. You fire well. Scythians, just figure yourself out. Um, charge into here. We're going to keep our general safe with rally troops. And we have the advantage in the amount of guard we have here. 33 versus 42. Oh, no. Okay. We lost our general, so he's probably going to break. You just attack these warband. Yeah, we're... We lost that guy. Oh, that's a shame. Okay. We might want to flee this battle with the Scythians because they're pretty important. Flee. Yeah. We don't want to lose them. Okay. Um, you guys... No, don't withdraw. You're going to follow the general. In case he reforms, we have some cavalry. They can get some kills on the army and see if we can just win this battle. Okay, he reformed. Get up here. Unfortunate mistake lost a general that would be such a frustrating way to lose this campaign because i don't have that many generals imagine if i just lost all my generals and lost the campaign even though i had like a good amount of money and troops and everything in cities okay i told the scythians to run initially but let's let's reevaluate you killed 85 percent of the enemy gonna take one more swing at it right like you never know go over here see if you can get a shot you have the high ground just just try that okay shoot at the warband shoot at the warlord and then we will kill the warlord you guys stop firing Beautiful. Enemy general dead. Okay. Get back. Fire at the warband. Keep moving. Stay out of range of the enemy. Okay, warband's dead. Scythians. Go kill the Falksman. Or no, just hang out here. We got a second chevron of experience. Okay. Okay, we lost our general. We got a second Chevron of experience for the Scythians, though. The enemy army runs. Yeah, Man of the Hour might come into play. We still have a good number of generals right now, I think. I'll have to take a look. We got a heroic victory out of that. We did kill Kodaso. Um, got two experience for the Scythians. Not a horrible result. I don't think this was my best general. Like, he wasn't too incredible. And now... The queen comes ours. Okay, this was... Fritz hits. You called it Captain Carolus. I didn't know you could get a man of the hour in a battle where you lost your general. Fritz hits new. <laughs> That's crazy. I will 100% take that. How did that happen? All right, I will take that. <laughs> oh, I don't have any... No one has the move points to reach a coin come. So we might not get it. They might put someone in it. Oh, that's a shame. We can't buy any mercenaries. Okay. Let's check out our new general. He's 20 years old. He's a good commander. That's, you know what? That's great. Even if they bring Captain Attila into a coin come, I'm happy with that. Wow, that was... That was crazy. All right, let's check out our new faction heir. We just lost our old one, Vanius. Oh, this guy, he's horrible. No, I'm disinheriting you. You are not gonna be our faction heir. Uh, okay, this is our faction leader. Rick Bola of Albus, you're good, you're young. Oh, you're very good. Othel Hildis is a good option. Um, well, let me just look at all of my generals. 
I don't have many. Guess that's why I got a man of the hour. Oh, I really don't have any. I think I have one over here. Sisythicus, you're a victor. Hmm. He's okay. He already has loyal. So 300% increase to cost to bribe. And that's one of the main benefits of being a faction heir, is you can't be bribed. Carolus of Venticum. Hmm. What if I just make you my faction heir? I'm going to make you my faction heir. I'm going to believe in this guy because he rose out of, out of adversity. He was in a losing battle and he won it. And he's going to go pillage Italy. This is going to be my new faction heir. I, I believe in you, man. How do I make you faction heir? Okay. Carolus, you go here. Is he going to even be here? Carolus of Aventicum. Okay, wait, this was the man of the hour, right? I'm not crazy? Yeah. Why is he... Oh, no! <laughs> Ignore that. I'm real tired. I just clicked end turn. I think that's fine. I don't think I had anything else I had to do. Oh my gosh, okay, we got map information off of Parthia. They're doing really well in this campaign. I'm not giving you Londinium. Go away. Okay. Let me do that again. What was I doing? I was making you faction air. Don't click end turn. I was confused why he's a descendant of Rick Burgess if he was a man of the hour. I guess they are always a descendant of someone. Maybe they're just adopted when they're man of the hour. Okay, they've got one unit of peasants in here now, so we'll just have to wait a bit. Let's get some Illyrians and... Yeah, so next turn, we'll, well, maybe it'll take two turns to be able to uh, take a Quincum, but that's okay. All right, I'm going to take a look at my empire and see if I messed anything up by clicking on turn. I don't think so. Yeah, they, okay. So Captain Geraint has abandoned the Siege of Trier, which is good. Let's bring this Spear Warband inside Trier, bring this guy back to Alicia, Alessia, whatever. And I'm going to besiege Lobdunum. Ooh, there's a big army here. Okay, we are not going to besiege Lobdunum. Hopefully we don't lose this army, but we might. Rick Burgess, your natural born leader, that's good. That's going to be put to the test. So yeah, there's a big army here. We'll see. If they attack us, we have at least the advantage of defending with uh, phalanxes, but... Yeah, that might be a difficult battle. Let's check out our end of turn report. We lost 1,700 denarii. That's okay. Alessia has grown. Finally. Finally going to be minor city. I'm so excited. We can get our chosen archer warband, our chosen axeman. Glorious. Alessia, thank you. We are the most advanced faction. Incredible. New general has come of age, Carolus. Carolus. Gatekeeper, noble aspect, anger. Eh. Not great. You're at, uh, what? Muganteacum? Cool. Hang out there. Or maybe... Maybe I send him up to... I'm gonna send him up to Vicus Gothai. We, sorry. Eh, Vicus Gothai. <laughs> I'm gonna send him up here. Because that is where we got our Scythian mercenaries. So we can train Scythian mercenaries on that side of the border. We need a general up there to do it. We will grab some mercenaries. Let's send these guys back to where it needs population right now. Actually, Lovosis and Yuvavum do. So this guy, we're going to send over to Lovosis. And it's, are you over the border? I think so. I'll make sure I did it right, but... 527 to 767. Yep, that's good for the population. Happy about that. We will march up to Vicus Gotai. It's so hard. <laughs> Construction report. Samuel Bravo, we have our port. Let's go for a stockade. Yeah. Just in case, because the British keep landing here. So, all right. We have cornered Admiral Brennus. I personally would have gone to Ireland if I was him, but he didn't feel like it. So, oh, we finally sunk him. That was their faction leader, 
that was a family member, and that was like half stack army. Thank goodness. Okay, my mission in life is complete. I now have, I think, three random admirals. No, okay, two admirals, so they cannot be merged together, which is one of the hilarious bugs of Rome Total War, that you can't merge fleets with different admirals together. And the way you get an admiral is you just take a boat out and do one battle, and then you have an admiral. Then you can never combine it with any other fleet. So now I have two fleets and no way of ever combining them, but that's okay. We will bring them back to Londinium. We'll take a few turns. Gonna take just 30 seconds, one moment. All right, thanks. Sorry about that. Texting my wife. She's having a crazy day. So, you know, there are some days you just you just respond when you get a text because, yeah, she, I, I've been talking about it a lot, but she's been having a crazy time. So, all right, we've got Captain Attila up here who is still a threat to Lobishus, so we've got to keep an eye on that. How do we want to handle the station situation? I mean, we could slowly battle all these guys, but... It looks like there's really not much in Campus Yazigis. What if I just attack them? Vetsina's inside with Palakas. How good is Vetsina right now? He's pretty good. So that's not great. And then Duras is outside. It's just generals. <laughs> oh, I don't know if I could win that. I really need some heavy infantry or something. We're going to starve them out for a few turns. Just get them a little bit weaker. I don't know. This is kind of scary, because we're also encircled. All right. Anything else we need to do this turn? Let's grab everyone out of the city that we can spare. Londinium. We want to leave it basically empty because I don't think they have any troops down here. And then we're going to march a little bit and we're going to drop a watchtower here. And we're going to drop a watchtower here. And wow, I was, I was half expecting to discover some big armies. I don't see any. I think we're going to knock out the British very quickly here. So, cool. That's that's good stuff. Let's go ahead and end this turn. All right, back. Okay, so Luko is attacking Rick Berger. Ooh, I'm gonna retreat just on the off chance that I can make it to high ground or the bridge crossing. High ground, maybe. All right, we have to win this battle. So we're gonna win it. That's how it works. We got a good general, we got a decent army. They have a better army than we do. But I was hoping we could make it to that river crossing and defend that. Not quite. So any high ground? Is this a usable high ground? No, not really. Okay. We're just gonna fight on this like mound over here. All right, let's grab Spear Warband. We only have two of them in this army. I thought I had more. Grab some Axemen for this flank. Grab some Mercenaries for this flank. Get 
Skirmishers behind them. Cavalry is probably going to be the name of the game in this battle. Unfortunately. I wouldn't like to only use cavalry, but... Yeah, that's, that's what we're going to do. I am close to winning this campaign. Yes, I am, Andrew. Thank you. <laughs> Short campaign actually is very close. Uh, long campaign. Uh, let's see. I, I think I'll get it done in 24 hours, but honestly, this, this campaign is going really well. I've had a couple of setbacks, but really minor ones. All right. Let's slow us down. Let's, let's observe our enemies. I think we just need to be mobile, go with our cavalry. I'm going to group them up, just break anything I can and start a route on the whole front, just from side to side. All right. First unit broke pretty easily. Second one is wavering. Beautiful. Let's move on to Warband. If we can just wrap up this army. Yeah, I think that's what's going to happen. Great. Let's get this Warband. And we're going to charge in from the other side with these Axemen. No, guys. Keep breaking units. You don't want to... Yeah, it's because I'm selecting them as a group and not as individuals. Come on, guys. General is getting kind of precarious. Let's get out of here. Okay. Shaken over here. Broken. I think this is going well. All right. Are we doing well still? Can we break this Barbarian Cavalry? I feel like we're getting slightly overextended here because the General's here now. But I'm going to keep an eye on it. Another enemy break. Can we break the Warlord? That's the question. I'm going to be ready with... Uh, no, no, no. Come on. Okay, we might, we might lose this unit of Barbarian Cavalry because everyone got separated. I'm going to keep an eye on the yeah, morale's wavering down to shaken because I used rally troops. Can we kill this general? Okay. Got the general. The enemy warlord shows his worth. I think this is a win. Yep. The enemy general. Now his men show fear. Now okay. Run. Attack, attack. I think this is a kind of a wrap, right? I mean, you guys go chase some, some fleeing stuff. Uh, chase that. Yep. Good stuff. All right. <laughs> Skirmish Warband. What are they at? 82%. All right. End battle. I think we're past 85%. 85%. Let's give it a second longer. Make sure we get, like... Past 85%, 90%, 92%, good. We're fine. End the battle. Heroic victory, another one. <laughs> they killed 271 of us. That's not bad. Okay. This, a little bit scary. Captain Dekinos, we can beat easily. Vetsina and Captain Ion. Oh, actually. I feel like I can win this. I know this is crazy. I kind of feel like I can win this. Ah, <laughs> uh, is it worth the risk? I think I'm going to try it. 
<laughs> I know I'm like outnumbered massively, but they only have one army with generals. So if I just can beat the other armies with missile troops, that should be fine, right? <laughs> I will blindly accept any challenge. Okay, um... <laughs> How do I do this? So I think first off, the army in front of me is going to be pretty weak. So we can just dispatch them with some Illyrians and some Basterni. And then we'll save like half the army. Who do we have? These guys, this, these guys. This will be like a reserve force that I'm not going to use yet. And then we'll just see how this goes. World domination, I haven't decided yet. We're definitely doing long campaign. And we're going to see how much energy I have after a long campaign. I might do world domination though, because I've been doing world domination for my main series on my channel. That this is kind of what this is. So it's possible. We're, we're going to know for sure in like 12 hours whether I have the energy to do this or not. But I'm, I'm a big boy, you know? I, I feel fairly confident in my abilities. Let's get a Basterni up here. Get our Illyrians in here. Let's have these two Illyrians attack this Falksman, and these two Illyrians can attack this Warband. What do you guys think? Should I do world domination? All right, let's have these Basterni use their war cry. Let's get my general back a little bit. And let's charge into these Warband with my Basterni. That should be a pretty easy win. And let's use our javelins on the Falksmen. The reinforcements are taking forever to get involved, so that's good. We're going to get my general around the back of this warband, see if we can break them. Falksmen are getting shredded. Let's turn off fire. Whoa, I don't want to waste my ammunition. Okay, break this warband. They're wavering. Run them down. Let's get my Vesterni drawn up here, and they're going to move on to the next army, or the next unit. So these Falksmen are down to 55 and shaken. Let's send in the Vesterni. Yeah. Get in there. Get the Falksmen. I used Warcry to give them an extra 10 attack for 30 seconds. If I have the time, do it. I'm going to try it. Why not, right? All right, this army is done. We lost eight Pistarni, maybe 10. So good first leg of this battle. Glad I didn't waste all my Lyrian's ammo. Um, let's drop right here. We just want everyone centralized. Enemy general stead for the first army. Let's send my general to just run down these warband and let's get these Pistarni united with the rest of the army. Borga, I am, I am a degenerate. That's what they call us, you know. I can play a lot of video games. I don't know if I can do this, but I can. I can do close to this. All right, let's see what's over here. I forget what this is. Uh, archers and war band. Let's make sure there's no more people to be running down yet. Run down these archer war band. I think. A stern eye would be best for that. Oh, we want to yeah, we want to stay away from this army because this is the generals. We need to be prepared for that. So hmm, how do we want to do this? Let's have some Illyrians and some Basterni run down here and start dealing with these guys. All right, Warlord should not be all the way out here. Let's get him back over here. And we're going to make a prepared line for... Vetsina's army? It's Vetsina, right? I think it's Vetsina. All right. So Illyrians, now they have Archer Warband. So we need to not take a bunch of damage from the Archer Warband. So I'm gonna have the Basterni charge into the Archer Warband. And I'm gonna have the Illyrians charge down and fire at the Warband down here. Hopefully they won't get any arrows off of me. Hopefully they just start skirmishing. Right? You don't want to fire. 
You don't want to fire. <laughs> One sitting is kind of crazy. I, I don't really know why I do the things I do. I just do things, you know? I'm just having fun. Alright, one of the units of Basterni will chase down the archers. The other one will probably have to deal with this warband. They're not broken, right? Yeah, no. So, turn around to deal with this warband. Then Illyrians run and just attack the rear of these warband. Because the Basterni will win this fight, but slowly. I would like to win fast. <laughs> Alright. Wavering. Yeah, I'm glad I just charged in. These Bastar and I can just charge until the end of time. Just run down these Archer Warband. Alright, this unit of Warband is donezo. Let's reassign two of these units back to the main army. And then we're going to let that one unit of Valyrians chase that fleeing unit of Warband for a while. The Bastar and I have broken the Archer Warband. We're going to let them do their thing and just finish them off. Honestly, no, we need the, we need the Bastard Knight now. I don't really care if something reforms. Okay. So, let's guard the front of our Illyrians with some Barbarian Mercenaries. But actually, I don't want to make it too thick. Let's make it skinny, because Barbarian Mercenaries break really easily. Um, unless you have them kind of very tightly packed. If you have them spread wide... It actually can be bad for your army because they will break and then the rest of your units will break. So this way, hopefully, they will not break. Let's... Oh, man. This is... This is concerning. Okay, we used Warcry. Oh, I'm scared. Okay, we have already lost our unit of Barbarian Mercenaries. Illyrians, get in there. Fire your arrows, or your, your javelins. Are we, are we, we're losing this battle. Oh god, get out of here. My general's gonna die. The Stern I have shown up. Okay. War cry. Kill this warlord. Oh no. Oh no, this is not good. <laughs> Sorry guys, I can't say no to a challenge. Oh my warlord, he's not dead, but he's... He's fleeing. Okay. <laughs> get in there. Come on guys. This is easy stuff. We win these. If my general would reform, we could at least mount some kind of defense here. No, this is... <laughs> Alright, everyone. If you can escape the battle, flee. Jeez. <sighs> okay. Another loss. Unfortunately, we killed a thousand of them. We lost 1,200. Not my finest moment. Okay, this we might be able to win. Saulius. Who are you? Okay. Can we win that? I don't even know if we can win that. But we can't run, so we have to win it. So we will win it. Yes, uh, fate has decreed this. It was not our choice. All right, uh, we have kind of some high ground over here. I'm not going to corner camp. I'm going to stay away from the corner, but I am going to use the natural high ground that is in the corner. So let's get our Illyrians over here. Oh man, they're, they're, they're looking battered. We're going to guard the front with our great hundred... Infantry and our six cavalry. Oh my gosh. Okay. Uh, let's. I, I promise not to go in the corner. I will not go in the corner. I'm gonna go a little bit further up the hill. This is the hardest thing to reposition. Okay. Now that's too close to the corner. We're gonna stay here. I will not be accused of corner camping and Rome Total War. Cool six hours. Uh, can if you guys want to attack me, you gotta like you gotta put in some effort. Are they walking? Are you really walking over here? 
I hate Dacians. I would never play as Dacia. This is not feeling super possible. Personally. I hate these guys. Hurry up, please. They're not even going to be tired because they didn't sprint. They just walked. They're going to be fresh. They're going to be warmed up. Even worse. All right. We're throwing a lot of javelins. That's good. I'm going to be hovering over the... Uh, no, 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 no. We don't want to be skirmishing. Why are people skirmishing? I thought I told you not to skirmish. Mm, not good. This is not going according to plan. Okay. <laughs> we are using rally troops so these Bisterni don't break. Oh, God. Mm, keep firing. <laughs> keep firing. Please. Okay, the Bisterni broke. The Illyrians broke. But we got this. No worries, guys. Do you like pizza? I do like I, I do like pizza, I would say. I'm not a huge fan of pizza with the exception of if you've ever been on a carnival cruise, the the pizza that they have on like Lido deck. At the one that's like open twenty four hours. Ooh. I'm a big fan of that pizza. You've had a long night in the nightclub. Oh yeah, good times. We lost our general, lost the army. Oof. I had no chance. I had no hope. And I had no choice. I couldn't run from that battle. Not our finest moment. But think of all the savings from not having to pay the salary of all those mercenaries. Maybe it was intentional. Maybe it was intentional. Um, I think this army should be mostly just sent to Lavasis to hang out. Let's unite some, some troops here. We'll send the weak stuff to Lavasis. Send these Illyrians down to help out the siege of Aquincum. And yeah, we're going to try and get some rams and take a quincum next turn. We should have just included the Scythians with that army. I just, I really didn't think we were going to get whooped that hard at a campus Yazigis, but all right, we regain. This is how it goes. Construction report, Batavadorum, Sacred Grove of Donar. Let's get stables. Sure. Vicus Mark... <laughs> Wikus, Wikus, I feel like Wikus sounds best. Wikus Marcomani. We're going to get a uh, communal farming here. Get that, get that population growth rate going. Wikus, Gotai. Port, for sure. Port will be nice. Eventually, we will have trade. Actually, this is a good amount of trade. 388, increasing by 100 because of a port. Finally, I'm so excited. All right. I guess that's uh, trading with... I don't know who that's going to be trading with. Maybe... Yeah, actually, I have no idea. But maybe all the way out here? I don't know. Hand pump invented. Plague in Macedonia. Good thing we're not there. Yeah, we lost our... Unfortunately, we lost our general. Sisythicus. I liked him a lot. He was a hero, but he died a hero's death. Rick Burgess got a veteran warrior. That's good. Rick Burgess also got a shield bearer. He got a lot better this turn. All right. What do you say? Besiege looked on him? I think so. Heroic. I love having all these heroic victories. I have a lot of them. I'm trying to think where the rest of them are. I feel like they're all up here. I, I've lost them, but they, but they exist. I promise. I've done well. 
Has anyone here been watching for like more than two hours? Or are people just coming in and out? End of turn report. We profited 1,600 denarii. Wonderful. And let's... Should we besiege a Burukum? Or a Burukum and Deva? I think a Burukum and Deva, because that's fun. Are you a good general? You're actually not bad. I think you should be put in charge of something to test your skills. You're going to besiege a Burukum. And we're going to give you... All right, what's here? Big general, warband. Okay, so you need some good spears. You need some naked fanatics. And that's about it. Chucky. Or Chuck I Chuck? I don't know what version of that you are, but... Yep, that's a long time. That's like five hours, right? I'm really bad. I'm actually horrendous at time zone math. That is the one thing. Like, I have a master's degree. I'm an intelligent person. I'm horrible at time zone math. So, that's my, that's my insecurity for you. I feel like maybe we need some more strength for a Burkham. Let's give a Warhound, maybe one more spear, Warband. That's good. And then let's besiege Deva. I wonder if... Is this... Is Ireland still rebel by any chance? I guess we have no way of knowing. It says they're rebels, but you, you kind of don't know that until you see something to prove it. Like, I think if you if you don't see the city itself or get map information, I think you don't ever find out that it's not rebels, right? We'll see. But, I mean, we could potentially knock the British out in, like, one turn, right? Uh, my master's was in global management, which is basically an MBA, but like a little less impressive. And it's got an international focus, so it was fun. Yeah, I did uh, finance in undergrad and master's in global management. Good amount of school. I graduated last year and uh, yeah, I'm not using it. <laughs> I don't really want like a corporate job. I like contract work. My wife and I do a lot of like, um, we work as contest coordinators at dance events, which is a weird business. But yeah, we get paid to do that. So we travel a lot for that. We um, also have a little business, an embroidery business. And we work like little gigs in our hometown. And we're potentially doing the Disney College program this summer just for fun. So we might move out to Orlando for a few months and just work at Disney World, which would be fun. But yeah, not exactly putting the master's degree to full use. I'm just, I'm just having fun. All right. I think I've done everything I can do this turn. We've got a spy. Should we use our spy? Probably. Let's, let's see if we can figure out where their armies are. Duras is on his own. We might kill him after we take a Quingum. Yeah, can't take that yet. Lord Dunham, same deal. Thank you, Chuck. I loved school. I, I'm, I'm besieging four cities right now. <laughs> we are, uh, we're at 14. We're about to go to 18 if everything goes well. But yeah, um, I was not one of those people that hated school. And I also did not go to school to get a lot of riches and get a corporate job. I just really enjoyed school, so I did more of it. I actually uh, almost did a PhD. Well, I, I started a PhD. I was in it for three months, and I didn't like it, so I quit. <laughs> it was a good opportunity to have a life I did not want, so... Mogontiakum, we completed some stables, and that is the last thing we can build here until we hit 6,000 population. So let's go ahead and knock down the tax rate to low so we can get that population growth rate up to 5%. It'll be a little quicker to reach that 6,000 threshold. And let's go ahead and disband these peasants. Just anything we can do to help out with the population in Mogontiakum. We want to get that to a minor city. At Samarobriva, we got a stockade. And... What do we want? 
Population growth rate, probably. Communal farming. Yeah, let's go for it. Londinium, we got communal farming. Blacksmith is the last thing. And how's our population here? 3,200. Okay, I can work with that. Our, I can't believe they didn't try to defend their cities. Is this going to be the end of the Britons? I feel like knocking out the Britons as Germania is like the most important thing in the campaign. I'm going to save the game in case we have a crash. I'm not losing this progress. Oh my goodness. All right, let's do this. Um, who first? Probably Aburukum. I think that's an easier target. We have to kill a lot of heavy cavalry. But woe to Korix. Let's see him. Okay, he's, <laughs> he's got a witch. He's ugly, angry, gloomy, frugal, and stern. Oh. Sounds like he has a PhD. And he's 17. How... <laughs> How does he have gloomy anger, ugly, frugal, stern, and he's the faction heir with a witch, and he's 17 years old? What kind of guy are we about to kill? And I'm so tired that I was talking about heavy cavalry, being worried about killing heavy cavalry when I'm Germania. I brought phalanxes. Of course I should not be worried about heavy cavalry. <laughs> All right, this is going to be easy. Let's knock down the front gate, knock down this wall. Uh, the reason I'm not worried about heavy cavalry is that they're chariots. I didn't make that clear. So they will just explode when they come in contact with my phalanxes. All right, let's get the war dogs up here. Triple speed this. Let's finish off the British nice and quick. It's weird. I feel like the Germans are very much just the direct counter to the British. You would think the British would also be a direct counter to the Germans, but they're not. Like, they don't have good archers, which would make them a good counter to the very slow German armies, but they don't have that. Chariots are horrible against the German army. Not really sure how that's fair, but oh well. Okay. So let's build a base here. So we're going to have two phalanxes here. They're going to drop their uh, their phalanx. And then we're going to go over here. We're going to have another one. And let's drop the phalanx here. And then, how do we want to do this? Oh wait, okay. let me remind myself what's here. So we have the general, we have some warband. That, is that it? Two units? Cool. All right. Uh, let's <laughs> let's just walk up there, right? Get my general on here for moral support. Let's get another phalanx over here to guard their side. Get our infantry in here. Get our dogs in here. Andrew, I graduated last May, May, twenty twenty three with my master's degree. Um, and I did it in two years, which is like the normal amount of time. Um, I am 24 years old. All right. A civilian in this era, what faction would I want to be under? Good question. All right, so I'm gonna give the answer of like in this campaign. Okay, wait, what's happening with the dogs? The dogs just lost a lot of health. I don't know what happened. I'm gonna release the dogs on the warband here and we're just gonna let the phalanxes eat them up. In this campaign? It's probably not bad to be a German, but it's probably not great because I just keep every single city right at the threshold of like 70% public order, which is just about to revolt. Let's go ahead and end the battle. No, we'll fight it out. We've almost killed the British, so may as well fight it out. But yeah, I, I would say it's probably not super fun to be in my empire because I just keep everything about to revolt and just barely keep them scared enough not to do it. What do we lose the most of? Some Spear Warband, that's fine. 
probably like the Egyptians. Because actually the Egyptians are not doing that well. Look at Parthia. Very good question. I'm going to look into that. I'm going to think about that. Enslaved population, definitely, because there's only 149 people here. Get the uh, slave trade bonus and population growth bonus. Who's doing well in this game? There was one faction that was conspicuously allied with everyone, and I think it was Gaul. I would not want to be a Gallic citizen. <laughs> uh, who? No, I would not want to be Spanish there or with everyone. Let's see the Seleucids. Hmm. Oh, yeah, you know what? Egypt. They're allies with Parthia, Carthage, Pontus, Armenia. They have plenty of food. They've got great farms. I'm going to say Egypt and not Germania. <laughs> I sound like I'm 50. I look like I'm 52. And I'm not joking. My wife is two years younger than me. She is 22. And people have mistaken us for father and daughter multiple times. <laughs> Because I've got, you know, I don't know, I, I look old. I feel like I, I have an old presence. But that's okay. Can we pull all these people out for Burkham? Yeah. All right, we're about to defeat the Britons. Yeah, I, I, I also have looked exactly the same since I was like 14 and sounded exactly the same too. So, yeah, imagine how weird that was when I was younger. Profits of 4,000 denarii. Ooh, very good. The lower accurate golden armor. That's a good point. All right. Is this really the end of the Britons? You're not even going to try? Bright Cham of Kaliva? Is this it? I wonder if they have Ireland. We're going to find out in like five minutes. Who's here? All right. Their faction leader, Prasutagus. Sanguinary minus one morale. Which armorer plus one morale. He's okay. He's not great. And he's brought World Warriors Warband. Nothing too scary. This will be over nice and quick. Yeah, I don't know about in the real world outside of this campaign. Probably, I don't know. What do people say? Rome? What are we in? Like 200 BC? Probably Rome. But like, no veil of ignorance, only as a rich person. All right, let's get our warhounds and we're gonna have them do most of the fighting. We're gonna get some phalanxes and they will do the killing of the generals. Let's knock down the gates. Whenever I hit start battle and there's like a little jitter where it, it freezes for a second, I freak out. I'm like, please don't crash. <laughs> All right. Uh, we have some skirmishers. Yeah, we'll use them. Get up here. See who you can do damage to. Warband would be nice. I'm gonna pull the dogs a little closer. Oh, yeah. Get closer. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna slow this down. I'm going really fast. Alright, you guys, what are you doing? You're like dancing around like idiots. Go there. You are throwing your javelins in that's good uh let's get our phalanxes and we're gonna send in the dogs let's send them in for the warlord i liked that before i love these random two guys walking out yeah get them Scream at them. Okay, dogs have been released. So I'm going to tell this unit to flee. Let's actually pull these screeching women back because I don't know if they can handle being charged by Warband. They have like one defense. So bring them back here. You flee as well. All right. And let's bring up the... The big boys. There we go. Bring you up here. These naked fanatics do not need to be fighting this general's unit. 
Just bring up the phalanxes. I'm I'm getting sloppy. I need to lock in. Okay. You drop this. Fight warlord. You drop phalanx. Okay. You fight warlord. Come on. Enemy general's dead. Good. Dogs are finishing off the general. Terrell. Dirty dog. Not a bad idea, though. It's probably very safe there. This warlord. Can we kill him, please? Should I just grab a general? I'm going to grab my two generals I don't care about and just have them kill this warlord. Because I am tired of having my warhounds handlers get killed. Those are the one unit I don't want to have doing hand-to-hand -hand combat. There we go. Okay. Tell these guys to stop. Let's, let's take inventory. This music is getting me in the mood and I'm just no longer paying attention. All right. Take inventory. Let's get some spearmen inside. Yeah, I'm married at 24. I got married at 23, actually. Um, we met in high school. So we're not like Mormon or anything. Nothing against Mormon people. Mormon people are cool. We have a lot of Mormon people in Arizona. But yeah, we met in high school and we were instant uh, soulmates. And I cannot imagine anyone better for me. And so we got married. I got very lucky, though. Like it's it's very unusual to find someone who is that perfect for you that young. So, very lucky man over here. All right, let's get our spearmen up here. I'm just gonna do the thing where we push them onto the plaza. Dogs are, I think, probably still fighting the general somewhere. I don't know. No, they're fighting this unit of world warriors. I've done like forty damage to them. That's cool. All right, line up here. Let's go to general inside the city, just in case. Everyone get in position. Drop your phalanx, because the uh, chariots look interested. They've broken again. Let's draw up here. Why are these guys taking so long? What are you doing? I am amazed sometimes by pathing. Okay, drop your spears. Hopefully we can break this unit again. Okay, good. Yep. They're down to like 10. General's unit's almost gone. Yeah, nearly done with this battle. Oh, and I can't forget there is a ceremony for how we kill factions in this game. So I gotta respect that. Uh, let's over here need to get my skirmishers always try to kill factions with volleys of javelins so that's what we will do this time as well long time long-term goals with youtube good question um i do um i love making youtube videos i like do a lot of hours of it each week. I edit way more than I need to. And it's not because I want to make a million dollars. I just really like it. Um, but it's not just these kind of videos. Like I am starting a second channel with my wife um, for all the travel we do. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but we do a lot of travel. And so, yeah, we want to do that. Um, I just like making things and I like video. I've always been a fan of YouTube and I don't know. I think there's something really cool about sharing your life. I think we have a really weird life, a really interesting life. I think we have not like something to say, but something to show about a really cool way to live a life. So that's something I'm interested in. But yeah, I also love, I mean, I love like this 
the community interaction is so fun. I, I never, I, I posted videos for years, like with different games that I like. It's not just Rome Total War that I've played and made videos about. I uh, made all kinds of videos for different games, never got more than like 20 views. And then I had my part one of the Spain Very Hard, Very Hard series, and it got 5,000 views. Like it sat for a week with no views, and then it got 5,000 views. So to me, that was crazy. I got like 80 subscribers, and I've been having a blast ever since then, just because the amount of community interaction, the amount of people just teaching me about the game and I love that. I've been having a great time with it. So yeah, I would love to make some money off of this. Not, you know, I'll never be able to do it full time, but if I could do it with, you know, part time, like serious part time and make a lot of videos, do a lot of live streaming, I would love to. Um, so, but yeah, we'll see. Need to get monetized first. I've got a Patreon, but like, I don't feel like it's that cool to be like really trying to make a lot of money when you just started. I don't think that's necessary. I'm having fun with it, so I'm not like constantly plugging it. Was that the end of the the Britons? We're gonna find out whether they have Ireland. Let's see. Is this guy gonna go rebel? Oh my gosh. <laughs> we did it. We took out Ireland. I mean, I mean, we took out uh, the British. Which is great because, uh, you know, I'm American. That's like, it's like our whole thing. <laughs> We're like 2,000 years early, but we, we beat you guys. Just kidding. I love my British viewers. I actually love the UK. It's one of my favorite places to go. But Wow. Brycam of Kaliva, you should have done better, man. I don't know what your plan was. I'm going to leave these warhounds behind in Deva. We're going to go take Ireland. This is cool. This is 16 regions. <laughs> Daryl. I... I mean, fair. That is fair. <laughs> we're we'll, we'll, we're going to, like, make Soho early. We're going to go into Londinium. We're going to tear down some buildings and put some nice... Put some nice... Uh, Fish and chip shops, all right? Some nice, really weird bars. <laughs> Double-decker carriages. All right, let's let's uh, let's see. What else is there to do this turn? Andrew, yeah. I don't know. I think if you're enjoying life, you're, you're not a loser. People, some people think I'm a loser. I, I you know, obviously my entire class of coat Co colleagues, colleagues at school, all have like jobs in consulting, and I'm gonna go work in parks at Disney World. And some people think I'm a loser. I've gotten some messages from people being like, "What a waste of a master's degree!" Blah blah blah. I don't know. I think if you're enjoying your life, you're doing well. And if you're not enjoying your life, I'm sorry. And I hope that it gets better because you seem cool. <laughs> oh no, Manchester. Okay. Can I spot Manchester on a map? My geography is really bad. <laughs> Here. I, I don't know. I'm sorry. I feel like it's near a coast. I feel like it's in the north and I feel like it's on the west. Like, but that's, that's Scotland. It's not in Scotland. I'm going to say close to Deva. <laughs> Please correct me if I'm wrong. Thank you, Resurrect. That is very nice of you. I, I, f I feel like m my voice is strange, but I think everyone feels that way about their own voice. But I appreciate the, uh, the hype. Daryl, you got to let me know if I was right on that. If not, we're, we're going to find out where Manchester is, and I will never forget it after this. I, I'm being put on the spot. Well, Andrew, I personally am glad to have you here. And I hope things get better for you, man. Let's see. A quincum. Should we take a quincum too? Ooh, more mercenaries. Okay. 
We'll take a quick... No, I'm going to forget about these guys. So, Carolus, we're going to get more mercenaries. Let's get Basterni and some Sarmatians, Illyrians, and Barbarian mercenaries. We're going to take the Barbarian mercenaries up to Wikus Gotai or to Wikus Marco Mani. Who needs it the most? Lovosis needs it. Okay. Go down to Lovosis. And honestly, Illyrians too. Illyrians, kind of useless. I'm not feeling them right now. So we're just going to use them as a population dump for Lovasis. We're going to send Carolus up north. Let's send his troops down south, though, because we need reinforcements for the invasion of Dacia and eventually Italy. And I want him to get into Wikus Gotai so we can get some Scythians. No Scythians. Shame. All right, we'll just we'll have him hang out in this area. We might get more Scythians a little later. All right, 2,400 population here, 2,291 here. I think it's worth sending this guy down to Lovasis. In next turn, we'll disband him. Get some more population here. The rebel leader is sat on top of Manchester, give or take a few miles. Okay. Okay, you know what? I'm proud of that. Like, I said near Deva. I said first up here and then near Deva. That's pretty close. I am proud of that. For an American, I, who never, I never took a geography class in school. Okay, I watch a lot of Love Island though, so <laughs> they occasionally are like, they say something about where they're from, and I, I kind of paint a, a, a picture of where the cities are without ever having looked it up. One thing I have done in the UK, which was really fun, is I think it's down here. Uh, it's, oh, where's it's Bovington? tank museum I, I went to that for the uh tank fest like six or seven years ago that was really fun all right faction destroyed britannia it is now just deutschland deutschlandia all right where are we at we could take a quincum that's what we we're gonna do take a quincum okay it's just peasants yes Let's pick this up. All right, I'm trying to stretch out. My back's getting stiff. All right. It's just some peasants here. If we can get the kills with the Scythians to train them up a little bit, we will. If not, no harm. We'll just try and make this quick. All right, gate is almost knocked down. The gate is broken. Your warriors have done brave work with the battering ram. Now let's get our Scythians inside the city. See if we can get some kills on these peasants. I'm gonna turn off skirmish mode. I hate skirmish mode in cities. Y'all probably know this about me, but skirmish mode in cities just does not work. You will get killed so fast because it will just run you into a random direction. All right, I'm gonna be ready to retreat if I need to. Okay, go ahead and retreat. Go ahead, run out of the city. Send my Lyrians in instead. Okay. There we go. They've retreated, so we'll go back in again. No, oh, run again. Get out of there. We lost a city. <laughs> All right, you guys know what I have to do. I gotta go lose a bunch of Illyrians somehow to peasants. So I'm gonna run them up over here. And the reason I'm doing this, if you guys were not here last time or you don't know how this works, is that you heal troops as a percentage of your army. So we'll heal like 1% or 2% of my army. And I lost a Scythian and I want my Scythian back. So I need to lose Illyrians in order to heal a Scythian. So we're going to have them stand backwards. Really spread out and try to have Illyrians break to peasants. All right. Can we, can we do this, guys? No, no, no. You gotta be facing the wrong direction. There you go. This is so dumb. The things I do for Scythians. Forward, 
There we go. Taking some casualties. Also shredding through the barbarian peasants, but we've, we're taking enough casualties that we probably will be able to heal our Scythian, yes. All right, you guys just work your way through the peasants. Is this our 20th settlement? All right, almost done with this guy. Beautiful. Easy. There we go. Easy win. Good job, guys. The cries of dying enemies are sweet music to our warriors. Clear victory. Did we heal our Scythian? Yes, we did. But we only healed 10 troops. So we healed about like 15% my army of my losses so I, I can remember that but i heal my scythian that's what i cared about all right a quincum easy i'm gonna enslave it which is hard because occupy would make sense since we're trying to grow a quincum but we're also trying to grow nearby cities like lovasis and yuvavum so this increases the population growth rate in those cities it increases the population growth rate in a quincum Think it's worth it we will go ahead and build roads so we can move around quicker get reinforcements here stuff like that and let's just go ahead and get the scythians out of the city i don't want to risk them getting stuck here if duras comes and attacks something like that we're going to park on this bridge because that's a good place to take a fight if we're going to have one and let's repair the wooden palisade here and town expands lemonum has expanded that's wonderful finally large town here that's gonna be great oh, what does he have restrained disinherited mildly extravagant heartless ruler apparently loyal and slave trader vanius you're the worst General. all right i think we are uh Good to end the turn, but let's take a look here. Oh no, this is 17 regions. I don't know why I thought we were at 20. I think I'd, I'd like pre-accepted that I was at 17 and then I was like, oh, I took three more. But nope, that was 17 regions. Not bad. We are uh, making progress here, definitely. General. Let's go ahead and end this turn. We've got a lot to do next turn. Turncoat army, Captain Rando, who are you? Oh no, those were our good mercenaries. We had some Basterni and Sarmatians and stuff. I hate Gauls. I'm gonna destroy Gaul just because of that. Ah, oh, that stinks. Okay, I'm gonna bring this guy down here, disband him in Lovasis to get the population there. I'm gonna bring the tax rate down to low so we can get that population growth rate up to 5%. Hopefully we can get to large town here as well. Man, I nothing bothers me more than getting a bunch of really good mercenaries and having them get bribed. So if I get Scythians, I'm going to escort them personally. Let's throw some watchtowers down, maybe. Careless isn't really doing anything, so... Throw one there. Wish we had a general over here. But we don't. Alright. Let's run this ship this way and try and get it to a port. I don't know if we're going to make it, but yeah, we might lose that ship. We don't really need any ships in this area now, though. We have pretty much done the whole UK thing. Our uh, summer in the UK is over. Yeah, Tara, they never uh, they never took Tara, but we'll go ahead and pick it up. Some, I love having rebel druids. I think this is one of the only places with rebel druids. I might be imagining that, but I feel like there are always rebel druids here and not many places other than here. So we'll go ahead and pick that up, and then we might come back and kill this general, just so he doesn't cause any issues in the UK. And yeah, that's pretty great. All right, let's go through our announcements. Candidate for adoption, Catualdo of Norea. Candidate for adoption for Carolus of Aventicum. He's 20. He's a good commander. It's a good man. I'll take him. Where did he go? Adoption not completed. Oh, he died. Who is this? Cachualdo of Norea. I wonder if this was 
Interesting. I wonder if this was someone in that army that got bribed? That stinks. We are owed a general. Okay. Let's take a look at our construction report. Vicus Gotti. We've got a port here. Let's go for communal farming. We want to get that population growth rate up. Trade is up to 390. That's okay. It's a pretty big rebel army, but it is on the other side of this bridge. So probably not too much to worry about. Alessia, High King's Hall, Minor City. Oh, thank you so much. We can have Chosen Archer, Warband, Chosen Axemen, Berserkers. What do we go for first? This is, I'm going for Berserkers. This is, I'm having fun with this. We're going to get some Berserkers, then we'll get some practical units. I just, I want to have them. All right. Alessia, we did. Aquincum, we got Rhodes. Let's build a muster field. Iburicum, just repairing some stuff. Diva, repairing some stuff. Aquincum, repairing some stuff. Yeah, we took a lot of cities last turn. End of turn report, we profited 644. How's our financial position? Very good now that we have these new settlements. 7,309 projected profits for next turn. And I don't even think we're going to buy any more buildings or anything. So that might be real profits. That's crazy. All right, these Illyrians, we'll send down to Quincum for now. And then we might send them over to Carolus of Aventicum. Get some more Illyrians here. I don't really know what to do about Dacia. They have a lot of armies in my region, so I'm, I'm you know, worried about them. I can't really move on to Italy until I defeat them. But they whooped me last time. I think I just need a better quality army here. I might need some actual heavy infantry, some spear warband, that kind of stuff. It's just hard when you have a region with very low population in all of your cities, so I can't build any units here. So I'm just relying on mercenaries, and mercenaries break too easily. So... I should probably just be training up some troops at Trier, Magantiacum, but then I'm trying to grow those places too, so I don't know. Okay, wow, lots of diplomacy going on. Thrace is at war with Macedon, no longer allied with the Brutii. The Seleucids and Nimidians are allies. This doesn't really relate to me. Oh, Macedon and the Brutii are now allies. Okay. Clan Kingdoms, yeah. Let's take a look at the rankings. Macedon, not doing too well. <laughs> Zero finances, two regions. Cannot relate. Let's grab all living factions. Hmm, yeah, well, it's a close second with Egypt at eight. Not bad. Favorite historical figure. I think uh, Alexander the Great is very cool. I'm not an, a, an expert on any historical figure, but I'm definitely not an expert on Alexander the Great. Um, I have an idea of what he did, though. Right? Conquered, like, all of Persia and a lot of places. A lot of the known world at the time, by the time he was, like, some very young age, like 18. That's my understanding of Alexander. And his dad was a king and a not a very good king. And then he grew the empire. Something like that. My favorite historical figure, probably Caesar. I mean, I'm not a super fan. I'm not a super history fan, like actual history, honestly. Um, but I find it very interesting. I read The Conquest of Gaul in high school. And I just like on my own for fun. And it was, I thought, very cool. So I would say Caesar. All right. I don't think there's anything else we can do this turn, right? I want to build more boats. I don't like that I have this massive army on these tiny boats. It's on the turn. Ooh, Windex. <laughs> Based on the way I've been pronouncing Vs in this game, this guy is canonically named Windex. And Captain Motius want to fight. Okay, so we're kind of sandwiched in on both sides. We don't... We might have an exit square, but... I don't see an exit square. It says I'm not going to be fighting to the death, but... Let's see. Captain Motius. That's a flimsy nothing army. Windex. 
flimsy nothing army, I would say. Because I just have really good frontline infantry. So I think I can handle this pretty easily. The reinforcements will be from the south. Gotta remember that. Yeah, that's very cool. I mean, I am I am but a boy. I am enamored by world builders. I think it's very cool, even if it's, you know, mean to conquer or something. But I think it's cool. All right, we have a front line. And really, we don't need that much strength for the front army because it was flimsy. Back army is what we're worried about. So we need to face south and we can kind of spawn kill. Not spawn kill, spawn kill, but kind of spawn kill this army. So we've got our spear warband here, and then we're gonna have our axemen and more axemen, and then screeching women, and then my general. And we'll have some barbarian mercenaries to help out. That's pretty good. Do y'all wanna know a very strange fact about my audience? that shocked me and I tried to verify like I, I thought there's no way this can be true uh my audience is 100% male according to YouTube analytics I just thought it was like there's no way that's true 100% is what it says so you know make of that what you will I'm not a misogynist I promise <laughs> okay <laughs> Uh, I'm getting really tired. Not like I'm going to stop record, like doing this tired, but you're going to get some funny thoughts out of me in the next few hours. That's all I will say. All right. We have a good front line here. Let's actually bring these screeching women back and we'll have them start chanting. War cry here. Let's check on my cavalry, make sure they're not getting rushed. Nope. We're good. Over here. How are they feeling? Enemies are, they're feeling okay, honestly. Hmm. We are throwing in our javelins. General's here, good, okay. Let's check on my cavalry. Still doing well. Honestly, I kind of want to just ignore these guys, but no, we shouldn't. We should, we should do the thing. I mean, like, I would have expected 90%. But one, I don't have one woman who's ever watched one of my videos. I think it said, like, I've had one view ever or something. I was like, it's just weird that, like, gaming is very strangely gendered. Esports is not. Like, I'm, I'm really interested in the esports side. That's what I draw a lot of my analogies to. And, like, the, the players are very gendered, almost 100% male, which is crazy in my opinion. But the fans are not. Like, a lot of esports have. 45% female viewers. So I'm like, I'm, I'm confused as to why that would not be the case in watching my uh, YouTube channel. But I guess Rome is a very boy game. I'm trying to pull these troops back because they're they're not doing very well. Actually, they are doing well. This guy was, was wavering for a second. Just try it again. If we lose the cavalry, I'm not too bothered by it. All right, over here... We're having issues with the Axemen. They're getting charged by Warband. I just used Warcry with my barbarian, barbarian mercenaries, and so I'm going to charge them in. Enemy Warlord for the small army has died. Okay, let's get my general over here. I'm going to need to do rally troops soon, I think, because these mercenaries are shaken. How are we doing over here? Eager over here, that's good. Over here, we're wavering. Use rally troops. Get out here and help out killing this warlord. I'm going to bring some reinforcements from the first army, the cavalry army. How are we doing, guys? Over here, steady. Over here, not doing fantastic. Okay, enemy general's dead. Good. Broken. We have a break here. This is great. You guys, go kill the swordsman. Chase down some fleeing dudes. And then we will deal with these guys. 
You guys chase down these fleeing warband. You guys chase down these skirmisher warband. Okay, you go kill this unit of swordsmen. You guys chase down these swordsmen that are broken. Over here, we have a break. Let's turn our spear warband. Have I ever done anything besides Rome Total War for YouTube? Um, I have... One second. I have. I did some, like, Call of Duty. I like, oh no. It's a general. I lost a general, guys. I'm sorry. I was yapping. I lost a general. Not good. Oh, I didn't want to lose him. Sorry, guys. My fault. It's okay. I should have uh, done rally troops before I did that charge. But charging into the rear of enemies, you don't expect to lose a general. It's okay. We have enough generals. We'll be fine. Shame, though. Have I done, never done anything besides Rome Total War? Yes. I used to play a lot of um, Call of Duty with my wife. She plays as well. Um, during the pandemic, we played like 12 hours a day. So I made some content to do with that. Um, I unlisted it because people didn't really... It's oversaturated. People don't love it. Um, but also, also some old Call of Duty games like Black Ops, World at War, Zombies. I used to play a lot of that. So I would stream or upload videos to do with that. Bloodborne, a lot of that. Um, big fan of that as well. <laughs> what am I looking at? Have you ever seen this before? Like, I've never, in my thousands of hours on this game, I have never seen this. Thank you, Julii. I accept. <laughs> Do you want an alliance? No. <laughs> what was that? All right, we're going to enslave Lugdunum. Uh... I'm going to take like 30 seconds real quick of break. I'm not going to like switch over the screen. I'm just going to respond to a text for my wife. One moment. All right. Why did I just get that money? Any any thoughts? Okay, man of the hour. Wow. Natural born leader, good commander. Captain Eric. I love Captain Eric. You're hired. Adoption not completed again. Why? He's so good. Stop doing this. This game is... I feel like I'm hallucinating. I'm going to save this game because what is happening? They're, Julia, I just handed me money. I've had two failed amazing adoptions in like two turns. All right. I, I couldn't tell you. I actually have wanted to do a version of Save My Disaster campaigns. I don't want to just, I think, um, I don't know whose channel that is. Someone is already doing that. And I don't like stealing people's ideas. Um, but I have wanted to do a impossible battles one where people send me save files for battles that they've gotten themselves into in campaigns. And I just see if I can beat them. Because I, I, I feel like I'm fairly good at battles. I mean, well, sometimes not, but... <laughs> I enjoy the challenge of really difficult battles. But it's a lot of effort. I would, I would need people who are willing to submit stuff. So it makes more sense when I get more subscribers, I think. Okay. Let's take Ireland, shall we? 10 stars of command. This guy is a conqueror indeed. I love when they have 101 cavalry. That's so just mean you know i 
thank you all for sticking around even when I take breaks and make mistakes and get my generals killed. I appreciate that you're hanging out with me. All right, we're going to pull up our phalanxes. That will need them. Don't remember where the reinforcements are coming from. I believe, let me think about the map. Southwest is my guess. So I could have my generals over here and try to intercept with my cavalry. And that's my best bet. I'm not going to think about it too much, though, because I think we'll win this battle either way. But let's start with my cavalry over here. I was wrong. Very far away. But we will try to catch them before they get in the city. They're way out here, so it'll take them a while to get to the city. Okay, we're far enough away from the walls that we're not going to get hit by towers as we cross. We will go in this direction, see if we can pick up the reinforcements. Let's knock down the gate. You knock down this wall. You knock down this wall. Okay, cavalry. All right. Cavalry is nearly in range of the reinforcements. Honestly, probably the toughest part of this enemy army. Oh. Can we not do this? Thank you. There we go. The, the constant uh, cutscenes are really messing me up. All right. Charge down on this warband. It's a rebel army, so they should break pretty easily. Okay. One break. Let's pull back. Charge again. Another break. All right. The big general will go attack them. You go here. You chase them down. And you help chase them down. Yes, charge down the hill at the druids. I used uh, rally troops to keep him safe. Because they have good morale. Look at this morale. This is crazy. Okay. Enemy Got him. Now hunt them down. All right. The enemy warlord is dead. Slain by your brave warriors. What's inside the city? Just some warband. So we could grab some naked fanatics and just have some fun with this. Let's get them inside the city. Our warriors have taken the walls. Now the streets will run with blood. All right, I'm going to attack from all sides with naked fanatics with war cry enabled. Everyone use war cry, everyone charge in. Oh, my goodness. This is a, this is a clinic. I think this is a blender, technically. Let's slow this down, see the last few die in, in, in true motion. Oh my goodness. Warcry is crazy. When I was a kid, I was like, Warcry, that's dumb. I don't need that. Warcry is wild. All right, we lost about 190. We lost 90. And we got Ireland. Very good. We will... Do we want to enslave Ireland? That feels mean. I'm going to occupy Ireland. They love being occupied in Ireland. <laughs> Sorry, that's mean. Uh, we will leave behind some... What do we want to leave here? Maybe 
Maybe we'll just build some peasants and then we will leave behind one unit, just like some skirmishers. That's good enough. And then we can just cross the channel. We want to go down to Londinium. We want to do this the safe way because we don't want to lose a whole army on this fleet if it gets sunk by pirates. All right. That is Ireland and England conquered. 19 regions. We are so close to 20. Look at this empire. This is actually crazy. This is by far the fastest I've grown in any campaign, but also this is the best faction I've played as. How many countries have I visited? We're going to count together. United States. Lived there. Germany. Lived there. I visited Canada. I'm counting on my hands. You don't have to count. Um, Mexico. France. England. Ireland. Netherlands. Belgium. No, Belgium I drove through. I'm not going to count it. Um, Italy. Switzerland I drove through. I'm not going to count it. Um, the UAE. Japan. Spain. Portugal. 13. No. Oh, man. There's, there's Caribbean islands, too. Ah. Uh, been to, so Honduras is 14. And I think there was a 15th one in the Caribbean that I don't remember what it was. <laughs> I'm sorry. Is Grand Turk an island or a country? I, I think Grand Turk is an island in maybe the Grand Turk's islands country. I don't know. If I can't name it, I'm not going to count it. So I think 14. 14 countries. Yeah. I'm going to take another 30 second break. Hold on. I think that's a fair amount of countries. But I want to go to more. I love traveling. My wife and I traveled 140 days last year, including anything outside of our state, which is Arizona. So most of that was in the US, but a lot of it was international. We love traveling. If there are any other questions, it's very easy for me to answer questions while I respond to text, which is what I'm doing. It, they're important texts. I promise I'm not just texting for fun. But if you have any other questions, it's a good time for Q&A. And then we'll get back to taking regions. Okay, let's check out our announcements. Faction announcements, yes. We lost Rick Burgess, Hero's Death, at Lugdinensis. Construction Report, Trier, Meeting Hall. Let's build stables here. Batavadorum Stables, Stockade. Vicus Marcomani. We got communal farming. Let's go for... Oh, a stockade and the Scythians are invading. So that's cool. We're going to build some screeching women and we are going to address that. Lemonum, we finally have up to a large town and we are already building a port here. Good. Let's build some barbarian peasants here just for our public order. Okay. Scythians. 
Allies not behaving particularly like allies. I have an idea though. <laughs> They're gonna love this. Hey friends, would you like to fight some rebels? <laughs> You're my allies, right? Thank you. Great. Yeah, Daryl, a lot of those countries are, like, all of the ones on my side of the world were very cheap for us to visit. We go on cruises. That's an easy way to visit places like Mexico. We've been to Canada a couple times just because we pass through it when we fly to the UK or something. So, UK is a place we've been a lot. Um, anyway, I'm going to start this battle and run away and let my Scythian allies do the work. But, um... Yeah, actual expensive trips. We did a Europe trip last summer that was so expensive. We blew a horrifying amount of money on credit cards. Um, but it was, was it worth it? I think so. We went to a lot of fun places. So. Let's see how these Scythians do. If you're going to invade my territory and say you're an ally, you're going to have to put in some work. Let's go sit in a corner. That's lovely. This is kind of really smart. I just need to bring all the rebels over to Scythian allies and just fight them with Scythian allies. 22 is a lot of countries. <laughs> Are those mostly European? Yeah, Scythia, big fan. Go get him, Scythia. Something I need to work on in this campaign is I need long-range archers. Because if I'm going to be fighting Scythians and Parthians, you got to have long-range archers. It's the only way to compete with horse archers. Because if you have standard-range archers, they just stay out of range of you, and you're never going to be able to deal with the Scythian horse archers. But if you have long-range ones then you will easily rip them to shreds, like I'm doing in the Dacia campaign. So I, I have those, I just need to lock them. I think Alessia, I'm like probably seven turns away from having chosen Archer Warband. So I will do that. Come on guys, keep working, Scythians. Are they, are they firing? Yeah, they're firing. We're just waiting around on the Scythians. That's awesome. Yeah, I want to do more, like, staying at hostels, I guess technically backpacking. Um, I'd love to do that. Highland sounds fun. I, I, I like the idea of a place that's really cheap to visit. <laughs> like, it's not cheap to fly to, but very cheap to try good food and do fun stuff. So, And I, I hear it's very beautiful. Thailand would be fun. Yeah, long range archers are quintessential. I'm going to beeline for that. I didn't realize Scythia was going to betray me. So I guess we have to fast track that plan. I, I've had a very weird campaign. I usually go straight for route, like very specific units. Like in the Dacia campaign, I just beelined for long range archers because I was under pressure. But in this campaign, I'm not under almost any pressure. So I've just been using my starting armies and that's been fine. Um, but now I'm gonna have to figure out long range archers because yeah, otherwise Scythia is gonna absolutely sweep the floor with me as they say. All right, I'm corner camping, I'm proud of it. I'm being a little bit cheesy, but you know, what? I'm going to I'm going to camp even further in the corner. I'm going to go all the way back there. Thank you, Scythians. Yes, valiant charge in. Sacrifice your, yourselves for the cause. They're actually winning the battle. Okay. Oh, yes, the Scythians are broken. Very good. Screw you. Don't try it again.
this is this is taking too long in my opinion <laughs> these horse archers are doing good work though we need to win the battle in order for the rebel army to despawn so plus if we win we might get a man of the hour out of this would be which would be really funny if this guy became a man of the hour having done no work and just relying on allies but i've seen it happen before if you win the battle and you're the one that started the battle you can get a man of the hour out of it yeah i would love to go to austria um I lived in Germany when I was a kid, but I didn't do much. I was homeschooled, even though it was illegal to homeschool in Germany. But I was only homeschooled up until like third grade. I'm not a homeschool kid, but yes, I was homeschooled for a bit. Yeah, that whole part of the world is beautiful. I loved Bavaria. Are you guys really not going to fight? You're cowards. Fine, I will fight them. But yeah. Let's run over there. My favorite places. I thought I was going to hate Dubai. Dubai was cool. I went there for a school project during my master's degree. We did like a consulting project there. So we just stayed there for a month and worked. It was really fun. Kind of like a very sad and weird place as far as like, I don't know, ethical or whatever. If you, if you think about that which I did. It was weird. But the people there are really nice. Like the people that are not the weird multimillionaires and posers are really nice there. Heroic victory. Yeah, I did work. <laughs> Zero casualties. Man of the hour. Captain Sisythicus. Isn't this the name of the guy that died in that horrible way who I loved? The guy who had all the really good, uh, like they who got the Scythian mercenaries in the first place. Superior commander, command talent, and sharp. My luck has been glorious in this campaign. Yes, I accept him. Thank you, Scythian allies, my friends. All right, let's grab. We probably need some actual troops now. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll do a unit of Screeching Women. No, we'll just do Spear War Band. We don't need Screeching Women. We want Phalanxes for dealing with Scythia, I guess. Honestly, we, we really need those long range archers. Let me check on Alicia. Two more turns till we have the Circle of Donar, and then we can do archery range. What has been my luck in this campaign? All right, end of turn report. 11,700 denarii profit because of that gift from the Julii. Yes, thank you, Julii. Cool. Yuvavum has expanded. Finally, a large town over here. 19 regions. One more until I get to switch over to the second live split thing. Oh my goodness. This has been... This has been brutal. Thanks for stopping by, Daryl. I enjoyed having you here. Have a good day. I'm resting for a moment. <laughs> I'm tired. All right. We're doing it. We gotta keep the momentum up. Do we have any generals near Lugdunum? Let's. We're gonna need to end a few turns and just move our army from England south. And we're gonna start picking up Narbomardius, Massilia, Batavia, and Medilanium. That's gonna be our, our mission for now. I'm gonna leave Dacia alone for now. I'm just. I don't wanna deal with it. Let's build some Spear Warband and let's retrain the units in Lugdunum. We just need to get a general for Lugdunum and then that'll be good for taking out Gallic cities. Kind of tempted to just build an army without a general. Oh no, we have a general here, Vanius. Oh, you're horrible though. I'm not getting an army bribe just because I use Vanius. Vanius the monster.
Yeah, Chuck, I will. Um, I got a bunch of sandwich supplies, so I will be taking a break to make a sandwich eventually. But I am waiting for the spouse or Mrs. TD Sniper to say that she's going on her lunch and then she'll give me a call and I'll take 10 and I'll make a sandwich and then we will be back full of energy ready to conquer. All right, let's go ahead and end this turn. Nothing else to do. Candidate for adoption. I'm glad we're finally catching up with the fast rate of growth. Adelheid of Lugdunum. I'll take him. He's in a quincum. <laughs> Nice. That makes sense, right? Adelaide of Lugdunum? 1,500 miles away in a quincum? Yeah, cool, man. All right. <laughs> He's good. Uh, 29 years old, confident commander. Let's move some people around. Okay, we have a good general here. Fertuis of Argentorate is going to be a good candidate to head over to Lugdunum. Although it would be funny to return that guy who's called uh, of Lugdunum. What's his name? Adelheid of Lugdunum. He's not going back to Lugdunum yet. He's going to Yuvavum, and then he might go to Lugdunum later. But for now, we're going to send this guy because he's actually going to be a good general. And he will go to Lugdunum. It'll take him uh, five or six turns, and he will reunite with his army, march south, and take out Massilia. Hrodgar has been born. Hrodgar. That will be a... A great general someday. Construction report. Samarobrava. We have communal farming. We'll go for market. Let's see what that does to trade. Nothing. We're not going to go for that. Let's instead go for meeting hall. Something like that. Londinium. Blacksmith. Nice. Nothing else to buy there. Quincum. Musterfield. Nothing to buy there. Tara. Nothing to buy there. Perfect. Let's move Ari Ariogeisus. You're telling me that's a German name. Ariogeisus. Ari oh. I, I can't think of that being a German name. But uh, Ariogeisus the Conqueror is going to go down, catch a boat over to the mainland, and begin conquering south. 2,772 profits this turn. Our trade is up to 2,959. That's a slight improvement. I'll take it. But yeah, it's never going to be very high until we take all of the Mediterranean, which will be forever. Anything we need to do right now? Tavadorum, you're happy? No, you're at 70%. That's happy enough for me, though. The Scythians are just lurking. They're just standing there menacingly. I almost want to bribe them. I think I will bribe them. I'm going to build a diplomat because I don't want them hanging around with horse archers that are probably really cheap to bribe because they don't have a general. I'm going to build a spear warband at Lovacis just in case Captain Luco attacks. I don't have any strength here. I don't want to lose the city over something stupid like that or have to move around all my armies if we get attacked. All right. Yes. I'm still here. Looked on him. What do we build? Practice range? No, we need... I think we need population growth rate. Alessia? Oh. Sacred Circle of Donar next turn. <laughs> okay, we're going to build a unit of peasants, which we'll send down to Looked on him to disband next turn. And then we're going to get to build some berserkers. All right, going to take a once over of the empire, make sure there's nothing we need to do. Should we just keep our spy here? Probably. Let's have my general come down here and drop a watchtower. That's nice. That is a lot of range. Oh, I'm tempted to come pick this up. I'll pick this up a little later. Maybe once we take uh, Batavium. I don't want to risk losing a, a city. All right, let's uh, end the turn.
Construction report. Batavadorum. We got a stockade here. Sure. Blacksmith. Yeah, let's do it. Vicus Marcomani stockade. We'll go for a meeting hall. Want to be able to defend there. Vicus Gotti stockade. Alicia. We can build berserkers. I know it takes two turns. I know they're super expensive, and there are only forty-eight soldiers in each unit, but they're so fun. I'm I'm doing it. I'm so excited. And what do we want to build next? Archery range. We need those chosen archer warband. Lemonum, we have a port here, which is nice. Let's go for communal farming. We need that population growth rate. You have them, we have a warlord's hold. We're finally up to a large town here. Let's go for stockade, and then we'll work on population growth rate. Tara, also warlord's holds. How much is a port worth? 60. That'll pay for itself in 10 turns. Worth it. Deva, once this is big enough to have a port, that'll be nice. Yeah. Man, the UK is so underdeveloped. Maybe we should leave one general in uh, England. Is there a really bad one? This guy's good. This guy's, well... Yeah, he's, he's pretty good. This guy, also pretty good, unfortunately. Kind of want to pass off some of this retinue. This guy's getting up there in age. Ario Geisus, you're great, but you're getting old. We should pass off. We have plus one morale ready for this guy. Who's younger? This guy, and he's a good, good commander, doesn't have any morale increases. So Rick Bolda of Albus, we're going to give you... a famous warrior and maybe a shield bearer and a galloper and beastmaster and a veteran warrior and mercenary captain let's see how you are now much better very good four stars of command at least plus one morale good I'm, I'm glad i did that Kind of tempted to just leave this guy behind, but we'll let him feel like a conqueror a little bit more. Just going to get rid of all this retinue. End of turn report. We profited 5,791. Very good. We honestly got a lot of ships in this area. We can just kill this Gallic Navy. I don't know why I didn't do that before. And can we can we mix these together? Beautiful. That's a nice fleet. Go attack some rebels, some pirates. Get them out of here. Next turn, we'll be able to get our faction leader across the pond. All right, let's check on this guy and his track to Lugdunum. Any good things to buy here? We'll buy this. Sure. Where do we want to send it? Yovavum. Just for the population. Yeah, we'll send that to Yovavum. This guy from Lugdunum is going to go to Yovavum. But really, from a Quincum. Uh, I don't know why I find that funny. You guys probably don't find that funny, but... I'm the one in charge. You can't stop me. Alright, where did this Scythian army go? Oh, Duras is invading. Leave me alone! Okay, we're gonna march south. We're gonna pick up some Illyrians. We're gonna build a unit in Lovasis. And Duras is gonna leave me alone, because he's a nice guy. Look at this huge empire. This is beautiful. All right. Anything we need to do? I'm going to send a spy down here. I just want to see what's going on. Because this guy, now that there's no longer a Dacian, like Doras isn't over here. Could just go sneak and pick this up. 
I do it. We'll see. Don't tell them. I'm sneaking over. All right. Let's end the turn. Hmm. Candidate for adoption. Eh. No traits. He's 30. I'm going to decline him. I feel like we'll get another candidate for adoption. He's just not that good. Let's ferry my faction leader across and then see if we can sink this rebel fleet. No, we can't. Okay, good stuff. You try to get to a port next turn. Yeah, we really need large ships if we're going to get rid of these uh, pirates. Probably won't happen. That's okay. Samaropova doesn't need the population from this. We will drop off this barbarian mercenary at Logdunum. Yeah, help them grow. And a turn report lost 674 denarii. That's okay. Mugantiacum grows. Would you look at that? Minor city. We're going to have lots of long range archers coming in soon. Ermengarda. See, that is a German name. Ermengarda has been born. Proper. Happy about that. Trier. Stables. Let's go for a blacksmith. We're doing a good amount of training here, or we will be once we hit 6,000 population. So worth having. Lugdunum, we have land clearance. I'm going to build the roads because we're going to be bringing troops down this path. So we want roads to speed that up. All right. Okay, we have a big garrison here, this fort. So should we really be pushing south? Probably not. I'm gonna operate under the same policy I've had this whole time though, where if I lose a city with just some random garrison and if I lose a quincum, who cares? It's not like I lost a general. There's 600 people here. But if I go take Segestica and I don't lose a quincum, that's a good thing. So I'm just gonna keep an eye on this fort and not give up on my dreams. We're going to build a unit of Spear Warband here because the Gauls are trying to mount an attack against you of them. Get some mercenaries as well. And we have the upside that we can disband these mercenaries for population a little later once we beat this army. So, And we have more... Reinforcements coming in. Let's... Uh, I'll disband this unit. Even though they had a shove of experience. I just don't want them to get attacked in the field. When they could just be population in the city. Alright. You are so close to Lugdunum, man. Three more turns. Speaking of Lugdunum, how's the army looking? Okay. Maybe some more Axemen. Yeah, let's combine these cavalry. We've got a good amount of cavalry. A little more cavalry would be good. But I don't just want to be bashing around in cavalry like I do in the Spanish campaign. I like infantry. I'm going to play with infantry while I can. General. General. All right. How are we doing? Where is Duras even going? Let's give him some reinforcements. It's crazy with just a couple of Spear Warband, how strong an army gets. I notice if I have like three units of it, I can win pretty much anything. But if I have one, not a chance. German army is very strange. All right. Nothing to be done. Unless I am mistaken. No, I think we're good to go. It's so funny how many turns these cities have been red happiness. No rioting ever. I don't think I've had any rioting in this campaign yet. Yeah, this fleet's getting sunk. It stinks, but it's okay. Uh, just keep keep trying to make it to the port. <laughs> You'll never make it. But. Faction announcements. Coming of age. New general. Okay. Adelgard, feeling poorly. 
Publicly loyal's good. Judgmental's eh. Good ambusher and scouter, okay. Okay. He's fine. Mogontiakum has a general now. Sisithakis of Vetera. This is my new man of the hour, and he just got married. Wonderful. Ah, uh, he's subject of rumors because of his wife. She's a bit promiscuous, unfortunately. It's okay, man. We still love you. And we have two new family members, Markui and Etelgis. Etelgis, that sounds German. All right. Wikus Gotai, we completed a stockade here. We'll just get a meeting hall. No, I don't know. We don't need axemen up here. We'll go for a sacred grove of Freya. That's good. Demarobriva, meeting hall. Practice range, sure. You have them. Um, we have a stockade. Let's build a hmm. Interesting question. Blacksmith, because we're gonna have some fighting in this region. So it'd be nice to be able to get these troops have armor and weapons. In Lugdunum, we got roads. Let's build communal farming. No. Population's so small, it doesn't even matter what the growth rate is. A practice range. No. Population so small we can't even train anything. Blacksmith makes sense. We're going to have an army passing through here. So we should be able to train those up. Get them new weapons. Get them new armor. Good. Tara, we have a port. Let's build land clearance. We profited 312 denarii that turn. Let's march our faction leader south. And this general is just two turns away from Lugdunum. Any good mercenaries? We'll take some barbarian cavalry mercenaries. That's good. And he picked up a mercenary captain plus one command. That's wonderful. Carolus of Aventicum is ready to take Segestica. Still rebel, shockingly. There's a lot of places that are still rebel really late in the game in this campaign. Like, how is this still rebel? How was Terra still rebel? I don't know, but I am not going to complain. Uh, we have some Gauls outside of a Quincum one unit. No matter what that one unit is, they cannot kill three units of Illyrians. So I'm okay with that. This guy, I mean, should we just go kill Duras? What are you doing up here, man? Yeah, he's good. I mean, Brave is a great trait. Spartan is good. Lily Livered. How are you Brave and Lily Livered? Minus one morale from that. Plus two morale from Brave. But what, what has he got here? Nah, nothing too good. We can beat him. I just want to get him out of my territory. Coming up on eight hours of filming or of streaming. Oi. All right. Let's draw up next to this rock. Got some Illyrians here. Cavalry. Let's see where they draw up. Okay. Good position for them. Hmm. Let's rotate, well, let me uh, group them and then rotate around this way. It's so funny whenever this song comes on because I've made all of my intros and my like, I think my, my pause thing for the stream, everything that I've done with this channel has been to this song. <laughs> so I'm like triggered. Feels like I'm watching one of my videos. All right. Go on, move up here. We want to not fight in the woods because we have phalanxes. So let's go up here. Uh, don't run. No, it's fine. You can run. Whatever. They're not going to try to attack us. Doesn't matter what you do. All right. Just slowly move up. 
They have the high ground, but they only have one unit of archers. I want to just slowly walk at them. I don't want to give them any chance to fire off all their arrows. So we're just going to walk, 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 walk. Oh, they're so smart. Why are they playing smart right now? I feel like I never see AI playing this smart. They're hiding in the woods because they know my phalanxes won't be able to follow them. Like, what? This is not Rome Total War I'm watching right now. There we go. Yeah, charge into the front. That's that's Rome Total War AI for you. <laughs> Great. Okay, go kill him. Duras is fleeing the battle like a coward he is. Actually don't know where Duras is, which is really scary because he could try to kill my general, but keep moving. Oh wow, did we did we break him? I don't know where he is. Uh, let me look around. Where is this guy? Where is he? Am I crazy? Is this not Doris' army? Am I like hallucinating? I thought this was Doris' army. Maybe he left the battlefield already. We're going to find out soon. <laughs> uh, we killed 80% of the enemy army. We've won the battle. Let's end it. Yeah, Duras. We just never found him. I don't know how he broke. Where did he go? Famous warrior. Yes, I love that. Look how good this guy's getting. 22 years old, bloody, firm personal morality, publicly loyal, sharp, command talent, spirit. This guy's crazy. We're going to check out who our faction heir is, and we might switch him over. Faction heir is Carolus. He's not good. We're going to do Sethithicus. His son. Ooh, I think his... Not really his son. He was adopted via Man of the Hour. But yeah, that's going to be our new faction heir for sure. <laughs> Sorry, Carolus. Oh, and, and they're... Oh, is this another Carolus? I don't know. Sorry to the guy that was disinherited. But yeah, we need we need a Sisythicus of Vetera as our factionary. He's gonna be Sisythrus the Conqueror eventually, so. Alright. No more invading armies. That's good. We're gonna march south and intercept maybe these Gauls, maybe these stations. I'm not sure. I should send Carolus back up north, though, just to see if there are any Scythians. As soon as we have Scythians available, I want them. So, that is your job, buddy. I can't believe those Scythians have made it all the way south to here, gotten two chevrons of experience, not taken any casualties. We've healed them twice, but it's a Gestica. We'll take that next turn, and that will be 20. Anything else we need to do this turn? Think not. Yeah, I think we're good to go. It's on this turn. All right, yep, that ship. Is it going to sink yet? Can we just, can we get it somewhere safe or sink it? Thank you. Okay. And what was just besieged? Yehovah? Are you sure? Okay, I'm not sure why they would do that with that specific army and no general, but okay. But Havadorum, we have a blacksmith. Should we do a market? No, I'm not going to do a market. That's a waste of money. Even if we have excess money, that's a waste of money. Wikus, Marcomani, we have a meeting hall. We'll go for a practice range next. Lemonum, we have communal farming. Let's go to stockade. I feel like we're likely to get attacked there by Spanish eventually. We profited 1,597 denarii that turn. Yuvavum is besieged, yes. Let's fight this out. This shouldn't be too hard, right? I'm not crazy. No, we can handle this. Right, yeah, we'll be fine. All right, we, where do we want to fight this? So obviously we have our front line, Spear Warband. 
We have our barbarian mercenaries, generals unit. These are all important parts of the, the puzzle. Let's start the battle and let's just first pull our phalanx outside of the city. <laughs> so, gets me every time. All right. Where are you guys going? Okay, let's get some Illyrians outside of the city. Some barbarian mercenaries. And then some more barbarian mercenaries. Grab the barbarian cavalry. You gotta let them go through one at a time. Can't be crowding the gate. There we go. Over here. And get my general over here. All right. I don't need these 14 Sarmatians because they are just more of a liability than anything. All right. Let's do this. Well, may as well do it over here because if we can use a tower, that's good. I'm going to drop my phalanx just in case I'm not paying attention and they charge. All right. They're, they're weaselly today. Okay, go here. Barbarian mercenaries, go here. Lyrians there. General, cavalry, boom. And once they're all in place, I'm gonna have them group up and that's gonna be their new formation. Oh, do they just wanna fight by any chance? Hmm, no. Okay, walk a little further forward. And then a little further forward again. All right. Skirmishers are charging. Don't want them to get any missiles off. Really, guys? You're going to break from that? General, go do it. There we go. Get back. What was that, guys? We cannot be breaking in those circumstances. All right, Skirmisher Warband has reformed. If they try to do that again, I'll just break them again. I'm just gonna keep doing this until they go away. They usually only reform like two or three times. All right, no, oh, go away. They're not really much of a threat anymore. 61 of them. Okay, let's just march forward. We're gonna slow this down to double time. And I want to be ready with War Cry for the mercenaries. Okay. War Cry. Oh, no, 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 no. No, no, no. Oh, my goodness. Walk forward. Jeez. This is a little bit messy. You walk into them. You walk over there. Help them out. General, go over here for moral support. War cry should still be on, hopefully. I don't know if it's still on. This war band is shaken, that's good. But my mercenaries are shaken too. Let's see if we can encircle the enemy and make them feel not good. Oh, my general's right at the front, I don't wanna lose him. Charge in. Oh, this is how I lost my last general, I gotta be careful. Let me get my cavalry in here. Okay, we rallied troops and broke this unit. Let's get my general back. He's very weak. You guys can go chase back the... Okay, they're running. That's good. All right. Just wrap up whoever's fleeing. Try and stop the skirmisher warband. Get some more kills on them. And I'll be happy with that battle.
Continue the battle just for some more kills. Good stuff. Killed 83% of the enemy, I believe. 84%? Just shy of the 85% we would have needed to make the army disband. But that's okay. Lost 366 soldiers. It's a bit steep, but it's okay. Yuvavum is secured. Let's retrain our spear warband. And any more mercenaries we could pick up? No, that's okay. Got good commander from that, though. That's good. Are we ready to take our 20th region? I think we are. Man, I cannot believe it. We're doing well. This is tough, but we're doing well. All right, Segestica. We have one uh, siege equipment. One ram. I think we can do it with one. We're going to try it. All right, no messing around. Scythian mercenaries, get in range and let loose. Good, yeah, gonna get a lot of damage with the Scythians. No breaks ever, have a blood clot and die. For a second there, I was having a lot of breaks, but it's probably been like two hours since I had a break. I'm fine, though. I don't need breaks. That's not how you conquer the world with breaks. All right. Are you guys firing? You look like you're just kind of phoning it in. All right, Illyrians, get close to the gate. I have a question for those of you who are watching. What are your favorite YouTubers or uh, like categories of YouTube video? I'm just curious like what the overlap is between the people who watch my videos and other completely unrelated videos. I'm going to have skirmish mode off because they only have Illyrians in here. So if they skirmish and they have the disadvantage, they don't fire as fast. So fire. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Jeez. Good stuff, guys. All right. Charge them in. We'll just break this unit. <laughs> Of course not. No, we're actually going to break. Three on one, we're going to break. That's that's the way we do things. All right, let's get our Scythians up to the plate. I'm a big fan of... I was, I was a big fan. I, nothing changed to make me not a fan. I just haven't watched his videos in a while. But I used to watch a lot of his videos. Critical, that's his name. I was like, why can I not remember what he calls himself? Gaming and comedy food. Mm -hmm. Cool. No, Scythians don't die. No. I know what I must do. Oh, no. I'm not going to be able to heal those Scythians because I've lost so many Illyrians. Mm. Nice. Okay. All right. Those are actual casualties. Boo. I'm going to get some Sarmatians and actual cavalry in there and just kill them. My new true nerd I love. I honestly 
probably the reason I did this, my first series, and actually stuck to it, was because of many a True Nerd series. I just realized, like, oh my gosh, you can make really good content. If you just put in some effort, you can make... Like, I love that old uh, Broody Eye series he did. Big fan. Don't know Uber Hacks or Nova. But. Yeah, uh, many a True Nerd. Haven't watched them in a while. I don't watch that much YouTube anymore, but... Because I'm just busy, but... Fan of him. Um, who else? Honestly, lately, I've been very impressed by like Casey Neistat. I've been really enjoying, even though that's kind of like, I don't know, it's a very specific type of content. It's very on the nose artsy, but I've been enjoying Casey Neistat. I've been enjoying H Bomber guy, who is, I, I would say, probably controversial, but I love the the screaming British thing. <laughs> Big fan. Berserkers! I have Berserkers, guys! Oh, I want to use them. I'm using them right now. I don't even think they can win this battle, but I'm doing it. I'm just fighting this army. I want to see how they do. <laughs> who else? Who else do I like on YouTube? Oh, um, Super Carlin Brothers. If you guys have ever watched them. I'm a big Harry Potter nerd, so that's the only explanation for that. Look at these guys. Okay, I haven't used Berserkers in years. I'm pretty sure you basically get like a war cry. Is it a normal war cry? I think it's like a crazy war cry where they lose control and go berserk. Uh, okay, let's try it out. I'm going to use it right before we get there. I'm going to be so sad if it's not that impressive. I have memories of these guys being very cool. I might be thinking of the... Are there Barbarian Invasion Berserkers that are really cool? And these guys are not that cool? I don't know. Yes, go for it, Andrew. That's, that's usually a menacing question to ask. <laughs> oh, okay. Break time. Uh, my wife is calling. So I'm going to take that 10-minute break I was talking about. 10, 15 minutes. I'll be right back, and then I will answer your question, Andrew. Sorry, but yeah, gotta answer. <laughs>
Hello! I'm back! Sorry that took so long. We all still here. Alright, let's let's get our timer running again. Alright, where were we? Andre, you were going to ask me a question, and I am going to ask you a question. Is it pronounced Andre or Andre? You can say Andre like Andy or Andre like laundry. Because I know someone with the name Andre and someone with the name Andre. I was on the phone with my wife. As I think most of you know at this point, she is on the first week of working for a big YouTuber with like hundreds of millions of subscribers. Her day has been baffling. Uh, yesterday, she, I don't think I've told this story yet. She had to, with like 40 minutes notice, throw a party for this YouTuber and his friends and was given a comp company credit card, had to go to Best Buy and buy five PlayStation 5s, get them home, get them set up. Then go buy like a thousand dollars worth of sushi and energy drinks and then uh, burgers and the sushi needed to be cold and the burgers needed to be hot. And this all needed to arrive at the party on time in like an hour or two from when she was told she had to do all this. And that was her day. <laughs> Anyways, what were we doing? We were playing with berserkers testing them out for the first time let's see so we need to do a war cry well that they just say war cry they don't just war cry they say war cry and they've gone berserk all right let's see how they do against this first unit of warband all right we've lost one this unit's shaken steady We've lost control of this unit. So that's how berserkers work. They go berserk, and then you lose control of them. I was not hoping everyone left, Chuck. I was hoping people would still be here because I was gone for like 25 minutes. And I said it would be 10 or 15. But wow, look at these guys go. What, what is even happening? <laughs> yeah, get it, berserkers. Heroic in bloodlust and oblivious to the world. Fresh. They are just ripping through this army. I doubt they're going to win this. Oh my gosh, they actually broke one of these units. I'm a fan of Berserkers. What, what now? Do you guys just hang out? <laughs> hang out with the Druids? They're kind of the same energy. Alright. This unit will probably beat them though. This is crazy. I'm going to be using a lot of Berserkers. Look at them go. Killed the enemy general. Another unit broken. Will they deal with the druids though? There's only seven berserkers left. I don't think they can handle the druids. Unfortunately. There are 53 druids. Very close to handling this entire army though. Which is very impressive. Yeah, three left. Not a chance. Well done though. It was a valiant effort. Yep. Every last one died. All right, Andre, Andre, well, how's the, how do you pronounce your name? <laughs> Is it Andre, like Andy, or Andre, like laundry? All right, we killed 344 of them. Lost the entire unit. That's crazy. I'm going to get more of those, because that was awesome. Let's get, like, two more units of Berserkers. This is where my entire budget's going to go. R&D and training berserkers. All right, actually 30 seconds this time. I just need to turn on the AC because it's hot in here. The sun's coming up. It's going in through the window, so it's getting hot in here now.
guess that's what happens when you stream for nine hours straight. All right, still no answer from Andy Laundry. Okay, where were we? Oh, I forgot. I captured Segestica and I forgot to clock that we got our 20th region. How did no one catch me, guys? Let's switch over the live split. All right. Officially marking 20 regions happened at like eight, eight hours and some change because we were not very precise. Close enough, though. All right. 20 regions, 20 out of 30 or 20 out of 50, 30 more. We're doing great. We are feeling strong. I turned a fan on, and if it's at all loud, someone has to say something in the comments, and I'll turn it off. I'm just turning it on for a few minutes, but don't be nice to me. If you hear it, tell me, and I'll turn it off. All right. Man, they are just relentless. The Dacians really want Lovishus back. How many people are in Lovishus? 1269. Let's get some Barbarian Mercenaries. Disband them inside the boundary of the territory let's just sit on this road can we bring some Illyrians over yes okay captain day picks i don't really want to start a fight with him but if he attacks me we'll do it we'll fight and duras is over here ah, i hate you duras i'll get you one day Corollas. All right, we need you to go up to Wikus Gotai and try and find some Scythian mercenaries. We need more of them. And Ariagaisus the Conqueror. You're marching south. Can we just get by this? Can you? Thank you. I just want him to get out of the way. Perfect. Go south through Lugdunum. Fortuous of Argentrate has finally arrived at Lugdunum this turn. So next turn, we will be able to march south and attack Massilia. And then Ariogaisus, the Conqueror, will be able to go take out Narbo Martius. And then we can turn our attention to Italy, finally. Over here, we have some Gauls. Captain Karatok. Hmm. We'll build one unit of Spear Warband, even though it stinks... We're going to lose the population here. We just don't want to lose the city. All right. Anything else to do? I don't think so. We have a diplomat over here. I want to remember that. We don't need it right now, but if the Scythians come back, he'll be there. Let's go ahead and end this turn. Okay, Captain Daypix wants to fight. So, ooh, three units of Archer Warband. That's kind of scary. Hmm. <sighs> That's going to be hard to fight. Sisythicus of Vetera. How good are you? Can you handle this? I'm going to fight this. I don't have high hopes, because three units of Archer Warband is really hard to deal with, especially when you have phalanxes and short-range just skirmishers. I can use my general, but then I risk losing him if he runs into Volksman or something. So we need to be very careful. Is there any high ground we can use? Over here, there's a little bit. But if we go over here, they have higher ground if they match us. Over here, is that the same thing? Over here, that is the same thing. Maybe over here, it's fairly flat. Yeah, this is fairly flat. All right, we're gonna get our Spear Warband here. And we're gonna have our Illyrians in front of them because we don't want the archers to just be dumping arrows into my Spear Warband over and over. We wanna get out there, kill the archers if possible. So how are they gonna do this? 
Are they going to lead with warband, with archers? What's what's the plan? Just waiting for them to make a decision on how they do this. I don't know. I mean, if they're going to just charge, then it would be advantageous to be behind the spear warband. Hmm. Let's back up a little bit. I'm going to try something. Typical TD sniper plan. Send your extremely important general. You've made your factionary because you're banking your entire success of your future nation on him. And just send him on a little trip about the army. All right, hold on one more break. Sorry, folks. Going to be just a sec. Uh, my wife's calling. More news about the, the YouTuber. Please forgive me for the constant breaks. I promise we'll get back to it soon.
I'm back. Thank you for your patience or your your lack of patience. If you, I guess I don't know that you were patient. You could have been really angry, but we're back. The timer is running again. And as I promised, I can't give specifics of stories, but I can allude to the stories that I got from that phone call. That is my payment for you guys waiting for me to come back from being absent. So the YouTuber she's working for, uh, today they're just driving around in tanks, blowing stuff up. And that's, that's the job. They're just blowing things up in tanks. So, yeah. <laughs> what were we doing? We were fighting a battle. We were looping our general around the army trying to get to Archer Warband. All right, we're back. Let's do this. Okay. Can we reach the Archer Warband without getting pinned by Warband? That's the question. All right, so over here, Falksmen are getting involved with the Illyrians. They're shaken. Good. Okay. Peasants have caught up to my general, but that's not a problem. Peasants are wavering. Once they break, I'm going to disconnect. Uh, no, they're not going to break. Okay, back up. Get out of there. Don't want to get pinned. So what's happening here? Broke the Dacian Falksmen. Good. General is back to safety. Archer Warband are exposed. All right, we're going to charge into these Archer Warband. Everything's going well on the infantry front. Okay, we just need to get rid of these Archer Warband. Okay, no. That's Warband. Get out of there. Okay. Just get them to safety, and then I can loop back around and hit the Archer Warband. Does sound like a cool job, yeah. A lot of shit work. Um... So we'll see if she takes the job. This is like a trial. And then she decides if she wants the job. But yeah, it's a lot of crazy work. So we will see. I don't even know if I've talked about her, but she is overqualified for any job you can imagine. She's got four bachelor's degrees and never got a B in college. Straight A's. All right. Let's slam into the back of these warband. They're going to break. They're already shaken. Broken? Beautiful. Okay. And that was the commander of the army. So morale will be a little bit easier to handle now. Enemy general's dead. That's good. All right, can we now go finally kill the Archer Warband? Yeah, my my Spear Warband are not happy right now. They're getting shredded. We've lost a lot of them to Archers. Okay. Archer Warband broken. Let's get the other one. On this front, they're charging into the front of my prepared spear warband. Not working out. Wavering. They'll break soon. Good. I think we're going to wrap this army up. Peasants. Yep. Easy. Uh, let's, let's stay away from these warband. I'm going to have these guys chase them down. Don't need to be in Vong's position anymore. Just... Charge in there. Their general's dead. They're surrounded. Charge in here. There we go. Broken. Last unit will break. All right. Archer Warband. Let's grab them. Bit sloppy. Took 25 minutes because I had to take a break for a phone call. There might be more phone calls in the future. I apologize in advance. I know you guys want an uninterrupted viewing experience, but yeah. When she calls, got to answer. All right, um, we'll grab a few more kills. 78%. Yeah, that's not quite enough. Yeah, we're not going to get to 85%. 
That's okay though. We don't need this army to completely despawn. Killed one no 1295 and we lost 212. So pretty good result. Duras is just looming in the distance. I want to get rid of him so badly. I thought that was a plague. I was gonna lose my mind if that was a plague. I heard the little tragedy sound. I was like, no, please. Still no Scythians. Carolus, that's your whole job is to buy Scythians. You're fired. Okay, over here. I'm so tempted to go pick up Duras. Is it just him? It's basically just him. We might go do that. He's up against a mountain. I've got phalanxes. Yeah, I kind of want to do it. All right, over here. Cool. Batavadorm had a flood. No one died. Great. I guess if I'd had a fleet here, it would have been sunk, but beautiful. Happy with that. Let's retrain these guys. Sure. And a turn report. 1700 profits. Still going strong. We're, we have a lot of money for Germania this early in the game. Muguntiakum, we are finally up to a minor city. We're going to go for archery range. We need those long range archers everywhere. So we're going to get that in Muguntiakum. Trier, blacksmith. Yeah, we're going to leave it. We don't need to train any more spies at the moment. So don't need to buy a market. Erwikus Uh We have, what do we get? Sacred Grove of Freya. I think that's the Screeching Women one. Yeah. Let's go for Meeting Hall. Sure. Start getting some infantry upgrades here. At Alessia. Oh my goodness. We have an archery range. Chosen Archer Warband. Oh, and Berserkers. Chosen Archer Warband and Berserkers. Amazing. We're going to go with Chosen Archer Warband as my next unit I train. And then we'll get some Berserkers. We just need both of these to dominate the enemy oh i'm so excited for berserkers i want to have just like six berserkers in every army just send them out before the battle starts and just shred the front line and then send in the real army <laughs> all right oh alessi did i actually build something no do we want chosen axemen next or do we want barbarian noble cavalry barbarian noble cavalry is eh like it's fine i'm gonna do a lot of that in the dacia campaign i want to do axemen i haven't done axemen yet chosen axemen are awesome Attack of 18, effective against armor. Excellent morale. Yes. Yes, please. Tara, land clearance. We're going to go for communal farming. We're just going to slowly upgrade this place. Yeah. Population's going up. Nice and steady. Thank you, Chuck. I appreciate that. I had to rescrew my mic in. It like loosened. My mic is just a mess. It's a whole mess. All right. Let's march south with Ariogysis, the conqueror. I don't know what to expect of Massilia. Probably there's not going to be that much there. Let's grab some Screeching Women. We're going to build a second army. And they will be going over to Narbomardius. So, yeah, that's a good army. I think these two armies can take those two cities. It's going to be a bad couple turns for the Gauls, let me tell you. Let's get communal farming at Lugdunum. And I kind of want to start working on this Gallic army with my Scythian mercenaries. Hmm. I'm surprised this city... I'm losing my mind. Salona. Salona's here, right? Pretty sure this is Salona. I'm surprised Salona is also a rebel. How has no one picked that up? Alright, I want to go kill Duras. No, come back, you coward. I'll get him eventually. Let's work on these Gauls. Mm, 
Yeah, maybe not. That that was a little scarier than I thought. <laughs> we'll, we'll we'll do some damage with some Scythians and then we'll just pull back. That's fine. Yeah, we'll just we'll just start chipping away at them. You just cannot beat these speeches. Ooh, high ground. I love high ground. All right, we're going to grab our standard cavalry and just have them hide away. We're going to have them flee as soon as this battle gets going. And let's get our Scythians in here to do some damage from the high ground. Sorry if I sound like I'm losing my voice. I probably am losing my voice a little bit, but I don't mind if y'all don't mind. All right, we've got the high ground. We'll do a lot of damage from here. Just going to keep switching it up, hit different targets. Along The uh, bigger the unit is that you fire at, the more damage you'll do because they're more concentrated. So that's why I'm doing that. Just going to keep out of the way. Don't want to get caught. Okay. Oh, no. Okay. Slow this down. So this unit of cavalry is charging my Scythians. I'm going to turn off skirmish mode because skirmish mode is just going to get these guys confused. They're going to go in the wrong direction. So go this direction. Hopefully they don't catch us. We got three chevrons of experience, so that's exciting. Let's keep my general nearby as well. Okay. You guys getting some good shots in? Lovely. You guys just hang out. Don't don't get involved if you don't need to. Should we just flee? I don't know, no. We don't need to flee yet. Just yeah. Stay away. If the barbarian cavalry catch me, I can deal with them, but I don't want to deal with them and the warband, so. Just keep moving, keep firing. We'll just do as much damage as we can with our archers, then retreat and do this again next turn. Yeah, honestly, I kind of agree with that. It's been a minute since I played as the Gauls, but I don't know. They're, hmm, they're kind of the fodder in every campaign. I think they were designed to be the fodder for the Julii. I think they wanted you to play as the Julii, and so they wanted you to have an easy enemy to like teach you how to play the game. And I think that really says a lot about, like that 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 shows a lot in the ways that they design this, like the units, the cities, everything. Pretty much every faction has a nice starting city they can take from the Gauls. I don't know. They're not really set up for success. I hope that made sense. But Forster Warband are really good. That's like one of the best units in the game. I had a video I never posted um, just because it was really laggy and I don't know if people would have enjoyed it. But I took, I made a custom battle with one Forester Warband with like max stats against 10,000 peasants. And the Forester Warband won. So. It was a bridge battle, but still, I think that's impressive. All right, we're just still firing off the rest of our ammunition. I'm really hoping that these Scythians can retreat through this way and they don't have to go back this way. That's always kind of scary when you're doing the attack and then retreat method. All right, get some more shots on. Just if there's any way we can get up to silver experience, this would be good. Uh, I don't know, we'll, we'll hold on a second. We'll fire a few more shots.
Yeah, we're not going to get to Silver Experience, I don't think. We'll see, though. Alright, flee. Make it out. There we go. Wonder how many kills we got. No, we're not cowards. We won that. Don't worry, announcer man. So we killed 237 of them. Did we lose any Scythians? Nope. They got one Chevron of experience. Over time, these guys are going to get so good. With each Chevron of experience, they gain one missile attack. So they're at 10 already. Which is just horrifying, honestly. <laughs> Kind of overpowered. Love it. All right, we've got a Gallic army who's outside of you of them. They're not probably a threat, but still I'm going to build a unit here just in case there are more troops around. I don't want to lose this city. We're kind of spread thin right now. All right. I think we're good to end this turn. Right? I mean, what else could we do? Yeah. Okay. Good turn. So, good thing I built that unit. There were more troops around, like I said. Alright, what do we got? Just some probably flimsy Gallic stuff. I'll deal with them. I'll sally out and I'll probably kill them all this turn. All right, let's get our first view of Narbo Martius and not very well defended. We're gonna go ahead and besiege Narbo Martius. There might be more troops in the area, but yikes. Nope, nothing much at Massilia either. So both of these cities will fall pretty easily. Yeah, two or three turns. I'll take two more cities off the Gauls. Up here, can we reach Duras? No, Duras has gone back into the fort. Oh, I hate this fort. I hate you guys. Let's, ooh, we got some more Sarmatian mercenaries, Bastarnais, and Illyrians. Where do we want to go? Let's just, I don't know. I mean, we could hang out on the side of this mountain and hope that they attack us. Could we win that fight, though? I don't even know if we could win that fight. I'm not going to ask for it. Let's get out of there. Just, yeah, we don't want to. We don't want to tempt fate. All right, let's take a look at our announcements. Sam Rubava, practice range. We'll just keep building military buildings. Lemonum, we've got a stockade. Military buildings. You have them. Sorry about that. Starting to lose my voice. You have them. We got a blacksmith. And we need to defend you of them. Lugdunum, we got a blacksmith. We already queued something there. Segestica, we got mines. Let's build roads here, just in case we need to reinforce. And so we've got a few things we need to do this turn. First off, let's drop a save. It's been a while. Don't want to lose a bunch of progress. So we need to sally out there. We need to attack Captain Karatok again. So let's just grab just the general and some Scythians. We can get some Illyrians and send them back to the city. And let's attack Captain Karatok again. I feel like you shouldn't be encouraging our guys to meet the gods, right? Like, maybe just try living. That's just a personal preference, but, you know. All right, let's do this again. Just go up on the hill. We'll follow with the general. And just, yeah. <laughs> do this. Same idea. Try and do a few hundred more damage. Now I can attack the Romans, that's right. I think I'm, I'm going to. Like, I'm just going to make an army and do it. This is not like my really cautious campaigns that I do on the main, like on the channel. Uh, I mean, I'm just, I'm just starting wars because I know I can finish them. 
So I'll just, yeah, I'll keep invading. The good thing about playing this fast is there's no way the Romans are near the Marian reforms. I mean, they might be, but I feel like we can just get in there, knock out all their cities, and never have to deal with them. Okay. When I can keep things at three times speed, I will. Because I just... I don't personally need to play for an hour on just, you know, skirmishing with this one army. I just want to get a silver chevron. That's really all I care about. Come on, keep firing. Okay. Keep moving. Gonna turn off skirmish mode. I drive a manual Scythian mercenary. I don't like the automatic. It's a standard unit of missile cavalry. All right, keep it moving. We've killed 15% of the enemy army. If we just do this every turn, this army will be gone in like five turns. Honestly, this warband, 158. Odds I could just break that with my general's unit are high. <laughs> just keep firing over your shoulders. Any chance we can get another chevron? Come on. Come on, guys. We're going to run soon. Cool. Let's see how many we killed. 268. Zero casualties. No experience gained. Easy peasy. I hope we don't get any bad traits from this, but even if we do, it's worth it. We got more berserkers. Oh, yes. It's about I want to see them do it again. I won't make you guys watch it again. All right. You have a vum. We gotta defend it. Oh, I didn't mean to click over there. All right, let's 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 sally out. Oh, okay. <laughs> they didn't even want to fight. Great. Do we want to just kill these guys? We'll let them... I don't know. We kind of could just kill them. What do I think about this? Naked Fanatics, Warband, Skirmisher Warband. Yeah, let's do it. I don't shy away from any fight. Even if I don't even particularly want to do the fight. All right, we've got our two units, our front line, our phalanxes. Then we've got Illyrians. We've got barbarian mercenaries to guard the flank. And we've got Sarmatians to guard this flank with the general. General also provides morale. Then we've got our barbarian mercenaries who are going to hide in the woods. Over here. Okay, start battle. Let's see what they do. I didn't forget to deploy any units this time. I usually do. 
All right, they don't want to budge, which is fine. Let's move up to here and we'll move up our cavalry to here. I've got slight high ground on them. I might send the Illyrians to go skirmish with the skirmishers. Yeah, that works. Okay, slow us down a little. Okay, they thought they wanted to charge, but then they didn't. You have any range? Get a little closer. In range? No. A little closer. All right, back up. <laughs> Skirmishers just walked into my hoplites. Or my... Oh, Spear Warband. Beautiful. Love that. Get some shots on the Warband. Get back. Eh, let's do it one more time. And they should beat Skirmisher Warband. They're better fighters than Skirmisher Warband. Lyrians are actually pretty decent fighters. Alright, they're running. I'm going to send my Barbarian Cavalry after them. See if we can pin one of these Warbands. I doubt we'll reach them. I don't even know if it would work, but... They want no part of it. That's fine. Just let them go. We'll finish off this unit. Cool. Didn't take many casualties. Killed the whole unit. I'm happy with that. Fear us. And then we could go kill this guy. Let's kill this guy with two units of warband because we might get a man of the hour out of it. Okay, I don't want to fight in the forest, so let's go over here. Forest, bad for phalanxes. Let's see where they draw. Okay. All right, we're just going to drop phalanx, walk at them. <laughs> Actually, I want to test something. I think if you hold shift... Uh, and then you hit attack. I think they stay in their formation kind of. No, that's not working. There's some way to do it where you stay in your formation. I think it's if you're in a group, then attack. Nah, it didn't work. That's okay. There's some way to do it. All right, walk a little closer. I love this on three times speed. Kind of cinematic. Look at them go. This is how I get clips for my intros. I find a, a scene like this, and I just let it play for a bit on one time speed. And then I just cut it and put it in my uh, intro. Okay, the they're fleeing. We'll try to chase them, but we won't be able to catch them. Yeah. They're getting away. That's fine. Well, are they? Kind of seems like we're almost catching up. Am I crazy? For somehow we are catching up with Phalanx Spear Warband. Okay, I'll take it. Nice, clean victory. Man of the hour. Really good man of the hour. Man, men of the hour are so good. Captain Gunderick, superior commander, command talent, been in the wars. Unreal. This guy, jeez. We've got some good family members in the area. I think the game is asking me to go attack the Romans, honestly. All right, and you have them. I wish we had more population because I want to just start pumping out Warband. 
Yeah, unfortunately, we just don't have the population over here. We're going to have to just wait for reinforcements after we take Narbomartius and Massilia, I think. But glad I got a man of the hour. Very pleased with that. We could go over to Aquincum. I don't know. I guess that's one way to ignore the Dacians. Just send this guy over to sit on this bridge with some Spear Warband and some Illyrians. And then we don't have to worry about this entrance anymore. Uh, have we used this yet? This turn? We have. Okay. Let's make sure we're not missing anything. Make sure Potavadorm's still at 70%. Yep, always at 70%. And I think we're good to end the turn. Good. We got trade rights from Macedon, finally. Let's get map information, see how they're doing. They will just buy our map information. Sure. What can I be for yours? Okay. They don't want to give us map information. Let's... Oh. I was going to click on give region to see how many regions they have. They only have one. It doesn't even show up. So that's why they don't want to give us map information. They're embarrassed. It's okay, guys. You don't have to be embarrassed. All right, Captain Ad Cobrovatus is attacking us. Nothing too good. Basic warband, swordsman, no missile troops. Myriadoc the Cold Hearted. What a hard name. He's phlegmatic. <laughs> This man's cold and unemotional ways make him an uncharismatic figure, or not quite human. Oh, look at his face. Oh, he's got a pet idiot. Oh, this guy seems not fun. I would like to kill him. And then we've got this guy. Yeah, I think we can handle them. All right. We're going to be kind of, not sandwiched, but we're going to have to fight on multiple fronts. We'll take some high ground since we have it. Hopefully they cooperate with us holding the high ground. So we're going to drop our spear warband here. And then we'll get our skirmisher warband. Get some axemen on this flank. Cavalry can hang out here. And then Screeching Women. Warlord just hangs out. And Axemen on this flank. And we'll move them around. This is just to seize the high ground. Beautiful. Alright, let's grab these three units. Bring them up to here. Well, no, I, I don't want to use the side. I, I've, I've been trying not to be cheesy. Just line up here, um, and but the goals will be coming from that direction. So, okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to have one, two. These two are going to be here. Then we're going to have this guy, like, here. So they can still flank around me. I'm not abusing the side of the map. And then we'll have a unit of axemen here, just in case we get attacked here. And a unit of axemen over here. And then we'll have our skirmishers. We only have one unit of skirmishers, unfortunately. Yeah, go there. Skirmish mode off. Got a lot of cavalry, so we're going to use that. Let's drop our spears. And do we want to use our cavalry now? I mean, what's over here? We got some swordsmen. Not a bad option, because they don't have spears. They don't have the bonus against cavalry. I could try it, right? I mean, what's the harm? Let me grab my general. I'll have him come with. And let's draw them up appropriately here. We'll send the Barbarian Cavalry around the side. And let's bring the Barbarian Cavalry non-mercenary ones here. So the mercenaries can go over here. Non-mercenaries can go here. Yeah. General can go here for morale. 
And let's get properly around them and circle this unit. Good. They're steady. Now we get behind them. They're concerned over exposed flanks. They're charging into these two units. So we're going to charge from all sides and they're going to break. Broken immediately. Great. Next, let's get my general over here. So we've got one unit on this flank and these guys are going to attack. Let's have one guy go over here. So they're from behind. The others will attack from the side. And then just slowly go through the army, breaking them all. Same idea. We want them to feel surrounded on all sides. Attack these warband. You attack these warband. Boom, broken. Oh, I love this. This is clean. Not even really using my general. Beautiful. <laughs> this is... This is scary. All right, let's get my general out of here and we're gonna use our cavalry to deal with these warband. This is the reinforcement army over here. They're just like, uh, what's going on with you guys? Uh, I'm not so sure about this battle. All right, let's redraw up these spearmen. Okay, don't, don't go over there. We don't wanna fight this army yet. Let's just finish off this warband. Beautiful. And let's send these two around back of this army. These two. Okay. Actually, we need everyone to focus on this general's unit. Let's get my general in here. We might have some breaks happen on my end. Enemy warlord's shaken though. Oh my goodness. Enemy warlord's broken. And we killed him. Oh, amazing. All right, two of you pick up these warband. Two of you come down to finish off this warband. And that's a clinical battle. Beautiful. Just hunt them down, yep. Man, that thing of beauty. I don't often have a battle that clean. That's crazy. 99% of the enemy are dead. Let's end the battle. Oh, we lost 100 men? Kill 1,784. All right, we will enslave Nobramardius. <laughs> Guys, look at the screen. Why does this keep happening? This is the second time the Julia have offered us a gift of just 7,000 denarii. Does anyone have any idea why this is happening? Is it because I keep winning victories against the Gauls? Because it happened last time after I won a major victory against the Gauls. Are the Julii like thanking me? This is so weird. Okay, I'll take it. Thank you. See you later. See you next time I beat some Gauls. Nemesis, yeah. You might be right. I mean, to be fair, okay. I, I've been wanting to do a Numidia campaign for a while, and everyone was saying it's really hard. So I just wanted to try it out on my own time. I loaded up a Numidia campaign. I'm very hard, very hard. And I wasn't giving it my full attention. Like, I wasn't doing the, the due diligence I do for my campaigns like this. But I could not get past the first, like, 20 turns without losing most of my cities. Like, I don't know if every single campaign would be a walk in the park for me. I tried a, uh, a Parthia one with just the, like, purple pajama guys. No horse archers. Ooh, brutal. That's a fun one, though. Swift Elbow? I sure did. I started at 3 a.m. my local time, which is in Arizona, because that's when most of my viewers are watching, because I think most of my viewers, about a third of them, are from the UK, and that's when they watch. Um, and so, yeah, I've been going for 10 hours. 
Um, yep, I've taken about an hour of breaks. So that's why our timer's only at like 8.54, 8.55. But we are at 21 regions controlled on very hard difficulty. About to be 22. Let's take Massilia. You could not play this game for nine hours straight. It's hard. I, I'm i starting to lose my voice, which you can probably tell. <laughs> but I've been wanting to do like a proper challenge. I had a couple different ideas for challenges for this game, like starting a campaign where you do like a great migration where you start as Egypt or someone and you just grab all your troops and go to Italy and just let all your cities rebel. But then I saw that someone just did that on YouTube. And so everyone would think I'm copying that person, which is fine. Like, I had the idea before I saw that video, but then I'm like, I don't know. I don't want people to wonder that. I'd let do your own thing. I've got other stuff to do, but yeah, someday I'm all, I might do a challenge like that. Cause I think that's really fun. And I guess, um, Lucatorix did one similar to that as well. But. Hello, sun grow. We got 20 viewers. That's awesome. Thank you for tuning in everyone. All right, we got some new faction announcements. Adelgard got married. Congratulations. Does it say anything? Firm personal morality. Anything about his wife? Nope. Adelgard, congratulations. Got married young, just like me. Versus of Freya. Might be a little... I don't know. That that's a little sus for his wife. But hey, what do I know? Maybe she's a platonic priestess increases the chance of having children though i don't know uh, we're just not going to focus on that too much <laughs> but uh fortuis of argentorate got an exotic slave Ooh, he's looking good all right am i going to cut this down into episodes i might i might not though because i don't know i think it's kind of cool for people to have the full the full thing. I guess I might cut it into episodes. But it's a very different style to how I make the episodes. Oh man, we profited 10,767 that turn. We have almost 100,000 denarii. But yeah, the way I make the episodes is very structured. It's it's more like I'm saying, I don't know. Not that I'm saying lines. Like it's still I'm just playing it, but I there's a certain way to record a video and have it sound good once you've edited it. Which is not this. This has been like a rambling just train of thought for 10 hours, so. We'll see. I might. Yeah, Nemesis. I, I'm down for some really hard challenges after this i mean i think this is going to be really hard after like hour 15 like i'm feeling good right now i haven't even cracked open my third red bull i don't think but uh around hour 15 the endurance aspect is going to get real hard in this campaign but yeah the actual difficulty level is not that high this is the easiest campaign i've played in a while just the i mean the spear warman is such a great early game unit but yeah i like the idea of that just declare war on everyone that'd be really fun but by the way is this normal that all of their names are displayed all the time this is not normal right like am i just not noticing this after 100 hours of videos i've been posting on the internet in the last four months i don't know i must have tripped some setting all right what do we want to do next have we we got to take another swing at captain Carrot talk. Do this every turn. Down to 969. Trying again. Alright. This time we're going to start on the high ground again. That was much more comfortable. Alright, good over here. Going to turn off skirmish mode. Yeah, it must be a setting. It's kind of nice, actually. I don't mind. I have a, a fixation on calling everyone by their name. I don't just say, that's my diplomat. I just, I like that they're all named unique names. I don't know. Hey, we got our silver chevron. 
So I think they're up to 10 missile attack now, which is like, I think like Cretan level damage, which is crazy. Alt, that's a good idea. That makes sense because uh, one of my hotkeys for starting and stopping the uh, live split splits is using alt. All right, keep firing. Come on, Scythians. Use all your arrows. Are we in range still? Killed 16% of the enemy already. Yeah, this, this silver chevron is a lot better. I feel like that extra damage sometimes from another chevron of experience it like pushes you over the threshold into getting through their armor versus not getting through their armor. I don't know exactly how armor works in this game, but it, it feels like that's how it works. Where like sometimes an upgrade will do a massive amount of difference. All right, this barbarian cavalry really wants to fight my general. I'm going to let him do it. We will easily win that. All right. We're going to pause. Mrs. TD Sniper's calling. Uh, yeah, I'll explain later why I got to take this call, but she's having a crazy week. So I'm going to pause the stream for a few minutes. Hopefully it won't be too long. Thank you so much for your patience. Thanks for watching, guys. If you need to head out, uh, you can also hit the sub button. But yeah, I'll be back in just a few minutes. Thanks.
I'm back. Hello again. My apologies for the delay. We are back. Oi. Yeah. A lot going down <laughs> in Mrs. TD's sniper world. Yeah. Crazy. All right, let's let's see if we can get another Chevron experience with the Scythians. Where do I even start? I, I don't know like how much I can say because I don't want to get her in trouble with her employer, but like wild. Some some celebrities. No, 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 my Scythians. <laughs> no. Oh, I regret. I regret my decisions. All right, at least I might be able to wrap up this army. Oh, that's so frustrating. I just lost so many Scythians. Not worth losing those Scythians. Man, those were integral to the plan to take Italy. That really stinks. Anyway, yeah, sorry about these long breaks. There's going to be like six, eight hours, 12 hours tonight where I'm not taking breaks and I'm just playing and playing and playing. Um, but when I can talk to my wife in the middle of her crazy day, I'm going to do that. So I'm surprised y'all are still here. Are you guys just like in a, in a second window, like playing chess or something, listening to me in the background. All right. I think that's enough killed on this army. They should despawn heroic victory. Doesn't feel like it. How many do we lose? 29 Scythians. We killed six of them. All right, we still have 81 Scythians. All right, we finally killed that army. Oh my goodness. Who is left in Batavium? Good amount. Let's send Carolus. I mean, I kind of want to just send him south and pick up Salona, but let's focus on our true enemies, the Gauls. We'll give the Sarmatians and the Barbarian Cavalry over. And we'll just continue pushing into northern Italy. See if we can pick up Batavium. Just slowly wear down at these enemies. Get some more Sarmatians and Barbarian Cavalry. And send them down to unite with Carolus of Aventicum. And what do we have here? Yeah, this is the armor for the bridge. Playing Final Fantasy. 14. Yeah. Hold on, we got an emergency. She's driving on a dirt road and the car got stuck. Hold on. You can't make this up. Yeah, so the uh, the back lot where they are driving tanks around and shooting stuff, apparently you can only get there on dirt road, and they gave her a Nissan Altima. And so the Nissan Altima got stuck in the dirt because it's like barely leveled at all. And so she's waiting for someone to come save her right now. Yeah. <laughs> Crazy. Apparently also she's not allowed to be seen by her boss. That's one of his things. I actually have heard this before with another celebrity who I can name because it's not her boss. Willow, the musician. We were at a, um, at a charity concert a couple years ago called Love Loud. And we were backstage and we were meeting everyone. And we were warned that if you meet Willow, if you're in the same room as Willow, you have to avert your eyes and stare at the ground. 
Because if anyone looks Willow in the eyes, then, I don't know, something bad happens. You, you need to maintain focus. So, <laughs> man, celebrities just have something wrong in their brain. All right, Gaul and Macedon have announced an alliance. At the last minute, they're going for the for the long shot alliance with Macedon. I don't know if that's going to achieve what you think it's going to achieve. All right. Let's see. Look at this glorious empire. 21 regions. What do we need to do? The great thing about playing as a barbarian faction is you don't have that much to buy. Like, you just buy your three levels of upgrades. This isn't that many buildings. And then you don't have to do all this micromanaging. So, yeah, I mean, when we pick up new cities, we got to upgrade them, but pretty easy. It's easy to play as Germany. Let me hit Alt. Does that make it go away? No? I don't know. I'll keep the names up. I'm fine with that. All right, do we... Do we even care about fighting the Dacians? I almost want to just get an alliance with the Dacians. I'm going to send my diplomat down there. See if we can get a ceasefire. Just stop thinking about them. Because I want to just kill the Gauls. I'm going to go ahead and end the turn. Yeah, this is not a battle we're going to fight. They're going to make me. Okay. Might lose some mercenaries. Yeah, we're definitely going to lose some mercenaries. <laughs> That's all right. These guys were just going to help out the other army. Thank you, Andrew. I really appreciate that. I feel like I feel bad there have been all these interruptions. I know you guys say it's fine. Obviously, I would love to just go straight through, but I'm glad you're enjoying the stream. I hope it's a soothing experience that's what i liked about the other like rome content i've personally enjoyed like the many a true nerd series that kind of stuff i like when it's just kind of fun to have on in the background so i hope that's what this is for y'all just gonna charge run back charge run back yeah there was no chance of winning that yes that's the plan andrew if we can I don't know if they're going to accept it, though. Thrace Alliance could be goaded. I love that Thrace always wants to ally with everyone. <laughs> Thrace is just the friendliest people in the world. Now, does this change our status of being at war with the Dacians? No, the Dacians are not allied with the Thrace, but they're also not at war with Thrace. Interesting. When will I go to war with Rome? Basically, my plan... So let me like lay out my game plan right now. Gaul is the current enemy. But, I mean, Gaul just has Batavium, Mediolanium, Massilia, and... Is this Numantia? Yeah, Numantia. So I'm just going to take Massilia, Batavium, Mediolanium, and then they're, they're done in my mind. After that, it's the Romans. So, I mean, these big armies that are way overkill for Massilia, I'm just going to take them right over, start taking out Roman cities. I'm going straight for Rome. So they are our, our next target. Every now and then I gotta drink some water because I'm like, I've been talking so much. All right, let's cautiously move into this territory. We could probably take Captain Geraint. 941 men, oh, that's a bit much. Ooh, we'll try it though, right? We'll try it.
victory hangs in the balance. But fight like the wolves you are, and that victory will be ours. Yeah, man. Like wolves. Yeah, I, I love I love the Thracians. It's <laughs> You know, it would be kind of fun trying to play the Thracians like the Thracians play themselves. Like, do a playthrough where you're just completely peaceful. Where you're just sending random alliance requests to random people. It's like that's the only thing they were programmed with. I don't think I have ever seen the Thracians have more than four regions. Like, I'm really trying to rack my brain. I can't think of a time. All right. Do we want to hit the Chosen Swordsman? It's kind of a waste of arrows because they have so much armor, but it's the only way we're ever going to beat that unit, and we have the high ground on them. Let's see. We'll, we'll try it, and if we can successfully kill a few of them, then I'll keep doing it. Yeah, down to 156. I don't know. Chosen Swordsmen are hard. I don't really know how to deal with them. Let's put a few into these regular Swordsmen. Because they'll weaken a lot faster. Ah, oh, they're already charging. We may just have to flee this battle relatively soon. Alright, we're going to stay on the move. Yeah, we're just going to have them walk. Y'all fire it well. Just fire as you walk. And then run. Alright. Do we want to try and jump these noble cavalry? I don't think so. We want to use as many arrows as possible and do as little hand-to-hand -hand fighting as possible. Keep firing. We got a normal game speed. Don't want to make a mistake here. Yeah, they really want to charge. I don't think it's going to work out for them, though. I mean, they have 105 heavy cavalry. That's a good amount. But I've got probably 140. Where are you firing at? Fire bar bar Barbarian Noble Cavalry. That'd be a good target. Down to 97. Right now I'm just switching to triple game speed to fire off a few arrows and then switching back. Yeah. Time to move. We've killed 6% of the enemy army. Yeah, this is a scary army. This is different than that other one. That other one was relatively easy. Okay. Our very noble cavalry is down to 85. If we can just get it to like... 65 we could just charge them but we're up against a wall now i don't want to go in the low ground there we go fire at them i don't know i could try charging them we're hitting them from multiple angles as long as they're not going to charge into us no need to charge into them but if they come in my direction yeah i'll hit them okay charge them We've got two chevrons of experience for Scythian mercenaries. Ah, no, I don't like this. Shaken. Wavering. Oh, please. Anyway. Anyway, we kill their general here. Broken. Enemy general's dead. Swordsmen are dead. Chosen swordsmen are going to be tough. Ah, we're going to lose more Scythians. Is there any way we break this army? I don't know. This is scary. No! No! 
Oh, man. This was a failure. Flee the battle, Scythians. Just try to save yourselves. Oh, jeez. Oh, man. Hard day. Hard day. Lost. Okay, we only lost seven Scythians. We lost a general, though. Okay. We need to we need to reevaluate the plan. I just want more Scythians. If I had more Scythians, this would be easy. No. I thought I might. That's, that's the only problem here. It's just not Scythians. Every time you lose seven Scythians, it's like a an issue. Um, let's send this guy south to Lo Losovish. Lovosish. Get some population moved over there. And I'm going to move this general off into Scythian territory. And we're going to just see if we can pick up one of their mercenaries. Go up here. Because we need more. Yeah, that's a great point. I, I really thought I was going to be able to just do what I did at Sagastica and just skirmish with horse archers for like five battles. I forgot these are really tight mountain passes, but that was a that was a mistake for sure. Um, as soon as we beat Massilia this turn, then I'll turn my attention with actual army, bring it over to Patavium and Mediolanium. So, yeah. All right. We lost Carolus, unfortunately, but he also got a new retinue. So that's interesting. <laughs> No, a different careless got that right now, I think, actually. So Narbomardius, we got a Supreme Militia. Great. Construction report. Vicus Gotai. Got a... We're going to build a practice range there. Terra, communal farming. Go for... Market. Does that increase trade significantly? No. We'll just buy some boring upgrades there. Over 100,000 denarii. Profited 9,400 that turn. That's crazy. All right. I think we had a surplus of generals, didn't we? We did. This general is going to get redirected because <laughs> I could see them counterattacking against Segestica. The Quincum is just not as important as Segestica. I don't think the nations will attack. I've got Sesithacus of Vetera up here in case they do make a move on me. I'll be fine. All right, let's attack Massilia. We've had kind of uneventful 20, 30 minutes here. Not been able to do much. Let's take Massilia, though. So, Epidorix the Cunning. Eporodorix. Eporodorix. That's interesting. Okay. How are you? Drunkard. Mm. Doesn't seem very good. Yeah. Four stars of command. I'm not that impressed. Warhounds. Yeah, it doesn't have any real good infantry or anything, so. We should be okay. That smell is the enemy. All right. Let's get in there. We will use. Yeah, these are, these are good people to hold the Rams. And do we have, we just have the one skirmisher warband on this army. Let's knock down the walls. Get my skirmisher warband up here. Oh, we've got an inconveniently placed tower. So actually, this ram, instead of going to this side, actually, just, just stop. You just get the gates and we'll just ignore this side of the wall. We don't need to risk losing any troops to towers. You know what? Don't even fire a bow. Go over here. See if we can get some warhounds. That's who I'd like to go. Okay, warhounds. They're in range. Yeah, if we can just kill some of these handlers, not have to deal with warhounds. Warhounds are horrible for morale. They do damage to your units. You can't really break them. They're just a mess. So much easier to kill them before they're deployed.
Got a volley in. A few more javelins. Killed a few of them. Who's in range? Yeah, just stand here. Fire well. That's fine. Alright, let me grab the phalanxes and just pull them up. I'll grab my... Who else have we got? This guy. Bring him up. Got my general. Screeching women. Yeah, we'll grab them as well. Got another unit of naked fanatics over here. Bring them in. I'll check after this battle how many generals I have. I would guess... 10? Maybe 15? I'm always shocked how many I do have, though. Like, in the Spanish campaign right now, I've got, like... I think I've got, like, 50, and I just cannot find them. Like, if you look at... There's, like, a, a counter for it. It tells you how many you have. I'm like, I feel like I have, like, 7 generals, but I've got a ton. So, I just... I don't know if I place them super efficiently all the time. I just kind of... I just kind of have fronts where I'm fighting, and that's what I think about. I just commit generals with armies to fronts, and I don't really think much about spacing out my generals very well. I'm trying to in this campaign, because I kind of have to play very carefully to not mess up. Speaking of, what what was that? That was not my finest work. Okay, you go here, drop a phalanx. Can we slow this down a little bit? What's this? Skirmisher Warband. You could probably kill some scam Skirmisher Warband, right? We're just going to send in these naked fanatics, see how they do. They should shred this pretty easily. Alright, get out of there. You're getting surrounded. Alright, um, let's get a phalanx right here. Okay, these guys are just going to die to dogs. Phalanx can drop right here. If the dogs go into them next... That's fine. Repaired Phalanx is a pretty good target. General should not be the target of the dogs next, so that would be bad. Oh, here. Get safe. Let's get another unit of Phalanxes over here. And then another one over here. This unit, let's move them a little closer so we don't take any damage to our general if the swordsmen come out. Had this whole unit got killed by dogs, but now the dogs are going to go into prepared phalanx. They're getting slaughtered here. Four hounds. The handlers will die here soon as well. Yeah, this is the best way to get rid of dogs. Look at that. Killed the whole unit. All right. Beautiful. That's one unit down. What else can we do here? Are you guys getting shot by the tower? You guys, are you getting shot by the tower? I don't know. I don't want to risk it. I feel like they are. Yeah, they are. I hate that tower. That's really annoyingly placed. Oh, there. You're not getting hit, right? You are? Okay. You guys, we need to deal with these swordsmen. Can you stay in formation and march forward? Hmm. Kind of information. This is weird. This is a weird battle. It's just frustrating having this tower here because I can't. I'm not flexible at all. This is just not a slog I'm enjoying. Wish I had war dogs. That'd be useful. They're defending this really well. <laughs> Y'all just hanging out here? Are you actually getting kills? What are you what are you doing? I think we're I don't know, they say victory seems certain, but I feel like we're winning this.
Yeah, we're getting more and more surrounded here. Let's do rally troops and see if we can pull this unit back. Maybe they'll follow and I can just have them walk into my phalanx. Oh man, I think um, best bet here once this warband or war cry runs out for these swordsmen, do war cry for my naked fanatics and send them out. Okay, these swordsmen are overextended. Yeah, that's that's stupid. Keep my general inside the city, but that was an easy break. Uh, naked fanatics can get inside the city now. Good. Now, can we get a unit of... Okay, fight them. Should have an advantage since we have Warcry going. I would love to get some Spearmen in here, though. Like a good unit of them. Okay. We wavering? Yeah, they're wavering. Good. All right, we're getting the best of them slowly. Get inside the city. Want a fresh unit of Spearmen in here now. All right, All, like this whole block is just broken. Broken or wavering? Broken, broken, good. Okay, Spearman inside the city, double time. Our warriors have driven the enemy from his own walls. The way to victory is open. All right, we don't want just a, a super wall. Drop the phalanx. What is the plan, Warband? You really gonna charge in here? This is ideal. You wanna fight at like spear length with Prepared hoplites? Great. They're wavering. They'll break soon. Alright. Slowly move up. Just form another line here. Can we get a charge? Barbarian Light Cavalry. Charge into prepared phalanxes. Have confidence. Try it out. They're gonna do it. Yeah, good job, guys. Oh my god. That is beautiful. I love playing as Germany. It's so random to have phalanxes as a barbarian faction. It's great. I love it. Let's get our general up here. All right. Now this warband, we're kind of not in a good line, but Still, they should not win this. They're wavering. Broken. Great. Just drop in phalanxes. I don't really want to fight right now. I want to get a phalanx going. You guard the flank. Yeah, the AI in this game is uh, questionable. It's bad. It's really bad. <laughs> There's uh, still enough challenge. Like, I would say this game is difficult. I'm doing a lot of micromanaging. Like, I, I would say at this point I'm good at the game. But like, this campaign is it's fairly difficult. I'm very hard, very hard. And some campaigns are brutal, but the AI is so stupid. 
I think that's why they compensate with such crazy campaign difficulty on Very Hard, Very Hard, because like they know there's just no way they can compensate for how stupid their AI is. I just keep pressing in on them. Bring a general up. I don't think I need the fourth unit of... Five. Okay, slow down, slow down. Okay, this is the moment of truth. They charge in with their general, shaken. Oh, okay. Now would be a good time to have another unit come up here. Okay. Eager. We're still feeling pretty eager. We don't really have a great phalanx going. But we have a decent phalanx going. This general should die relatively soon. Okay, let's get this guy over here. On the side, we'll have a break over here soon, I bet. Break here. That's good for my morale. Let's drop a phalanx, yeah. Great, okay, everything's broken. Great. Got messy for a second. Let's leave this guy out of it. You have 37 left in your uh, warband. You can retire for the day. Go have fun. Get a margarita. Is this not broke? There's two warlord here. You're not broken? Really? There's there's two guys here. How are you not broken? Alright, we're just going to press in on them like this. Just gonna keep pushing in slowly. Yeah, they're nearly all dead. Down to the last 13%. I'll speed this up a little bit. Why have they not released the dogs yet? There we go. <laughs> just just stay there. Use the phalanx. We'll be fine. I'll grab my general just in case we have any morale issues, but we won't. All right. Last few guys here. Just finish them off, guys. Come on. 18 more. We took a lot of casualties in this battle. This was not clean. Okay, we killed 816 and we only lost 815. So we got the better out of them. <laughs> Can we occupy this? Yeah, we're going to occupy Massilia because I have repairs I want to do. Let's retrain like all these units and build another one. We're just going to drain the population because we need more troops if we want to go into Italy. Yeah, we need phalanxes. We need heavy infantry. We'll kill this guy soon. Maybe this turn. All right. Uh, do we have... I mean, we've got 100 cavalry right here. Can we just... Attack you. Who is this? Swordsman. Yeah, I can handle him. Oh, 
All right, this should be a quick battle. Where's the enemy? Up a hill, very smart. We'll take the even higher ground though. Go up here. Charge them. Do the do the rally troops thing. Done. Just run them down. Easy. And that pretty much clears a path to Italy, right? I mean, I could go kill more guys. I'm kind of tempted. How old are you? He's 60. He's 60, guys. I know I keep losing generals. But he's 60. I want to do it. I want to kill more. My, my bloodlust in this game knows no bounds. <laughs> I'll give him some barbarian cavalry mercenary reinforcements. I know you're going to get mad at me. I, I can give him I can give him even more reinforcements. Plenty of cavalry. Make him a little cavalry army. Look at that. See, now he's not on his own. He's he's a conqueror. He's got to do some fighting. He's bored. And he got a famous warrior. That plus one morale, he's got to use it. When will we will be getting access to Axemen, Chosen Archers, and Night Raiders. All right. So we have Berserkers already. We have Chosen Archers already. We have Chosen Archers in Trier as well, I think. Or soon. No, not in Trier. Mugantiacum, we'll have them next turn. Uh, Axemen, we will have access to next turn in Alessia. So we're basically there. We just need to actually build them now. Just took a while to get the tech trees going because we didn't get any minor cities for a while. But uh, yeah, we're we're basically there. All right. Now, I said I would check how many generals I have. 29. That's what it says. 29 family members. Oh, that probably includes all the children. That's probably why I that number's so high. Let's look at a list scroll and see how many generals I have. Uh, I don't know if this is the right way to do it. I think I have like 11, 12, 13. Something like that. Yeah. So... Not that many. About what I expected. That makes sense. I, I, I always was misreading the family members to think just the generals. But no. That includes all family members. All right. I think there's nothing else to do this turn, right? Yeah, we're waiting on everything to retrain at Massilia and Abramardius. I think we got to keep that relatively stocked. I'm sure we'll have a fight over here at the end of the turn, but let's go ahead and end the turn. All right, candidate for adoption. Brave is a really good trait. He's 30, but brave is a really good trait. Plus two morale. I'm doing it. Where'd he end up? A quincum. Interesting. Good. I wanted a general here anyways. So now... Uh, eventually, we can put some troops on this bridge. Uh, for now, though. We won't do that. But yeah, it's good to have a general there. Grab some troops from Segestica. We just want to have an army in the field here in case we need to fight some Gauls. All right, let's take a look at our announcements. Construction report. Mugantiakum, we have our archery range. We're going to go straight to a Hall of Heroes here and train some Chosen Archer Warband. I'm so excited to actually use these. Just that plus Spear Warband. Kind of scary. A bunch of phalanxes with long-range archers in Europe in the early game. <laughs> Scary. 
Alessia, Hall of Heroes. We're going to go straight to a weaponsmith and let's build some chosen axemen. This is like the, the experimental testing ground for our units. Samuel Breva, we got stables. Let's we'll build a blacksmith. Why not? All right, uh, so Samuel Breva, we did. Lemonum, meeting hall. Let's build a blacksmith here. Logdenum, communal farming, build a practice range there. Segestica, we got a land clearance. Let Oh, which religious building do we want here? I think for Segestica, Donar, right? More berserkers, I like the berserkers. Yeah, let's do Donar, that's fun. At Massilia, we repaired some walls. Let's build roads because we're going to be moving into Northern Italy. Let's see what kind of an army we have here now. Let's grab some spearmen. That's a nice army, wow. Grab some naked fanatics and skirmishers and screeching women. I don't know, we could, we could have a bit of a better army there. Yeah, let's not lose. Ario Geysis the Conqueror here. Let's just bring him in with. Oh, we got ambushed. Okay, this is an ambush we can win. Um, then we'll merge him in with that army that's going to head to Italy. All right, let's split this army up. We're gonna have our three units of cavalry over here. That's like group one. And then the weaker unit and the heavy cavalry from my general will be over here. That's like group two. And we're gonna have them just drop like this. We wanna split the attention of the enemy army. We want them to face this side and then get hit in the side by this side. Slow it down, or vice versa is fine. Just keep on the move. We want them to be totally surrounded. All right. Let's have these units attack this warband, and this unit barbarian cavalry will attack this warband. My general will sandwich. And we're going to do rally troops. Yeah, that was a slaughter. No chance. We lost probably 10 troops there. So no one will escape this. All right, let's speed this up. Get a few more kills. All right, did anyone get any experience? Yeah, one of them, uh, Barbarian Cavalry got an experience. And let's just merge in with this army. This army, I think, could handle Italy. We'll give them one more Naked Fanatics and then we'll just march them off into Italy and start taking more Gallic cities. We'll build a unit of cavalry in, Mas in uh, yeah, Massilia. Send some down from Alessia. We've got some berserkers, some chosen archers. We'll just send them down. And then take on this Gallic army. Take a look at our end of turn report. Gain 7366 denarii that turn. We profit every turn. How is this possible? I spent a lot of money. All right, Macedon is just throwing alliances everywhere. Dacia and Macedon are now allied, even though Macedon only has one city. They have multiple allies. <laughs> Unreal. We are besieged again at Yuvavum. 
Um, can we just fight them? What, what is this army? Uh, it's kind of tough. Do we have anyone in the vicinity? Honestly, kind of. Let's withdraw from that battle. How long would it take you to get there? Around this way. Three or four turns. I don't know. We might... We could try to attack. No, I don't think we'd win that. We're going to try and bring reinforcements. Yeah. Okay. What else do we want to do this turn? All right, we're going to pass into Scythian territory next turn. Let's just stand on this bridge. Next turn, we'll, we'll go in. I think we would know if we had any mercenaries to recruit from Scythia. I think we don't. But we'll try it next turn. I just don't want to do a transgression and then not be able to come back. All right. This man, this mercenary, and woo, Love Assist is finally a large town. Very, very nice. It's taken a long time. All right. Do we have any troops at Lemonum we could send down? We could train some Axemen, something like that. I don't know, I just want more troops in this area. These Berserkers, I'm so excited to use them. All right, let's go ahead and end this turn. Aliakta Est! My goodness, good to see you. Um, I don't know if y'all know this, but he's one of the, me, him, and one other person are the people who started the, like, speedrunning Discord that grew into this huge community of people speedrunning Rome Total War. So, welcome to the stream. Um, yeah, the mystery element is that I did not tell anyone what the, uh, factor was gonna be. So I've been playing for, like, I don't know, 11 hours, and, uh, yeah, that's why it's mystery. I just haven't changed to, like, a Germania thumbnail. Yes, it was a mystery. And now we are 11 hours in and it's no longer a mystery and we've taken 22 regions. <laughs> so yeah. Uh, thanks for joining us. It's been a trip. Um, it's actually going really well for how long it's been. I'm not doing any exploits, not doing any speedrun strats, just fighting very hard, very hard. Not doing any diplomacy stuff. So yeah, it's been going well. Uh, we've had a couple of setbacks recently, but we're making progress. All right, let's, let's get rid of this army. I don't want to deal with them anymore. Thoughts on Triarii, Noble Barbarian Cav, Basternized Units. I won't say I have a lot of thoughts about them. Um, Triarii, good. I don't know. I, I like them for fighting cavalry. I don't really end up using them very much because I just love having the Pila like legionary style like hastati principes that kind of stuff i usually just go for that um but yeah triari i've never had an issue with them not a huge fan but not a huge you know detractor of them either um basterni honestly i feel like they're a little overhyped maybe i'm using them wrong i know people say you're supposed to use them to flank and hit inside because they're fast moving and stuff but i find they break a lot all the two hp units i have a bone to pick with because they just don't seem like they have twice the durability of a normal unit. Like Bull Warriors and my whole Spanish campaign, they just weren't that good. They were good. Definitely good, just not that good. Um, and Noble Cavalry, honestly, I haven't used them enough recently. Um, I have some in my Dacia campaign. I don't even think I've really used them yet in battle. Um, but I like Heavy Cavalry. I mean, I'm a big fan of just having huge armies rolling around, destroying everything. It gets kind of boring after a while, especially something like Spain, where you have the long show cavalry, so it's basically light cavalry. And you're just smashing units for dozens of hours, and that's all you have because you have no good ranged units. Um, so that gets a bit boring over time.
All right. We got our Fangs across the river. Let's get a general over here. And I mean, we have to worry somewhat about these noble cavalry, but as long as they don't get around my spear warband, we'll be fine. All right, let's get some more spearmen, you know, that's that's the whole German thing. Oh my God, look how many, th these are like serious phalanx units. Like I know they're not, they're not, you know, hoplites, armored hoplites, but they're, they're scary. Like they do the job, especially in the early game. All right, I'm gonna speed this up a little bit. Do 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 do. Okay. Drop those. Grab skirmishers, and we'll just see if we can poke and prod these guys until I want to fight. All right, turn range. Should tempt them into fighting. Yeah, I agree. The Triarii thing. I don't know. They're just... They're not that much of... They're not that good. I don't know. Compared to... Yeah, how good everything gets with Marian reforms. It's just... They're not really... They're not that exciting to me. Archers to me are like exciting when i'm playing as rome and i get archers it's like oh man we're in business okay yeah they're not having a good time <laughs> if i lose my general here i'm actually gonna i'm gonna delete my channel That was risky. I'm getting tired. I gotta not get sloppy. <laughs> and yes, Taborga, Andres, I'm still streaming. Getting a little sloppy as you can tell, but yes, I am still here. All right, now do we want to, do we need to deal with Captain Geraint? Probably, right? Yeah, let's, let's just, we don't want to overextend, let's let, overextend, let's get rid of Captain Geraint, then we'll go deal with Batavia Medilanium. This guy, a couple more turns to get to you of them. All right. Getting a Lyrian. All right. I cannot remember how to pronounce this. Weakless? I'm losing my mind. Weakless Marcomani. Blacksmith. <laughs> Just going to keep building stuff. Tara, Stockade. Uh, fine. We'll get a market, finally. Uh, Sigiestica. Nothing else we can build. Massilia. We got Rhodes. Let's go for a Stockade. Mm. Or Meeting Hall. Yeah, we might want to build some troops here. Okay. New family member, Eva. Oh, that's a nice name. Welcome to the family. Lost 19 denarii last turn. I'm okay with that. Got some barbarian mercenaries here. We'll send them to Massilia. We could get rid of this fort. That's kind of funny. 
let's man this fort with like a uh, Lyrian, just just to mess with them. I don't even know why I did that. Just, just boom, you're gonna have to buy another one now. Uh -huh. 